big chat. I'm gonna be using my autocall today, just so you know. Its name is Lava underscore Flame Tool. It's okay if you get it mixed up with my other one, P1 Kliyama. Bop. Bing bang bezel. Come on, baby. Bop. Bing bang bezel. Come on, Next baby. Thing. You are you are Ah, uh, hello? 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 Is is this a stream where I'm going to find Eidolon's gem shop tier list? Hello? Bing bong bezel. Hello, baby. Hello? Bing bong bezel. We should do an alchemy liquids tier list. Spooter coming in with the two months. Thank you, brother. No, no, it's not. I, I, I thought it was. That right, guy's good stream. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for coming to my stream, my, my dudes. Hello, H hello. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, Chad. What I meant to say was, can't be doing laundry. Oh wait, no, that's not what I was supposed to say. What I meant to say was, my dudes. What's going on? How we doing today, Chet? How we doing today? Another beautiful day and out alone. Out alone, Chet. Out alone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. How we doing today? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Bond watchers, what's going on? Hi. Hi, Bond watchers. Hello, hello, hello. We're doing. Today, chat, we are doing the Gem Shop tier list. I know you're excited. Everybody wave to the VOD watchers as well. Let them know that we love them and support them. <sighs> and resource for stamps and alchemy. Nice. Huge. How's it going, my parasocial bro? Well, I don't know about that. Griffey, first time on your live. Thanks for all hard work on YouTube, bud. Yeah, no problem, dude. Welcome on in. Cap be doing laundry. New cap? Yeah, no, it's kind of, I guess so. How you doing? It's been a catch a stream, but I love the VODs. Hey, Luna, what's going on? Welcome on in. VOD and stream watcher, but today I'll be stream watcher because I got a nap midday. Huge, dude. Chad, are you guys ready for the uh, gem shop tier list today? I don't know about you, but I'm super excited. We have 85 oh God, items. Talking? I guess, I guess 86, considering I didn't add Drygonic Cauldron. By the way, does anybody have a asset Bop. of the Drygonic Bing Cauldron? Bang, Come on, baby. Bop. Yo, Merc, coming Bing in for bang, the three Beazle. months. Come on, baby. Glad to continue support as I fumble my way through W5, lapped slash DIV grid. 
Yo, thank you, dude. Thank you for the three months. You bought it three times even? Yeah, but I didn't I was I wasn't ready. I didn't I didn't take it. The what cauldron? The Dragonic cauldron. Dragonic cauldron. Like there there's other ones, but oh Rupee coming Bop. in with the 10 gift arenas. The on, 10 baby. subs. Bop. Oh, Bing bong, baby. Come on, baby. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Chat, if you received a gifted sub, make sure to say thank you because we always say thank you for the things we receive here in the IBA. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, by the way, chat, you know what's crazy, dude? My my daily reset has been set back all the way to 2.30. 2.30 in the afternoon. It's fucking crazy, bro. It's way too long. It was recently that Eilon runs better off of Radeon right, stuff, dude. Watchers, today we are going to be I didn't know there was a, a difference. Very special stream today, today, 5 p.m., dude. Today, today, I start today, off at 5 today, in the morning. Today, today we'll be making a today tier list on Gem Shop. I Wally. <laughs> Hi, Wally. How are you doing today, buddy? How's it going? Silver stopwatch by reset. Oh, it, could that be? How's the Spyro speed running good? It, going good. I uh, I was doing the first world and I learned how to do the uh, the cutscene skip for the first for the first cutscene, and uh, I can officially do world one in sub fifteen minutes. So that's pretty cool. So first world sub fifteen, and uh, you know we're doing all right. So you know I, I haven't done a place with time. No, I've just been practicing. Just getting, just, you know, learning the roots and stuff like that. So it's good. It's good. Having lots of fun with it. Uh, when I click on Corgi, try to get free boot. Gives me nothing hours and pushes my daily reset. Oh, okay. Interesting. Delp could do sub 14, bro. Yeah, I bet. I remember when G used to notice chat. What are you talking about? I know, I know his, I know his chat all the time. Silver pocket watches got me messed up. Is it? Is it the silver stopwatches that are the problem? Hmm. 90R good to start farming statues for Onyx Proto. If you want the, if you, if you, if you want me to be completely honest, no, no, not. I, I would say probably wait till 15. I also want to chat. You blew up the farm yesterday. I genuinely concerned. Oh, 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 the farm for, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I blew up the farm. Yeah, unfortunately. Running yes overnight slays slays your daily time. Oh. That could be a problem. Yeah, okay, I could understand that. Chat, did you guys know I'm officially done Eclipse Skulls? Eclipse Skulls are officially over. Super Chows are done. And I've taken my Bubo out of the lab, and I'm going to put everybody else in the lab. So now our 210 lab farm is upon us. Cloud Zinc, before you go click on Corgi, if you want to prevent the reset time from being pushed back. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're fucking cooking shit. Reset's so late now because of daylight savings. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Just power level. I mean, in in one day, uh, with I got about in, last night just farming on my boob, I got about ten levels. Pretty good. Bro, I'm almost done. Eclipse skulls on frogs, bro. Aren't we all stuck at frogs? Certain items shape your daily reset over for lagging. For example, if you click GP task, your daily reset will be resync. So if you're lagging, daily reset will shift forward. You will have cloud save, like Pale said. Oh, okay. Don't forget to set. Uh, meditation divinity ranks go up. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, we're going to do that before we do the gem shop tier list. I'm going to set everybody up for lab. And uh, obviously, we still have to do like our sailing gamba today and whatnot. But I mean, for the most part, we're going to be doing some just chatting. If you guys here, let's talk about the plan quickly. So if you guys don't know, we're going to be rolling in some just chatting, right? We're going to be we're going to be doing that. It's going to be super awesome, super great. And then we're going to be rolling into doing our daily gambas, whatever, what we need to do. I'm going to get everybody set up in the lab, and then we're going to hop into the tier list. So for the most part, it's going to be, um, you know, pre pretty, pretty much a quick day straight to the tier list, and then we're going to get going. Uh, the problem, now, I have done the... I got all the assets ready for the tier list. I made the tier list. I even have it public so other people can do the tier list if they want. Because, I mean, hey, I'm just a nice guy that way. And uh, what we end up doing is there's 85 items or going to be 86. Once I get the Dragonic Cauldron asset, once I get that, then I can roll on through with it. And then going forward, we should be, uh, we should be pretty, pretty cooked. And uh, But yeah, we're going to be basically how it's going to work with the Gem Shop tier list is uh i'm going to you know do get it set up 
we're gonna we're gonna i'm obviously gonna look at the camera for the youtube content say what it does and then there's gonna be 30 seconds on the clock for you guys to vote what tier you think it is in and then at the, after that 30 seconds we'll discuss it a little bit and then we'll we'll give our definitive answer yo hype train level four uh, thank you my dudes doing a tier list today i don't know what gave it away So yeah, that's basically the plan. That's how we're going to do that. Definitive answer. Yeah. How hard can I gaslight today? Yeah, basically, right? So, I mean, it's going to be good, you know? There was, obviously, I could have put a lot more for the limited time shop, but there was, I'm going to be honest, there was some stuff that doesn't matter, like Borzoi hat, Borzoi, or like the classic hat, like that stuff gives you no different stats, but like stuff like Siege Breaker cap or the e source, the Elemental Sorcerer hat, the ones that give you like all stat or drop rate, those ones are going to be important, right? So that I added those ones. Yeah, the premats are going into one category. Well, there's some that are different. Like there's like the the drop rate run in the in the all stat hat, but other than that, yeah. Go be in the new limited time shop. There will be Drygonic Cauldron. I hope there will be. I really do. Drygonic Cauldron with the chocolate milk uh, cauldron would be fantastic. But I don't know if we necessarily need it. But like I said, I rewatched my gem shop tier list from uh, last year, and uh, well, I guess it's a little bit more than a year. Um, I definitely disagree with a lot of things. Um, the, a lot of things have changed now. It's actually kind of crazy of how like the tier list will change and will evolve. I think I think what we should what I should do with within the within the video is I should have a a uh, a comparison between between recent and the new one. Oh, check DMs. You sent me one. Oh fuck, you're a fucking legend, dude. YouTube helped me forward World Four. Hell yeah, dude. I agree for the upgrade, no more prayer and gaming worth full upgrade, all prayers. No, it's not. It's not, Colita. It's really not. Yo, my man. Actually fucking legend, bro. Thank you so much. I needed that big time. Uh, let me just let me just get that saved. Actually fucking legend, dude. Okay, cool. I have everything I need now. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Fucking onion always coming in with a big, big ass clutch, bro. So yeah. Uh, so, oh, I can't do polls shorter than a minute. You should be able to here. Let me see. Uh, hey, actually, do you want to, are, do you want to be on poll duty pickle? Because if I can get you, if I can get you rallying off polls today, that would be so fucking huge, bro. Uh, just, just basically. So, so basically, what if we want to do it like this is when I start talking about the next object, that's when you drop it. That's when you drop the next poll. You know what I mean? So, like, if if so, say for instance, uh, Drygonic Cauldron. As soon as I say Drygonic Cauldron, drop a poll. Can you do a straw poll for them? I I I don't know how to do that just yet. Sorry. Pickle seems way too happy about pole duty. I think I think Pickle's just happy, just you know, get back into the into the doing stuff with the community. I think that's what really what it is. Yeah. So just end them after thirty seconds. Well, let's let's end them after like so. Let's give it a little bit of time. So like I can talk about it and be like, okay, so this is what this does. Yada yada yada. And then if I finish that up, thirty seconds times minimum. But anything else, then just end it. And then we'll 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 uh, we'll we'll crush out as many as we can, just so people get their opportunity. And obviously, I'm going to read chat while the gem shop tier list is going to go, and then we can just go go like that, dude. And that and that's and that's what we're gonna that's how we're gonna roll it. And uh, I think I think it'll work out pretty good. Pickle swinging his big slab, dude. Yeah, dude. He's basically. Hey, did you hear about the new anime game, My Goblins? Yeah, mind goblins, these nuts, dude. I, I, I know that joke, okay? Ooh, chat, take a look what lava has introduced. Did you guys see? Did you guys see this? Look at this, bro. Bro, it's a, it's a pulsating tome, dude. Pickle swinging his big slab, dude. It's a book, chat. It's a book. It's a book. That's big. That's big, dude. Tome coming this Friday, chat. Tome coming this Friday. It's a real book. It's a it's a it's a real book. 
With a front cover? It's a front cover, chat. Bing bong beezle. Holy on, shit. Bop. Yo, as Bing Bukhara, come, on, come and subscribe for Bop. six months at tier Bing three. Bong, Holy on, shit. Bop. Yo. Bing bong beezle. Hey, come yo. On, you crazy lad, dude. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Oh, dude. I'm, I, I, I'm glad you enjoy the content. Thank you, man. Thank you. My way to say thanks? Fucking rights, bro. Thank you so much. Payday for Griffey? Well, it, 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 well I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm glad, dude, because uh, we, we had to do a, uh, I, I did a little bit of, a little bit of a, uh, uh, um, um, I, I bought a stockpile chip. So, so hopefully it'll last us at least, at least a month. Hopefully. So, th so thank you, Jim. Thank you, guys. But anyways, as, as, we're, as we're moving on, thank you once again, dude. How many? Don't worry about it. We have the pulsating tome, dude. The pulsating tome. I bet you anything this is the NPC. This has got to be the NPC, dude. This has got to be the NPC. Stockpile what gems? I, I, I bought a few. <sighs> Bird gut countdown, four days. What, what are we doing it on Monday, bro? Now, Lava did say that there might be some money. There might be some money. 100% NPC with the animation. So, so if you, I feel like most people should be probably like farming on their boobo until Friday. Does it look like an NPC to me? This is 100% an NPC, dude. Bro, when have you seen anything else that has this type of animation that's not an NPC? No NPCs chilling in the forest. Money. Where do you think the tome is going to be placed? I think the tome is going to be placed in World 6. Or no. You know where I think it's going to be placed? Uh... Hmm. Where is it going to be placed? I don't think it's going to be Rift. The book pulsates. It is a heart button pudum. True, true. Fractal Island, Mirror. You think it? You think it's Equinox? Right next to the accountant crop guy. There's an open spot in Rift. You, you we are we thinking? Are we, I don't. Here's the thing, okay? I don't think Lava would just do one Rift upgrade for the update. I feel like Lava would like put at least like two upgrades for the Rift for an update. I don't think it's Rift chat. I really don't think. I I don't think it's a Rift upgrade. I think it's Def World 6. I mean, is there any spaces open in World 6? Here, let me, let me, hold on. Let's see here. There's, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a space open here. For sure, right? Um. There's, like, no room here. E yeah, Equinox is terrible, but, like, where would it be put? There's no fucking room. I mean, it could be, like, right here. Could be. 32 times. Yeah, we're definitely cooking. I don't, I, I mean, but, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, here, here's a question. Then where would the task, I think the task achievement guy will be right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's a good point. We still don't have task achievement board. We don't have, uh, we don't have, uh, 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 what is, what is it, uh, Jade Jerry, you know what I'm saying? Chat, we don't have Jade Jerry yet, you know what I'm saying? I thought you were farming, yeah, far, far, farming, farming this, this, this Twitch comments and YouTube comments, let's go, bro. Definitely different worlds associated with different books, posted earlier, could, uh, but yeah, but there needs to be like a, like a normal NPC. Wait, is there any, like, NPC that would be like, hey, guess what? I have the Book of Arcane. I mean, Woodland. I mean, I'm thinking... Here, here, here's what I'm thinking. I was thinking it might be Shaman, but Shaman has a Summoning Stone. Yeah, learn the ways of the Summoning Stone. So that's, that's not going to be... That's not going to be him. He's not that guy. It's probably not going to be Leg. It's not going to be Sussy Gene. It's not going to be Potty. So there's no NPCs that really give it away. I mean, Hoove was for sneaking. It could be, it could be Woodland. 
I mean, Woodland seems to... But I mean, that was for counting abilities. I mean, it could be Woodland. Death Note could be extended. You think you think it's gonna be in World Three? I don't. I don't necessarily. Oh, well, I mean, it could be in World Three. You talking about like right here next to the Atom Collider jet, or ooh, it could actually be right next to here. That would that would make sense. The Prayer Stone and the and the and the fucking book. That would that would that would look good together. I think. Why Bubo for Money Farm? Ah, uh, because he's he's just the best. He's just the best for Money Farm by far. You think you think it's gonna be the top of the tower? I don't know if it's the top of the tower. I have no idea if it's the top of the tower. DK is better for money? No, it's not. No, ain't no way it's not. What the what the hell are you talking about? Hundred percent it's better? There's no way that's true. There's no way that DK is better for money. World six bubbles. Try it at Chiefs with bread food on. Wait, has this been proven? Has this been proven that that there's there's no way, no way, I'm getting mad money. Nah, nah, there's no shot. I I get way more money in in one day because because here's the thing. I farmed with DK at mini chieftains for fucking days, and I got like two two of the two of the pink. And then I and then I just did one day of of Bubo and I'm already at two pink, so I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't agree I don't agree. But I'm guessing all your money gear was on deep Bubo. Oh, true, true. Is DK really just that good? Is DK just that insane, Jen? No, actually, Beastmaster's best for money? Oh, okay, dude. I smell gaslighting. Depends on respawn. You know what I say, though? Here's what I say about that whole ordeal. Yeah, but cranium cooking. All right? Cranium cooking. So we increase the amount of bar smelt in the forge per two minute claims with Archer. I just get twenty five god shards per slot. Yeah, it's uh, it's for it's forge capacity. I just want a Archer class to be useful. All Archer classes are useful. DK's always been better for money. We just never talk about it. Bubo should run money anyways because you're going for a while water. DK runs drop rate and statues. Jawbreaker plus bread on DK is some nice money at Chiefs. Huge print gains from seven point four five k to six point one. What gear is best for damage? Oh. Uh... Well, I mean, once you start getting to that point, I mean, if you're if you're in World Six gear, you're probably not worrying about damage anymore. Yeah, but statues, yeah, true. I mean, I'm not I'm not too worried about statues at the moment. That's that's actually crazy, dude. I didn't I. So it's gonna get it might get to a point where DK might become a better money farmer. So is DK just gonna become the absolute Giga Chad? You know what's funny? Lava was right. Lava said back in the day. Let Squire cook, and and DK will become insane. And uh, he's already it's becoming a thing. He he might replace Bubo. He won't replace Bubo as portal pusher. There ain't no way. Bubo will never. Bubo will always be the best portal pusher in the game by far. No way. Not even close, dude. Guess what I mean is I want Siege Breaker to be good active fighting. Runescape gotta love what Runescape dude. I don't know how accurate it is. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see. It sounds like this should be tested. It should be. Let's wait for the new classes before we say things like that. Yeah, true. Does portal pushing even matter now, really, with locks? Sure, it does. Boobonk is better on big maps. I know DK can outdo Boobonk on Samurais in terms of money gain. Probably. Yeah, but Boobo might subclass before. Next class might replace him. Planted to the troll seed so deep, dude. Yeah, dude, I feel like, I feel like I'm being gaslit again. Portal pushing redundant with these multi-character portals, dude. Uh, no, it's still relevant. What are you talking about? Plot twist. 25k refinery rank on DK, so damage out space is Bubo. No, now that Bubo's got a new uh, new staff, I don't think that's the case anymore. 
is the best map in World 6 for Siege Breaker? Ooh, I would probably say lanterns. I want to. I want to say. I want to say lanterns. Also, water farming. Yeah, true. Boo bonk. Try trying to get Siege Breaker or Beast Master for my elite class. Uh, well, I mean, you should probably get Beast Master since it's World Four, and then get Siege Breaker. Bubonic Conjurer, BBC. I don't know about that one. Does Orb boost coin gain? I would assume so. Because if, because if, uh, yeah, I mean, technically it would. Yeah, it would just increase the amount of money you get per mob. Yeah, that would make sense. Do we know when new classes are supposed to come out before World 7 or no? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to get three new classes before World 7. But I mean, we, we're not even like a full month into World 6 yet. We have a long ways to go. Lanterns or Citrons too? Yeah, probably. Yeah, orb scale coins gain hard, bro. Bubo hits enemy of staff, hence Boobonk. What? what? Oh, is that why we're calling it Boobonk? Or boost everyone drop rate. You secrets, well, it doesn't boost drop rate. Shadows waiting to strike. Let's, so let's, everyone stay safe. Wally, let's not let's not give false information here. Or, or or boost how many kills you get per per kill. All right. So so if you have a hundred orb every time you kill an enemy, it counts as two kills, two base kills. To be fair, so so it's it it was technically doubling coins, from but it doesn't it doesn't actually it doesn't actually give you um more drop rate. No one actually knows how orb works. No, we know how orb works. No, we're we're perfectly aware. We're per we're perfectly aware that it that we know how orb works. When's gem shop tier list up? Well, how about you be a, have a couple of fucking patience, huh? Yeah, I, I heard it, Machine. Kill per kill. This stream says idle on not all your skilling, bro. There's kill per kill in this game. You mean eviscerate, Alex? You mean you mean eviscerate, bro? So if orb doubles, that's way better than actual DR. So yeah, it makes sense with 1.2k orb. Yeah, I mean, it could be a possibility with 1.2k orb. Yeah, sure, for sure. Wait, it, oh, is it could be possibly uh, GK be doing better because of the, uh, the, the overlap has been changed? Yeah, first three hours of just chatting, then tier list. We're not doing three hours of just chatting. What am I, Titanic Llama? Doing three hours of just chatting? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Their IT reviews then? If not, then what? If not, then what? Huh? What, banana? What? Do you, what? What? You gonna fucking leave? Huh? Because I'm not doing an account review? Good. What's that? Overlap? What's that mean for orb? I'm staying? Good. Yeah, you better stay. He doesn't know. So, so basically what happened, what happened with orb is what orb used to do is, uh, if you, if you had it to a certain level, it would, it would overlap and then it would make it so you would like lose gains. But now it has just like an automatic lap. So you can level it up as much as you want. I think it's only like a five second overlap. So you can get it to a really high number and it's, it's still more worth it. What are you doing before world six orb counts additional kills on crystals with high drop rate. I was killing a pure amount of kill per hour. Uh, Bubo gets. I don't know about that. I don't. I I x to fucking doubt on that one, pale. I don't. I don't. I would like to see the numbers for that. I would like to see the fucking numbers that fucking DK's out killing per hour fucking Bubo actively. All right, no fucking shot. Is it safe to level mana box now? I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. Do we max orb now? I I don't know. I don't know. So what's the best orb level without mana box? I don't know. Chad, I don't know. Actually, have I heard gem shop tier list? Yeah, we're doing the gem shop tier list. Today. Wait, orb is fixed, so we max orb. Pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can run mana box and orb. Guide guy, by the way. I don't know fucking everything, Doug. He's not out killing. Orb is out scaling money percent versus kill per hour with Bubo. Oh, okay. Guide guy, by the way. Okay, dude, just because... Okay, okay. Hello? How... How come we don't have like this same ideology when it comes to like Ice Lock or Llama? There are guide guys too. Hello? How come how come I'm the only one that has to hold up like a fucking 99% accuracy on every question that has asked within this game? Like I feel like this is so biased. This is so based. It's like I basically have to be like the fucking Wikipedia. I have to be fucking perfect. You are that guy. We need, we need Nardwar, dude, because you're the dev. We know you're a 70 percenter. That's what I'm saying. I'm a 70 percenter. You changed it. I remember when you could remember everything. Yeah, I could remember everything back in fucking World 3 when it wasn't difficult to remember everything. Now it's like, okay. 
Let's let's add let's add 90 more mechanics to world six. Cheesebreaker got best kills per hour. Uh, uh AFK, yeah. Maybe time for Eidolon instead of yapping on. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. Dude, it is warm in here. Hopefully you guys can't hear the fan. I've heard if you orb, you can get over 315. It's better to go max and say cap to 300. Yeah, I heard that as well. You got shut down, dude? Yeah, I know, dude. I know, bro. I know. It's messed up, bro. That's messed up, all right? Some, that's some messed up shit. It's fine. Apparently, apparently, fucking, that's crazy, though, that DK might be the new S-tier god, bro. To think. Drop from 23 to 20. Yikes, Wally. How do I beat Cattle, cattle Crook on Nightmare with BM? My CDs are all way too high. Uh, tra traps. Lots and lots of traps, bro. Lots and lots of traps. That's what you need to do. Hey, G, when does Bubo actually become top tier high performer? 200 talent level. But it's kind of crazy how uh, Bubo might not be strong anymore, dude. That's actually fucking wild to me. That's kind of, that's actually, if anything, that's kind of saddening, to be honest. It just, it just looks like the DK is just the fucking goat all the way around, bro. But you know what? I'm okay with DK being the goat, bro. The DK is fine. But it's worth the leave. Boobonk's still strong, just not superior in two things now. At least Boobo is S tier in lab, bro. Yeah, true. <laughs> that, that's fucked up. Yeah, true, dude. What's DK better for now? Apparently, DK is better at getting money than, than Bubo, apparently. It's always be the better water farmer, though. Yeah, he'll always be S tier for alchemy. There will always be alchemy, so Bubo's always strong, dude. My S currently farming those vials, boy. Yeah, bro, I just finished that shit. Warriors are my favorite archetype. At what talent does DK start dropping double statues to shoot waves? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Please don't tell me DK is better at rare drops than ES. No. No, ES. I'm almost positive ES is still better. Lives. That's fucked up. That he heartbeat, bro. Alive watching knowing. Bro, imagine. Imagine the closer. Just imagine, dude. You get closer to the tome, and then all of a sudden you, you, you fucking get a heartbeat. And the closer you get to the tome, that'd be, that's, that's fucked up, dude. Every class is something to excel at, even BM. Yeah, I guess so. What, what does Blood Berserker excel at? AFK? Mind you, with orb getting so high, maybe 1200 orb is better than 160 portal. Could be, could be possible, dude. Could be possible. He excels at cooking, kitchen, kitchen. Yeah, chat, you know what that is? AFK. So Bl Blood Berserker is, uh, is a, a professional AFK. He is, he, he is the true idol, on, idol class. The true idol class. Just ladling, bro. Another day of stream. This is not, this, this is not, the, this is not the normal stream, chat. This is the next best thing. G, just let him cook, bro. BB is the idol on MMO, dude. True. He's the active child pusher. Soon enough, he's going to be the apocalypse plow pusher. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Jet? They go adventuring only to return home. Cook with all that experience, dude. Yeah, if yeah, delicious in the dungeon, bro. Blood Berserker excels at DPS high scores on the target dummy. What? No, he doesn't. <laughs> what? No, 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 he doesn't. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Blood Berserker high score DPS? Bro, it sounds like someone's only been paying attention to the DK. <laughs> AFK, so AFK more hours, which means A more AFK hours, dude. What at the time of World War Kitchen by Gabo? Oh, could be. You really said a yap for three hours before gameplay starts? You gotta love it, dude. Favorite class being far despite being bad? He's not a bad class. Blood Berserker isn't bad. He's actually really good for pushing uh, Death Note. What is your elemental sorcerer or Gmush? I don't know. I don't know what it is right now. He's just a friendly a barbarian who took the side class chef, dude. Blood Berserker, second lowest DPS. Yeah, true. 13 out of 15 chemicals, last two are slow, bro. I mean, huge. You're almost there, dude. 
Blood Berserker is caveman. Oonga Boonga. Shrewden. He's good at consuming candy. Yeah, true. G straight from Yap Town. You know what? Okay. Why why you why you why are you saying straight from why why are we calling it Yap, bro? By the way, IBA mug, love to see it. Why do y'all gotta say I'm fucking you just yapping, bro? You know, chat, you know who yaps? You guys yap. You guys yap all the time. You yap more than I do. Yappersons. Yapping bald night, bro. Whatever, dude. Crystal spawn goes from a percent chance on tool boxes of being under 100k per kills per crystal. I think so. I think it's it's one in under or one in 100. Yeah, I believe. Why did Lava make sassy gene quest take like five months? I want my stamp, dude. Well, you were supposed to do it early, but no one did it early. Do you know a talent guide for less than a level 100? Yes. No. There. If you check toolbox, there there is there is class guides for it though. Where do you think we learned it from? True, true. Wait, is ES or DK better for Gmush kills? Uh, Siegebreaker, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Siegebreaker takes the cake. Isn't that, isn't that right, chat? Doesn't Siegebreaker get more kills per hour than Elemental Sorcerer now? Stop chatting, then Griffey. Gonna do something else than react to Yap and chat, bro? Nope, nope, not gonna happen, bro. Yap more than chat, though, reads all our messages and then some. You know what, dude? You know what, bro? You know what, bro? Means a regalia summons that ship takes forever regardless. True, dude. Who is the guy who bought Marbies? I didn't. What are you talking about? I didn't buy Marbies. What do you mean by do it early? You can't get regalia slime in less than 114 days, not counting golden stopwatches. Wait, what? It doesn't take 114 days to get regalia slime. What? Wait, what? Why does Regalia take 114 days? Yeah, someone bought Marbs yesterday. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Well, we have to do. We have to do. Oh yo, yo. By the way, yo, double dip. Are you in chat? With Godshard helm boots, Cruck pants, Bose gear, highest AFK kill per hour. That's pretty crazy. Because he is free to play. Um, I don't think Demos is free to play. Oh, I'm pretty sure Demos is a free to play. You need 360 summons or something with special summons easily like 100 days. It takes 360 slimes to get Regalia slime. 10 slimes per four days. That's 140. Oh, are you are you talking about the the fucking XP? Oh, oh, oh! The quest bing is for beezle. the XP Regalia. Bing bong beezle. Yo, Zod. Love the streams, bro. Yo, thank you for the seven months, dude. 300 gems, what get? Well, a good thing you should watch today's stream. Yeah, we're great. Oh, the Regalia is familiar. Oh, that makes so much more sense, bro. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, Regalius won't take anybody 144 days. I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. No, okay, I see. All right, I see you now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, probably. Okay, that's true. That's true. I need 360 basic slimes for Regalius. Yeah, okay. I didn't. I sorry. I didn't. I I was. I didn't realize. Guy, guy. Chat. Bop. I'm gonna. Bing holy bong, shit. Come on, baby. Bop. Yo, Bakara, dude. Bong, Coming in with the 25 on, gifted subs. Thank you, my dude. What a fucking legend, baby. Yo, chat. If you guys receive one of those gifted subs, make sure to say thank you because we receive, we always say thank you for the things we receive here in the itty bitty army. Yo, dude, thank you, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Fucking god damn. God damn. Five wheel spins? No, chat. We need, what, what is it? We're at 381 out of 690, chat. We'll bring back the wheel at 690, dude. We're almost there, chat. We're almost there. We're like halfway there. Thank you so much again, dude. Fucking Jesus. Big W. At 10 every three days, th 36 times three, you have to buy 10 every time with skip, which is 108 day do total. That's not too bad. Oh, gee, that thumbnail made me realize that doing a removal seeds would be great mega wheel spin. Yeah, I already thought about that as well. All right, that's what I thought as well. Wait, you're going to do 690 spins in a stream? No, no, no. I'll bring back the wheel. We'll start working on the wheel when we hit that sub goal. Because that, that's for, that's the bring back the wheel sub goal. 
But Jordan redeem marbles. Yeah, we'll do marbles in a second here. Let me, let me, let me do my thing, chat. Let me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, G, can you take off your headset and your hat? Stare at camera. I need. Okay, here, here, let me. what you want. League, e okay, dude. All right, bro. I'm not a league esports player, okay? It's forging a passport for you. Yeah, dude, do you need my, do you need my, uh, need my mother's uh, maiden name, dude? They grin, though. Le esports legend. Faker! It's Faker! Bro is about to become a reaction image. You know what? It's fine, bro. Yeah, three numbers on the card at the back. Yeah, I got you, dude. See, Chad, I got hair. I got lots of hair, Chad. Where did G go? Sorry, I'm putting back on my relatability gear. See, Chad, the headphones, hat, and glasses adds 25 to charisma. And plus 5 to relatability. Did you go to the gym again? I'm going again tonight. I go to the gym at 1 in the morning. More memes, more watchers, true. You look so different without glasses. Yeah, I look like an asshole. Baldy Night Strikes in adds like 25 years to age, dude. Yeah, see, I take my glasses off when I go to the gym so that nobody wants to fucking talk to me because it looks like I'm going to rip their fucking head off. So you went and then skipped, bro. What do you mean? I, I, do, I do every other day. So I, I go to the gym, break day. Another gym, break day. Another gym, and then next week it's going to go gym, break day, gym, gym, break, gym, break, gym, break, gym, gym, break, gym, break. Bro, you are a stick man? Bro, give me four months, all right? Give me fucking four months and I'll be like this. I'll be like, my dudes, what's going on? How's it going, shit? How much reps and weight? Uh, I'm doing hyper, uh, hy hy hypertrophy. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing less weight, but I'm going really fucking slow just to make sure to rip that shit. You know what I'm saying? Rip that shit, bro. Sounds like you already made a spreadsheet. I did. Swollen bit. Are you doing push pull legs? Yeah, I'm doing. I might do legs today, actually. Gonna be chowing down on those trembolone sandwiches. But see, chat. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. If I go to the gym and, and, I, and I get and I for the League of Legends Quebec final. Fuck off. Shut up, Wally. If I if I get if I get big and swole, chat, or at least or at least in better shape, I can be like, even you guys can do it. You know what I'm saying? You know what, you know what I mean? I'll give you guys the inspiration to go to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't gone now. What are you talking about? Griffey's like Charlie Seeker buff. The biceps are out of control. Dude, just wait. Just wait, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the char the fucking moist critical fucking aesthetic, bro. I'm just gonna look I'm just gonna look skinny and all of a sudden just boom fucking huge out of left field, bro. Just got CC today, finally missing two best pets now. Dude slugs at you, you'll get there, bro. Are you gonna turn into a Deku and hand cramp things? Probably. Probably, dude. Half the people here have bought a home gym with the money we dumped into the gym shop. Bro, here's the problem. Here's the problem with home gyms, okay? You buy a home gym and it never gets used. You pay for a gym membership, you have sunk cost fallacy, so you feel like you have to go. You know what I'm saying? It's a little, and it's a different atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? You know? It is, it's a completely different atmosphere. But it's kind of nice. When I go to the gym, no one else is there. So I'm literally just, I literally get the whole gym set to myself. So if I want to do anything I want, I can. And it's and I'm literally just there by myself. Well, I'm there with the GI, but it's just it's literally just me and her. True, I have a home gym, but it's all the way in the basement. Yeah, exactly. Like like the thing is, is like if you have to drive all the way to the gym, you're like, oh fuck, I guess I'm here. Well, I guess it's time. Pay for a gym, you should just get results, dude. Yeah, true. Until he needs a spot. Yeah, I don't think I I so I have two fuck shoulders. So I I'm not I'm not I don't ever need a spot because I'm never gonna be doing workouts like that. Turn to Tyler one because G is bald, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, so, Chad, I'm gonna try to do the Saitama. Uh, I'm gonna do the Saitama workout, Chad, where I'm gonna get so strong that I'm gonna become bald. That's that's the plan. 
Bro, I worked out for 18 years. Don't expect instant progress. You'll quit in months if you do so. Ave, I was in nutrition for three years, and I was also uh, I also worked out for three years. Uh, well, actually, I worked out for five years, and uh, I was also um, a buck 80 in high school. Uh, I I know I, I I know trust the process. I've I've done it lots. This is it's not my first rodeo. Hundred sit ups, hundred push ups, and take eight runs every day. Yeah, true. He wants to become second John Sins, bro. I I fuck. I'd roll. I'd become Johnny Sins, bro. You're doing great. They should add code Griffy when paying for gym membership. Yeah, add yeah. Use code Griffy at gym membership, chat. G will roast you for that. G, I used an AI to combine yours and Batman's face. Look cursed. Oh shit. Wait, let's wait. Where is it? Get some SARMs and pro hormones. Use them. Yeah, chat. I'm gonna start using roids, bro. We just start roiding the fuck up. Where'd you post it? When's Tome, Mr. Lava? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not completely mad about that. I'm not gonna lie, chat. That looks kind of fire, bro. I have too much hair. Why do I look like the guy from American Psycho? Chad, that's going to be me in three years. Chad, that's going to be me in three years. Just wait. Looks like it was well... It was done well, though. Yeah, true enough. Thing G has never said, I have too much hair, bro. Forgot to account for the skipping. Yeah, we, we went bald night, not dark night, dude, because Christian Bale and Batman was American Psycho guy. Was he? Oh, shit. It was Christian Bale, wasn't it? Hairline doesn't match, bro. It's it's a two paint chat. Make it bald, bro. Make it baldy night, bro. Batman has more hair than G. You know what, dude? You know what? That's fucking cursed, bro. That's some cursed shit, chat. <laughs> so, Mister Bald, <laughs> since I finally got Dude, and I'm now part of the Dude cult, does Dude give you? All I don't the like the AI. You know you don't have that guy. I don't like the AI, bro. I I look like he just added like another fucking forty years onto me, bro. It looks like that one guy off Home Alone, bro. Griffy, after a thousand count reviews, I am the Dark Knight. Still give me a hundred days on average for free guys. He needs a tool belt that hides his tiny nugget, bro. I have, I have a big nugget, all right? I don't know what you're talking about. Curly hair, though. Jesus, bro. The dork knight, dude. Looks like Eminem. Looks, what? Looks nothing like Eminem. What do you mean, Megan? What are you talking about? Griffy the wet bandit. Griffy after Eidolon, bro. <laughs> Did you see the announcement? He's on H. I don't. What what is HRT? By the way, I don't really I don't really follow Finster, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I like I like watching some of this stuff, but I'm not. I I I I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of stopped watching Finster once he started going super degenerate. And once he started going way too degenerate, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. It was cool for a while. I'm done. Oh oh, hormone. Oh yeah yeah. No thanks. No no no. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Word. Yeah, no, that ain't for me anymore. I was, I, 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 lo I lost interest. I lost interest, my dude. Try to use Batman pick to trick face ID and lock your phone, dude. I'm just waiting for the tier list. Ping me when it happens, G. Yeah, sure. I'll. Uh, hey, chat. Let me write it down. Uh, make sure to message uh, DJ Milky Way. Uh, when uh we start the tier list. Uh, chat, write that down. Specifically, I want everybody to at DJ Milky Way when uh, we start our tier list. Uh, write that down, and uh, we'll we'll get that going. We'll get that rolling. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dude? You coming out, Griffy? Nah, nah. Wrote down. Thanks, Chat. Thanks. Since when can we tell you what to do? Bop. Uh, uh, bing bong, beezle. Uh, come on, baby. Uh, bing bong, Marbies. Beezle. Yeah, we'll do a couple come rounds on, of baby. Marbies here, chat, and then and then we'll get our get our idol on stuff done, and then we'll we'll hop into fucking getting the tier list started. 
Cue ya, Bruggy. Thank you for the two months, dude. Thank you for the two months streak, brother man. So, chat, we have two races for VIP for marbles. One for double dip. The other one was redeemed by uh, the myth, the man, the legend. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't remember who it was. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for the two months, dude. And Q Crowd, thank you for the 25 gifted again, bro. Big, big fucking pog. Who was it, Chen? I don't remember who it was. TY for the content? You're welcome, brother man. I hope when people say TY for the content, I hope they mean just like the streams in general. I hope they don't mean like spec Oh, it's the Jorna. Huge. I, ho I hope it's not just specifically guides, because I, I will I will be really self-conscious as people only, like, want to support the content because I make guides, not because my not because my content's entertaining, bro. That'll really, that'll really hit me in the, in the self-conscious, bro. <laughs> I will, I will, I will go into a very, very, sp I will start spiraling, dude. The streams are good, entertaining, okay, good, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, lock to guide, bro, lock to guide guy? Wait, you stream, dude? You make guides? I rather people ask you make guides and be like, "Hey, you're entertaining." What? I'm, are you not entertained? I really want to join your streams, but they start at two a.m. for me. Yeah, that's, that's why we got the vods, Bakra. That's why we got the vods, brother man. That's why I always say hello to the vods, bro. We actually have a whole community based on vod watchers, bro. That's the that's the that's the tits right there. All right, champ. All right, let's let's do a gamba here. Here we go. Found you a VI guy just running VODs while I'm working from home, dude. I'm actually so glad you guys watch VODs, bro. That makes me feel so good. VODs isn't enjoyable like live content. You're right. You tr you're right. You're right. Yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy, dude. Cuke underscore laugh. New VIP will emerge. <laughs> Yo, first time watching the stream. Yo, Legend Nolan, welcome on in here, dude. Just chatter, bro. Stream pretty late my time zone. To be fair, chat, if I actually become a uh, reasonable individual, stream. Bing bong, I will I will actually on, like baby. start stream earlier. Bing but I mean, I doubt that's ever going to happen. Bong, Let's be honest on. here. Come on, baby. Sup, G. Sup, dude. So, chat, we're getting really close to running out of uh, VIP spaces. So it's only for first place, by the way. And Adam, thank you for it. The 11 months on the primer, big dog. See, here's here's the real question. Here's what I want to do, chat. I want to do like five to six days a week streaming and then have and then just have uh, have uh, editors just to run my second channel or run run my first and second channel. So then I can just stream all the fucking time. What's VIP? VIP in chat is uh, exclamation mark play chat. And so you can skip things like slow mode and basically you get a nice diamond next to your name so you can look like a big old chat, bro. Exclamation mark play. But I mean, we got, we got, we got to get that stuff done first. You know what I'm saying? Boost is always enabled. Boost for copium, baby. Boost for copium. So we have two races, Chet. We have two races, by the way, and then, and then we'll, and then we'll hop into some, uh, hop into some work. We'll, uh, we'll get our guys all set up for lab so you guys can understand the concept of setting up for lab. And then, and then chat, we have to do, obviously we have to do a little bit of our sailing gamba as well, all of that good stuff. And then after all that, once everybody's in lab, then we are going to be starting our gem shop tier list. And I know you guys are fucking excited for the gem shop tier list today because I'm excited. You're lucky I'm back. What? I, I like I like how people sound so passive aggressive sometimes. You're lucky I'm back. Like, like okay, what, like what, what are you gonna fucking chain me up in your goddamn basement? Like, what are we saying here? Hell yeah, cheer list so I know what to wail on, dude. Yeah, true, true. And uh, <laughs> hey, uh, so Lava, this would be a good idea to implement uh code Griffy into Gem Checkout. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for the for the you know for the Gem Shop tier list. You know that probably be probably be a good probably be a good idea. 100% then? Yeah, use code Griffey at checkout, Chet. 
You're lucky I play Eidolon. I True. Wuchula circles from wood mushrooms since they okay. have a higher chance than walking sticks. Yeah. Also, have you tried controlling two players solo? You can't do that. Springer, you can't do that, and I hope you don't do that either, because that that that's a that's a cheater McCheaterson. All right, here we go, champ. Here we go. Here we go. And just because, just because, Barqua, I don't know if I'm butchering his name or not, if Barqua gets first place, I'll give him perma VIP. If he gets last place, I'll do perma VIP for chat. Just a shout outs for the 25 gift arenos. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. We have 110 people on the board ready to get going here. Ready to get going. Make sure to boost. I missed it. L ratio, bro. I, I Imagine not watching the stream 24-7, seven days a week. Because as soon as I end the stream, you should be going to uh, to uh, Griffy Bit TV and watching the VODs. I should be on 24-7. You should always have Griffy Bit on. If you don't, do you, can you really call yourself a fan? Can you really call yourself a cult? Was he using a multi-ball theme in GBA Sonic Pinball game? Pog. When do I play Eidolon then? At the same time. Simultaneously. Griffy hypnosis, bro. You know it. You know it, dude. Yo, actually kind of... Okay, kind of sus, dude. Okay, hold up. He's in first place. Hold up. This is not a pay-to-win stream. Fucking chill. Bro, you need to fucking chill. Bro, you need to chill the fuck out. No. No. Wait. D dude, there's no, that's no fucking way. God damn it. Bro, wait. Is he him? Wait, wait, wait. There's no way he's him. There's no... Oh my god. Wait. <sighs> okay. Okay, Viri won. Viri won. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was, yeah, that was fucking scam, bro. That was fucking hell. See you later, Spark. Wild, dude. Wild. Absolutely wild. That man got fucking yeeted, bro. But Viri does win VIP, so that means a new VIP has emerged, chat. We'll do one more. Did I die? I don't know, probably. I know Wolf did, so did Schmags. So did Zolger Games. And said so Demos. It's because Demos has skipped two weeks of D&D, &D, brother. Feels bad. Feels bad, dude. Beery with the win. VIP goes on that way. There it is, bro. Welcome to VIP, dude. There we go. New VIP has emerged. Complete the prediction. We'll do one more chat. And then we get on to some idle on stuff so we can get on to the tier list. Here we go. Another one coming on in. I didn't even finish. That's what she said. Moving on. Next track. It's just for first place, chat. First place coming on in. Ooh, it's the portals map, chat. It's the portals map. The death. The absolute death, dude. Who's the perma carrier? Yeah, true. Who's going to be the perma carrier? Mm, 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 mm. Who's the perma carrier? Mm, 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 mm. 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 Let's do Pickle. Pickle Yama. All right. Here we go, chat. Are you ready? If Pickle Yama wins first or last place, I'll do a race for Perma VIP. First or last, since he's a mod. First or last. 
but VIP will only be given to first place. Here we go, champ. Boost me. Here we go. You guys ready? But mods can't get VIP unless they're demoted. You're right. You're absolutely right. So if he wins first place, L ratio, y'all get your points taken away. But if he wins, that means we do a race for perma VIP. So it's a, it's a double whammy. It's an L ratio and a W ratio at the same time. That's a double ratio. Here we go, chat. Make sure to boost. Boost, boost, boost. Comet Sky in first place, followed by Banjo. We got Wild Gooser, then the Schmookles. We got Cookies, Sweetheart, Hazard on the other side. We got Doom Basher and Hadix, Legion, Tugs, Sir Demos. It's anybody's game, though, chat. It is Portals after all. Anybody's game. Camus Guy looking like he's got the sweet. Yo, Legion. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. It's raining balls. The Nightmare. Weasel's gone. Seb Dog is gone. Feels bad. Colored Gecko. L Ratio. Adam out of left field. Wally Goozer also gone. Hypno Hands. The Chiratic. Nico Valley. Is he going to hit it? Grip Dog. Nico hits first place. There's still a chance. Pickle has to hit last place, chat. Last place for Pickle. Pickle was second place. Pickle was literally a couple seconds away from being first place. That, look, that's just two close calls. That is two unrealistic close calls, dude. I'm actually kind of worried. I died. You got second place. You got second fucking place. Only seven people survived. Seven people survived. Survived, chat. There you go, dude. Welcome to VIP. There you go. Thank you for redeeming your chat. We got one more, chat. We got one more to crank out. One more. Ziggy the Great has just redeemed marbles for VIP. We got one more. Get on in here. And then we need to get started on our idol on stuff. This is the last one, chat. If you redeem it, I will refund it. Just because this is our last one. We need to get started on some idol on fucking shit here, okay? We need if we don't do the tier list, it's gonna be a late, late fucking stream, bro. Nah, Marbies forever. Chad, am I just gonna become a Marby streamer? Is that what you guys want? Just Marbies and only Marbies? And Marble Stream, yes. <laughs> see, see, you guys think it's a good idea, but if I actually did that, you'd be like, two days later, you'd be like, okay, G. Okay. Enough with the fucking Marbies. There's a ghost in my house. That just came that just dropped out of nowhere. That is a that is a fucking ghost. There's a fucking ghost in my house. All right. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Who's going to be the lucky racer? You know what? Let's do schmookles. Let's do the old schmooky with always making banger art for the channel. All right, schmookles. If you get first place, I will give you permanent VIP. If you get last place, I'll do VIP for chat. Perma VIP for chat, dude. Here we go. The lube drop? No, it was just it was a it was it was my it was my Pepsi. Schmookles always coming in with the goat exclamation goat shit. Mark, a coral exclamation mark, a coral exclamation mark, a coral exclamation mark, a coral. Why why you gotta why you got why you gotta why you gotta why you gotta do stuff like that, huh? Why do you got why do you gotta be like that? Why you gotta why you gotta just uh, spam? Make sure to boost, chat. Make sure to boost. Get in there. Get in there. Remember, you only have three boosts per race. Don't spam it, dude. Don't spam it. You gotta, you gotta be strategic with this. I think Schmookles has used all of their boosts. It's the strategic boosting, chat. The strategic boosting. Man, this is... Can you guys go down the hole any faster? Is that possible? Well, let's, let's wait for people to come out, I guess. The first one is Snakey DLX. We got uh, Mezaria. We got Beery Rem Monk. We got Enelie 50 Rhina. Or Rune, Runei, I should say. Well, I fucked that up. Verifix Hadix. We also got the Jaws. We got we got Eddie Doom Basher coming on in. We need to change the song. There we go. 
This is the perfect time to boost chat. Hadix is in first place. He wants to give nobody that W. Feels bad, bro. Renmunk coming on in right behind. Plays the same Sonic song again, bro. Hey, you know what, dude? It's all about that Tokyo Drift, baby. It's all about that Tokyo Drift. Coming on up. Hadix coming on rolling on in there, dude. Love that. We got Remmuck right behind, bro. Yeah, I think I think I think I think Hadix has got this, bro. I think he's gonna take it home. Yo, Rip Verifix, Squid Gas, Ziggy, Ekurado, Omega Squad, Doom Basher taking L's, bro. Need for Sneed, the red, sir. L's. 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 Five goods, tugs, clash is toxic. Maybe be less toxic. Dragonomicon. Ooh. 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 The stall up, though. Swear to God, I was almost there, dude. But Hadix still takes it. Dude, bro, Hadix is cooking. Yo, is Hadix a Blood Berserker main? Because he is fucking cooking. Yo, Rupert the Yeti, dude. Mr. Waffles, Tytraz. Feels bad, dude. Swear to God, is catching up pretty quick. Ooh, bad roll, though. Bad roll. Coming on in, dude. Hagain, bro. Dude, dude, he's MLG this shit, dude. Where's the air horns? Get in there, dude. But wreck dumb right behind. Ooh, bad hit. Bad hit, dude. He is he's cooking, dude. Uh I would like to see your screen. I think you're I think you're using wall hacks. I think you're cheating. I think you're I think you're using God mode. I uh I, I disagree with this. This is clearly cheating on a fucking stream integrated game. And bro, he he is fucking cooking. I think he might take this home. Check his PC. It's not normal, dude. Yeah, dude. True. True. Uh, I, I, he's a Linux user, chat. He's obviously cheating. Okay? Because any, any person that uses Linux is obviously there to cheat. Oh, wait. He got caught up, though. Peanut. Peanut, catch it up. Hadix won. Hadix won. Holy shit. That was so close, dude. I thought Peanut had that. So if you don't know, chat, this middle platform here isn't considered the finish. No, 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 no. It isn't considered the finish. If you hit down here, that's a finish. So, so, so Peanut hit that, and Hades went down faster. So he technically won. There's never been a truer statement about Linux users. Yeah, true and real, bro. Wait, where's Smooky? Where's Schmookles? Oh, Schmo oh, Schmooky's right there. Rip. What a finish. Literally photo finish. You know what that means, chat. You know what that means. There is no VIP. There is no VIP. That's a lot of channel points. That's a lot of that's a lot of channel points. That's a lot of channel points. That's a lot of channel points. Chat's eating good. Chat is eating good. There you go. There's your three games, chat. There we go. We're all caught up. We're all caught up on the VIP marble races. Take that. Take that. Take that. Got five times payout. Let's go, dude. Huge. Cooking. Only time I voted. Yo, what's up, Farzan? All right, chat. Now what we need to do is we need to get start. No, we're not more. We can't keep on doing more. We have to do a tier list today. Tier list is more important. That's YouTube content. You guys, you tell me you guys don't want more YouTube content. I think you do. I think you do. I think you do. I just fucking spilt on myself. I just fucking spilt on myself. I hate this place. a sign of getting old other than going bald bro spit on myself hey yo remember to make it very obvious mistake to improve comment engagement yeah true i need to be wrong a lot dude 101 house cleanliness i'm gonna be honest with you i'm yet to see a streamer that actually has a clean house i too am also just pretending to be an adult yeah i, I mean i'm pretending to be an adult what you get for a yap in one hour dude no dude no way all right, chat, here we go. Next Gamba coming on up, coming at you. 
We have 290 chests, chat. 290 chests, new artifact. Here we go. It's Gambit time. He's yapping longer, bro. Your room looks clean. It's a fake closet that's messy, dude. My, my room isn't that clean. It's, it's really not. It's really, it's really not as clean as you think it is. All right, let's head on over to here. What artifact? We are going for the Shim Lantern. The last one we need of the lanterns, the Sovereign. And then, and then, and then we have to do uh, the fucking weather book. And then we'll do Crystal Stake and then Socrates. And then, and then the most OP artifact in the game. Opera Mask. Great time. You missed the boring just chatting, bro. Epic, tell you what. Next time we do just chatting. I will, I will make sure to put on Subway Surfer just for you, big dog. Or do you, want, do you prefer Subway Surfer, Minecraft Parkour, or some GTA Racing? What do you prefer, big dog? Do you prefer for your little attention span? Epic living up to the name. All right, I had to sleep. It's lovely finally able to join the stream. Good night. Yo, thank you. Thank you, Buckrow, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support today. Gaming. Oh, damn. Minecraft Parkour would be great. All right, all right, all right, all right. GTA RP, bro. GTA, someone has Reddit narrative video, dude. Put on subway server, make one pixel window on top right. OG, can you get, can you, can you give a good night kiss? That is some, why the fuck would you ask that weird ass shit? What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways, let's get going, chat. <sighs> hey, bro, is, is, nothing wrong with giving a good night kiss to the homies. You know what I'm saying, chat? <laughs> you gotta do it for the homies. <laughs> <laughs> give your homie, yeah, chat. You better give your homies a good night kiss, bro. <laughs> homies love a good night kiss. Can you purr for me? That's weird. That's weird. That's not happening. Got to do it for the homies, chat. Wait, wait, wait. How long? How long was that prediction? Was that prediction only thirty seconds, or was that two minutes? They were referring to chocolate kisses, most replay part of the VOD, bro. Yeah, that's, that's how you really set in the parasocial. Everybody will save that clip to their computer, so every time before they go to bed, they will, they will double-click on that video, bro. Here we go, chat. The first batch. No dice. No dice. We're on our G-man. He's at 209, bro. 209 on the laboratory. He's cooking. Big cook. By the way, since I did the boulder, or since I got that extra build rate, we have been zooming on buildings, bro. Like, actually been fucking zooming. It's crazy. Got the star sign equipped? I do on this guy. I do on this guy. Extra build rate? Yeah, so I got, like, what was it? Like, something like... Five times more build rate or three times more build rate or something like that from, from summoning. So I went from 17 billion to 65 billion. It was, it was big. Three times? Yeah, but you're not including the, the summoner bonus diff. So it's like, yeah, 3.73. 7 .7, 3 3.73 times construction speed. It's fucking cooking. Should I focus on bonus cogs for build or XP? Oh, XP all the way. XP all the way, dude. Just double my nugget up to 10 mil now. That's what I love. That's what I love to see. No wonder Lava Nerf build rate bu bubble multi. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Something unlocked yesterday, too. Went up to 144 billion an hour, and it was just already up to 148 this morning. That's what you love, dude. You love to see it, dude. Could you say that construction could maybe be doable now? Construction has the possibility of not being fucking dog water? I feel disgusted. I bought all the 72-hour candy gambas. That's that's a problem, dude. That's that's a that's a fucking issue, bro. You should you should you should not do that. You should you should feel horrible. I'm 410 construction of DK, but only 8 million build rate. Okay, so oh, Gur 410 very low. You'll get that up higher, dude. Once you get that up to like into the 900s, that's when you're going to start seeing a huge difference. How many did you get? Yeah, how many, how many 72 hour candies? I got five 12 hours, the rest were 72. I think, what, there were 16 in total, so you got 11 72 hour time candies? 
Okay, they know the buy candy game, a gem tier list wasn't out yet? Yeah, dude, imagine. Well, that's not on the tier list, to be fair. I don't have it on the tier list. I'll, I'll briefly talk about it with time candy, though. It's better than a 50-50. It is. But it's real. I mean, it's pretty expensive. I would not, I would assume. I'm only level 514, bro. We're basically the same account, bro. Basically the same, Pickle. Recently hit 10 million construction. Nice, dude. Grats. Uh, what are people doing about ES on maps with bug nodes? I keep leaving it active, coming back to farming bugs. Um, I've never had that issue, I'm going to be honest. Never, never had that issue even once, my guy. So, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. What do you even use 72 hour candies at this point? G mush, nothing else. I would use them on uh, nothing trophy. Uh, personally. Uh, but probably G mush, yeah. Probably G mush would make more sense. Do you know how many G mush kills I would have if I didn't spend it all on fucking nothing trophy? Do you realize what I would have had by now? I would have probably been in like at least 2 trillion worth of G mush kills. At least, bro. Walk away from the bugs. Make sure you path those enemy. Include include the bug node. A lot depends on the node. Like I know, I know there's some maps. Turn on auto and close the bugs. Sometimes hit like five mobs and start catching. Just don't start next to one. Is that really how you fix that problem? The frick, the nothing trophy. My characters have too much to do. Yeah, I mean that was that was my favorite part about maintenance mode. Okay, that was my that was my maintenance mode special. Is it normal to get? Max 1.5 to 2k kills on World 4 Purtle Porsche. At this rate, it's going to take me a month without candies. Um, like, not really. I think, I think, what, what are you probably looking more towards like 10k, I think? Please make a nice tier list about packs. Oh, so maybe another day yesterday would make an awesome video for it. Well, actually, believe it or not, Ave, I actually have uh, all the saved assets for the pack, so I could do a quick one. I could, actually. I could do, I could do, it, 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 so tell you what, if people really like the new Gem Shop tier list, I will do one for the, I will put a, I will put a like goal on the Gem Shop tier list. Tell you what, I'll, I'll put, I'll put a like goal, and if, it, if we hit the like goal, I'll do another, I'll do another tier list for, for the, for the packs. I think, I think, I think, I think that would be cooked. He's like, he's like farming, bro. 100 likes and I'll drink water, dude. Bro, you, yeah, bro, you got to. I would use all free candy in World 4. Just got one guy through it. Huge. Come on, dude. Just let me be done with these lanterns. Like, actually, I need to get gaming done. Oh, by the way, do I hit it today? No. Nah. No. Nah. No, nah. nah, that's not. That didn't, that didn't happen. No. Nah. No, no. Here's 200 points. Drink your water. Epic, you didn't. Epic, you didn't do hydrate. You did highlight message. No, no. What level should I stop dumping all my water into grind time? Uh, I usually stop around 10k, 13k, somewhere around there. I did. There was a hydrate, silly G. Don't you call me silly. You're silly. Oh, look at this chat. It's done. All my monster vials are done. So now all we have is souls, god shard bars, and turtles. And then we're all done. We're all done. Well, except, you know, obviously dreadlow bars, and, you know, perler, perler shells, and, you know, hamters, and, you know, and salts, and... And, and frogs, and, you know, Bob Joe Pickle, and, uh, and, you know, iron bars. I haven't done that yet. Good luck on the bars, thanks, dude. Should be, should be easy. So, I mean, we're, you know, we're still, we're still missing out on a lot, but I mean, we're, 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 we're doing all right. We done, but where's the gem tier list vid, or is it not out yet? F flirt, we're, that's what we're doing today. Flirt, that's, flirt, we, we're, we're making the gem shop tier list today. So ugly, it's cute, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be sad when they take it away. Have you hit the hyper refinery ranks where you can just make a million salts in an hour? I don't think so. No, not yet. 
Iron Bar is going to be not that bad with the Forge upgrades. Yeah, true. The Bribe is going to be huge as well. Are you, how are all your AFK gains sailing specifically all random? Uh, it's because of uh, Golden Hamters. Golden Hamters is why. Iron Bar shouldn't be too hard. Drill alone will definitely take one each arm. Yeah, I think Irons will be actually quick and easy. Yo, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome on in. I just want him to hydrate. Chat, you want me to hydrate? I'll hydrate for you, big dog. Bean stacked hamters. I have a hundred. I have I have super bean stacked uh, hamters as well. Is chat hydrated? Yeah, chat. Are you fucking hydrated? You know, you're too busy worrying about my hydration. What about your hydration? 42 million G-mush an hour, good for candy. Bro, it, part of me says you just said that for the flex. Okay, you know it's good enough, but you just said it for the flex. My Coke intake is 100% on point. What do you mean by that? What do, what, do, what do you mean by that? Well, that's fucking lame. That's another day with no Sovereign. This game sucks. This game's trash, chat. I'm in stream. This game sucks. Worst game. Actually, do actually dog shit game, dude. Everybody should quit right now. Just got my first lucky lad trophy. Nice. Whatever, I'm still like missing like six Eldritch. You'll get there in no time, dude. You need to be able to buy all upgrades and be happy. Yeah, for the most part. I love the way it hurts, dude. Shit game, but I still play every day. Yeah, I'm, it's because I'm fucking addicted, okay? It's for no other reason than I'm addicted. Yo, dude, okay. Bro, I, bro, I feel like I feel like this guy is like a hacker man in my PC. He is fucking everywhere. Bro, every time I look, it's always the simple guy. The simple guy. Bro, he he is Bro, he's he is fucking following me. He is freaking me the fuck out. He is the guy, chat. He is the the guy. All right? We don't see him. Okay, maybe it's just maybe it's, maybe I just have a sch schizo episode, bro. He's in the walls, bro. He's in the fucking walls, chat. Damn. There's just a random dude on the guild always following him, dude. Can I do more mana? Cannot do more mana. Cannot do more start. I've uh, by the way, I'm neglecting everything but mana now. The only thing that matters to me is upgrading mana. Everything else is just lame. Did you do 100k golden peanuts? No, I'll probably do that sometime next week. I haven't done I haven't done kebabs, golden jam, peanuts, or butter bars. I'll do and bread. I'll do that. I'll do that like next week. I think. Okay, we are on chili peppers. For sure we have enough from here, right? It's 30 fishing, let's go, huge. Why are you upgrading mana? Because it's all Zerg rush, Mookie. Late game is literally just Zerg rush. It's literally how it goes. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna insta-grow this shit. Or wait, I guess we don't, no, actually not yet. Red hot chili peppers? Yeah, true. Okay, now we're on broccoli, dude. We're on broccoli. Brocco flower. Wait out Coliseum finished to bread and ribs. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting to. Wait, why ribs? Oh, you mean kebabs. And jam. You got the next one. I did. Not gonna lie, 100k peanuts might take some time due to big amount of hot dog requires. Ah, uh, I mean, you just run it with the DK, it won't be too bad. Come on. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day, baby. Give it to me. Wait, do I have- wait, do I even have the proper star sign on right now? Shit. What is the chances? I have a 1.7% chance. This is the one right here. This is the money. Come on. Come on. Don't fuck me like this game. Don't be a bitch. Come on. Right, Instagram, I haven't done that in like two weeks, bro. 
I just need that one plant to insta-grow. That's all I need, okay? Because then I can start leveling my, uh, my fucking alchemy. I need it for this. It's literally the new one. It's literally the next one. And then, and then when Tome comes out, I will have big fucking stealth. Big stealth. And then I can bargain tag the shit out of that. But until, and in the meantime, we'll do just do Croppy as Mapper. Because I like my, I like my crop evolution chance. We won't be able to see you, G, because I'll be too fucking sneaky, bruh. Uh, let's do, let's do, let's do... Rate. Rate. Oh, wait, no, I can do both with Liquid Investment. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've done Liquid Investment. Well, that was a huge upgrade. So was that. Easy. Griffey, just wait for Tome. The Orange Bubble gives Evo chance. Yeah, what what is it to what is it to upgrade though? What do I need? Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. More a night market would carry you over to the hundred percent. Yeah, probably. Just purple essence, my dude. What's up, Ox? What's going on, dude? What's going on, brother? 55 per hour on 4th Cauldron. It's not even that good. It could be better. Could be, could be good. We have some upgrades here. Boom, boom, boom. More Jade per hour. More Sneaky. More XP. We're cooking. We should be, yeah, we should be getting Tome, uh, tome tomorrow. Yeah, correct. You can't add them. The bubble cost essence. No, it's not bubble. bubble. Unfortunately, it is not bubble. bubble. Sorry to say. All right. Now we got that stuff done. Let's uh let's power through this chat. We need we need to hard power through this, get everybody into ready for lab, and then we'll hop into the gem shop tier list. We gotta we gotta speed run this. All right, just make sure here. Yeah, we're done with samurai. Look at this chat. Mm. Look at that, dude. Chef's fucking kiss. Chef's kiss, bro. Look at that. That is we're done. World 6 is officially completed when it comes to monster farming. Now we just need to rare material farm. And so now we can do our 210 lab farm, bro. Full Eclipse World 6, bro. Yeah, we're cooking, dude. Uh, we don't look at that. We don't, we don't look at that. That's... We don't, we don't, we don't look at that. We haven't paid attention to that in a while. Did you get 100 million kills on all... Yes, Super Chow is done as well. Did you get one kill on dude? That's just that one kill is just it's because I didn't have my pickles with you. I didn't I didn't have my fucking pickles. I didn't have my pickles, chat. World seven waiting room soon, dude. Yeah, we're in maintenance mode, chat. I think it's funny, keep it like that. The one dude. One dude to save them all, dude. Are you ready to kill one million king dudes? Well, I mean, I'm just gonna wait until I have like fucking a thousand. Okay, so the everybody, absolutely everybody is going into the lab now. <sighs> lab for two weeks, if not longer. Literally everybody's going to be lab bound. Waiting for the arenas to stack up my bone joes first. It's not the amounts, the size we understand, G. Why lab them? Yeah, we're getting the lab 2100. 2100, bro. Not using lab XP chips? I get more doing this, though, from than using lab XP chips. 40k? Damn. Did you use Bubo to power level them? No, they gotta, they gotta go in, bro. They gotta go in, dog. They're, they're, they're in. And let's make sure our star signs are equipped correctly here. We want to run none of this stuff. All of this stuff is big bad. So we want, uh, I believe it's lab XP, skill, and then we want to do uh, skill as well. Skill again. There. Okay. So no stream for two weeks? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I enjoy stuffing people into vats. Maybe the third jewel will be the cheapest one to buy. That I'm gonna be honest with you, that is that is high, high fucking levels of cope. That is insane levels of cope. I hope you're okay. 
Because that is, that is, that, my dude, that is way too much go to think that that's just going to be a thing. Everybody level 210 in lab might be pretty long to reach. It's actually not. I, I did the math. It's going to take me like two weeks. Two weeks to get it done, which just won't, won't be that long at all. And not to mention, like, I already have a couple of people past 210, so it's going to take even less time. So I'm guessing you moved your booba all the way to left? Yeah, yeah I did. Yep. The people are He's over here. hungry. Let them lick tubes. True. Um, I'm missing some XP. Oh yeah, cards. Right. I gotta set up cards. Okay, let me. I need to. Uh, Shmuki. I like. I like the. I like the new ones. By the way, for the for the for the poses. Big fan. I li I like them. Good. We can we can continue with that. I'm gonna do cleans now. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, hi, Casey. I need to grab. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Yes, this is what I'm grabbing. It's my double boobo dream. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess if you want. Sorry, sorry, chat. It's gonna look like I'm looking at you for a little bit. It's because I am. So, it's, I'm. I'm now the real question is, do I want to make Marby or just say, nah, fuck it. Nah, I'm not, I don't want to make Marby. I don't want to make Marby just yet, dude. Starts the day, no more work, huge. Why is my summoning level different on different characters? I have no idea. We don't have enough time to do all that today. Card says, where you could just set automatically switch be used based on activity. I feel like that would just be way hard to code, to be fair. And honestly, some of the some of the stuff on idle scaling was actually a huge pain in the ass. To be fair. To be fair. Do you have lab shoes and lab rings for everyone? I do. I do, I do, I do. I did that last week, I believe. Okay, so that should be about 54k. Oh, 61k. All right. Double boobo makes this insanely easy, Griff. Yeah, but who the fuck has double boobo? Let's be honest here. Not me. Weapon power Amarok? That wasn't weapon power. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Might not be that bad. I'm I'm glad I I'm glad I changed it before I said anything, dude. Made a second shaman was that a bad idea? No, nah, it's fine. Now having two shamans isn't a big deal. It's just not ideal. And anybody says that it's ideal is lying to you. See now you have a reason to double boob out? No, I don't, because here's the thing. I'm gonna literally be done in less than two weeks. And how when the question is I guess double boob out because it gives more efficiency. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be literally done in two weeks, so it's not like it really matters. And then I never have to lab farm again until next expansion. Like I say, next expansion, bro. Why double siege breaker though? It's good for bars, but I mean, I still regret the decision. I still wish I had double, uh, double DK. My build rate would be so much better than it is now. Okay, but how about three boobos? Now you're cooking. Now, now you're on next level, dude. That's like that's like being the difference of uh, of having three monitors compared to two monitors. It's just, it's just all free real estate after that point. So much room for activities. Boobo on the side buff stack? No, no, it doesn't. Why not ten V man? Because I don't hate my life. With double boobo, you cut your time in half, Griffy. Bro, you're not... I'm going to be honest with you. Dragon, you're not going to sell me on this, okay? You're not going to sell me on the double boobo dream. So, I mean, you might as well stop while you're ahead, because uh, it, it, ain't, it ain't fucking cooking, Chief. It ain't fucking cooking, even in the slightest. 
I'm not getting a lot of value of double siege breaker, but double BM is even worse. Yeah, I mean, I would probably get more value out of double DK, but it's fine. Who's best for mob cards? Uh, siege breaker seems to be outperforming at the moment right now. You can make 11th character your boobo. I'm going to be, by the time we get 11th character, I'm going to be fucking done lab. And then I'm going to make another DK. Because 2 DK is the shit. Okay, what do we at here? 62k. Alright, next. Can I swap my Shaman at ES? I think worth. I mean, eventually, yeah. Instead of 2 weeks, you're done in 1. I don't... I don't... Like, I, I, I appreciate the persistence of you trying to sell me on Double Boobo, but, hey, bro, you... You just, you just fucking, you just fucking cooking so wrong here. There's just so many layers to this, to this nothing burger. Did you swap divinities? Fuck. Thank you. Wait, question. Is there a star sign for divinity? To get like more divinity points? Or is it just divinity XP? Just XP. I think I I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think thirty percent over over. I think that's gonna be better. I think that's I think that's gonna be better over the two percent. I'll take two percent less AFK gains for more divinity XP, which in which in total is just gonna overall be better. Nothing burger says the one without nothing trophies because it doesn't exist. It was actually just, it's not even, it's not even, I had, I had 18 data miners look for the nothing trophy. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I don't think there is one. So yeah, we'll just do the three here. And yeah, that works out actually quite nicely. Down world one eclipse calls, huge dude. Doesn't exist on your account. No, it doesn't exist in general. Why are you leveling lab? It's for the new chip. The new chips. The new chips. Or sorry, the new jewels, I should say. Now that you have a new nugget, we can call you up for your micro god rank, bro. Just wait, bro. I'm going to be fucking cooking, all right? I'm going to be mad cooking. Just one big prank where your account can't get AFK trophy and, and everyone else can. Dude, imagine if that was actually true, bro. Imagine all those wasted time candy. Just because Lava checked my box on my account to say can't get fucking f nothing trophy, false. Bro, imagine. Fucking cry. Even Bubble Breakthrough, I was struggling to have to over 20% on new bubble. Oh, don't worry, dude. It gets way worse. Don't you worry. It gets much, much worse. 20% is considered really, really good. Can't get nothing trophy falls, dude. Bro, it's it's I can't, bro. It's impossible. Bubble breakthrough point zero three, dude. Yeah, actually. Sounds like something Maple Story would do. Personal account flags for RNG rolls. That was crazy controversy when that came up, dude. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that, I was like, yikes. Good thing I don't play Maple Story. Think about all the free content of me bitching and complaining on YouTube though. You have a full friend lit, better RNG, dude. Never better RNG. Less friends means better. Can't get false would mean you'd only get the one to get it. Yeah, true. All right. All right, fair. I understand the errors in my ways now. 61.9k. Yeah, dude, we're going to be fucking cooking, bro. We're going to be cooking so hard. We're going to be called the cook master, okay? Because that's how hard we're going to be cooking. This is going to take us no time to finish. Chef? Absolutely. Call me the lab chef, dude. Hey, look, chat. The Beastmaster is going into his favorite spot. The place where he knows best. Licking the tubes. Licking the tubes. He's finally home.
He's finally home. Where he belongs this entire time. Yeah, this is high octane BM gameplay, dude. High octane gameplay, gent. Look at the sh movement. He's sh moving. Home sweet home. Gotta love it, dude. Gotta love it. Where he belongs. Where everybody loves him to be. It's what he's best at. Screw two boobos, two BMs to lick lab tubes. All stat? Yeah, use all stat because it's at it's for uh efficiency. Don't don't tell me to run skill XP because it, that's false information. Skill XP does not count. Anybody that says use skill XP is just wrong. It's not right. You don't run skill XP. It doesn't work for lab. I would know. I'm a doctor. Yo, what up, Manuka? Coming in with the old bod watching. Thank you, dude. You got any book series or anything you read outside of the Idlian wiki, G? What's the deal with people skilling in town? Uh, that would be a cheater. That, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's the old, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a cheater. You want to stay away from that. Stay away from that guy. I won't go anywhere near that. Blindfolded idol on speed run? Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, what a great idea. Let's do an, let's do an idol on blindfold speed run. Just to, for the best part, yeah, it's either a visual bug too. It could be a visual bug, sorry. Sorry, there's a specific person that cheats though. Um, it could be... Yeah, it's most likely a visual bug. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious if it... Yeah, it's probably a visual bug. But, um... I forget what it's saying. G, what's your favorite movie ever? Oh yeah, the blind speed run? Yeah, that'd be stupid as shit, by the way. By the way, that was just... Not, not a good idea. I can't hear anything in the game anyway, so how would I know? How would I know? And that's where I'm supposed to be? Bug or oversight? Might be oversight. No, DR does not affect gem drops. Do a blind speed run, but I use another monitor. I might as well just I might as well just speed run Monster Hunter Worlds at that point. Memorize the maps, G. Yeah, true. He added chest sounds, bro. What levels are you gonna need for the lab for the new thingy? Two hundred ten. Two hundred and ten. Do a voice activated speed run. <laughs> okay, so chat. I feel like I feel like uh, you know, speed run and Eidolon mixed together never really works out well. It's not really not really not really a thing. You know? Blind speed run, but you're allowed to look at IT the whole time. Yeah, that'd be kind of fire though. That'd actually be kind of cooked. Not gonna lie. I'd I'd be I'd be down for that. Slow run Eidolon, slow percent. She's living on the last three golden fish brain cells either way, dude. Bro, I can't play other games efficiently anymore because it's just like, this game sucks, I can't idle. If I can't idle this game, what am I fucking doing? It works well with enough gems, yeah, true. True to... Purple Conjure, highest chance, new bubble right now. Luck is 3.2, missing two World 5 bubbles. It just gets worse, dude. Spent two days on Realm, now I'm time lock and claiming Eidolon rewards. Because it catapulted me so fast, that's good, bro. This game is super time-consuming early game. Yeah, it's... Super time-consuming early game. It gets much better late game. Right, chat? Right? Eidolon isn't super time-consuming later on. It's just, you know, just live, live, in, live in lab. Yeah. That's, no, it's super, super, yeah, of course not. Yeah, what do you, what do you mean? Yeah, you just put them all in lab, chat. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I need help. Prints don't take me hours to do it. Yeah, I don't spend eight hours doing prints in a day. Not at all, bro. Not me. Little old me. Not me. Oh, hey, look. It's the V-Man. Go back in the lab. Crazy. Eight hours is Giga Sweat Tryhard. 
Uh, it's not though. It's really, it's really not. It's really not that tryhard. This game is a job, right? It's not. It really is. No, 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 it's not, bro. Nah, dude. It's not that. Nah, I, I could easily spend like 12 hours doing prints. Easily. Easily. I could super giga sweat it. It would take me two days to do prints. The job we don't get paid for. Ah, uh, hello, you guys get a flex on stream. Isn't that kind of the same thing? You have a reload each after each Baba kill, able to spawn another dude. Yeah, true. It's take me longer than 30 minutes, I just start doing the bare minimum, dude. Uh, no. Lava pays us and Lava pays us gems, yeah, when, when he streams once in a while, he says gem drop, bro. Wait, is it Baba Yaga? Chat, why the fuck did you tell me about Baba Yaga at this, at, literally at the time? Literally the time of destination. No, nobody, nobody said, hey, oh, hey, Griffey, you know, Baba. I said at like 357. So you know that you missed it. True. Okay. All right. Buy World 6 card pack or pristine charm. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Both. That was me, dude. G after going to the gym, bro. I didn't. I, 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 bro, what are you talking about? Do you think I change after going to the gym? Bro, I wear my merch when I go to the gym so I can, so I can share it to everybody. So I, so I get that one guy's like, hey, man, I like your shirt. And I'm like, ah, oh, thanks, man. It's my own shirt. And they'd be like, what? No way. And then be like, yeah, dude, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I work for Amazon and Google, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're like, bro, I can't wait to sub. And I'm like, bro, I know. It's like Twitch Prime. You know what I'm saying? I at least like to think that's what happens in my head. But it's probably not acknowledged what's happened. I create content. No, I don't say that because then they just instantly think I do prawn. The five stages cope. No, Chet, I actually wear like normal clothes when I go outside. I think it might have broke, Wally. That never happens, by the way. will sell hard bro nah dude i told chat yesterday i like would you buy a griffy bit body pillow and all of them said no you do live entertainment on the internet easy explanation i you know what i tell people when they say what do you do for work you say i'm an educational entertainer that's what i say and they're like and then i'm like i'm like so have you ever seen like stuff like ted talks i'm like that's that's not a, not that's not at all what i do but i mean so it's called diverting the question, all right? It's called avoiding the question at all, 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 all points. Influencer, no, don't call me an influencer. That's fucking... Let me try that one again, home slices. Oh, there it goes. Don't worry, chatter. I don't wake up at 1 o'clock p.m. and go to bed at 5 o'clock a.m. It's actually 101 p.m. and for 59 a.m. <laughs> actually, Grissy. Wally, I feel like you're just drunk at this point. I feel like Wally's just so fucking drunk. We all are working out to unveil your new OnlyBits account, bro. Bro, you know what, dude? You know what? I actually, when I got a gym membership, when I got a gym membership, that's the first question I asked. I'm like, how many people actually use phones and tripods here? Because I did not want to be a part of a society where everybody's like fucking... I, I, I think video cameraing while you're at the gym is like low-key kind of fucking cringe. Gonna be honest. Not a big fan. Not a huge fan because I don't, I don't want to be on a camera of me looking all ugly ass, bro. Or like being like... Just being on a camera not looking your direction at all and just being on TikTok and be like, this guy's fucking a creep. And it's like, bro, what the fuck did I do? It's like, bro, I, I was I was over there. I was working my legs. And you're supposed to be working out. What the fuck do you need a camera for? Attention. 
I hear people do it to snipe creeps. Yeah, they used to do that until they just started fucking accusing people of not. Fuck is. Oh, it's it's called. Oh, wait, wait. Epic, do you have seven TV? Nah, that's your problem. You don't have seven TV. Get seven TV. Everything makes a lot more sense. That that's 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 the key problem right there. Fine G, good. Good. Like frame people in internet clout? Yeah, true, dude. Like me. I'm a crackhead. I like doing it for internet clout. You guys see my new TikTok where I work out? It's called Griffy Lifts, bro. You should check it out. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I did my first first 15 pounds uh, deadlift. My 15 pound deadlift. Pretty pretty good. Chat is incomprehensible without 7 TV, bro. But the thing is, is doesn't doesn't chat look like so much more active with 7 TV enabled? Like, doesn't it look like it's a whole different experience, bro? When you work out, you turn in your alter ego lava, bro. <laughs> That makes more sense. Yeah, dude. It def does, dude. Yeah, it's... Sometimes chat's a little hard to read because there's over a thousand emotes, but Drug I mean... statics are weak. Who needs to read? I'm currently developing two methamphetamines just so I can show everyone... Okay, we're skipping that. <laughs> we're skipping that, TTS. No thanks. Makes it look like we all have brain rot. Nah. Nah. Nah, we don't have brain rot. It's okay, I brain rot for you. See, chat, look at that. Look how fast we crushed that out. See, look how quick that was. That didn't take long at all. But that was 7 TV, chat isn't the same. True. Omis peak? Omis peak brain rot, maybe. Pretty peak, it makes 100% more sense. Yep. A lot of normal words or emotes, though some sentences get messed up. It's okay, it's my job to read, alright? I'll be real, I hate Ohm. I fucking love Ohm, dude. I think Ohm's hilarious. I think Ohm is the best way to express you laughing. You can't take that away from me. Do I refresh the stream? No, I don't think so. Song in my game I heard a million times. Here, take my brain rot, then. I always find it funny. How I have a higher god rank than you. To be honest, I hate all 7 TV. I blocked most of them. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I didn't realize Ohm was laughing, bro. I love Ohm so much. I think Ohm's great, bro. Watch this. 25% god ranked level 3. Boom. Boom. Oh, hey, at least we got 100% now. Hey, look at that, chat. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Now we got god rank 3 coming up. Easy. Easy. That was that was the whole plan. That was the whole plan, dude. The cope at its hardest, bro. Okay, so here's the thing, alright? So I get 5.9 million an hour per character, okay? So 5, 9 million, okay? Times 9. So I get 53 million an hour. Okay, 53 million an hour times 24. So I'm getting 1,274,400,000 every single day. Every single day. That ain't good enough? Bro, That that is literally in one day or in two days, I can have that upgraded. In two fucking days. Two days. At 100%. God rate 3 incoming. You wanted to say trillion, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You caught me. Didn't ask? Hey, uh, hey, 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 Rupee, how's Seize the Discovery? Exactly. Fuck it exactly, bruh. Exactly. 
El Ratio Bozo. In two weeks, Dunlab be around GR4 to 6 is my estimation. Yeah, that's why I think so. I don't play that dog shit game, dude. Bro, you played like eight characters. Dude, Zelbeck God rank 8, what you doing? I don't know. Partying. How's the red hat going? Never mind, wrong year. Bro, I'm gonna, uh, bro. Come on, dude. Oh, by the way, chat, I looked, I, t I took a look on one of my really old videos. Yikes. Fucking yikes, dude. We've come a long way, chat. We've come a really, really long way. And I'm not talking about, like, my old Eilon videos. I'm talking about, like, my old, old videos. Like, crits challenge type old videos. Fucking yikes. Year of the hot dog hat? It's okay. Old video tier list when? We don't need a tier list. Best content, bro? Nah, dude. I, I sound like I was trying too hard. I, I sounded like I was trying way too fucking hard, dude. Like Brawl Stars? Yeah, we're talking like Brawl Stars, bro. See your old videos and accidentally see your face, dude? Well, it was so fucking pixelated, you could barely see your face, dude. I watch that every now and then, dude. I want to see it, dude. You watch Lycan's new vid. He said he's making vids for 11 years. No way. No way. No way. I feel like Wally. Wally, I'm just skipping that, bro. You out here being like the Tingo scrap, pop, 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 boom, two plus two, that's four, minus one, three, quick math, super cal, first, like, what do we, what do we, like, Wally, like, where's the fucking, what, Wally, where's the words? Like, what do we, like, 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 wording is very, very important here. No G. All right. Is that good now? Okay, so chat. Look at this. I I am I am chat right now. Right now, I'm undercover. I am undercover as a free to play player. Nobody would know that I own doot. I am I am an unbelievably being sneaky. Everybody will look at my characters and they'll be like, holy shit. Grippy is dootless? I like that guy. I should follow it. All tubes are cash up. We don't talk about that. I'm under your mom's covers. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And now we just live on our boobo. I suggest Bear God. True. I gotta go to Eilon Toolbox for a second. Uh, one sec, chat. Then someone's gonna clip this and share it on the main Discord, bro. Nah, don't share on the main Discord, because I'm just gonna get- I'm just, People are just gonna be like, Griffy sucks. I hate Griffy's guides. Griffy's guides are always wrong. Fuck that guy. Do I put all of the characters a good divinity? That's what I'm checking. I'm making sure everybody's on a good divinity. I put it- I put them on the end. We just live on your boobo literally my entire time on Eidolon. Yeah, I don't know why people do that, though. Da 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 Well, that doesn't really help to see what you have for divinity. That's kind of dumb. How do you check what divinity your characters are on toolbox? You don't. It's underneath the picture of the god. No, like, no, like, how to see, like, what, what stance you're using. Is it on IE? Maybe it's on idle on efficiency. Okay. 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 So this right here? Okay. So you see this right here? IE takes a W. I'm gonna go by bro. Imagine, imagine. Okay, Manuka, have a good one, dude. Yeah, pe peace out, dude. Ward, ward, ward. Put your mouse over the character word. icon. Best word, TT. Word. Sh shut up, or he got word. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll change it to Tranqui. It's not like it matters, though, because a, a Tranqui doesn't work for active play anyways. 
So they're all on mindful. Perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Sheesh. You can't stop it? Oh, but I can. Oh, but I can. And there we go, chat. We're all set up for lab. We're getting we're getting set up. Now we're gonna get set up for the tier list. But I gotta go to the bathroom first. My god, are you still talking? Oh, the character icon on toolbox? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Jesus scammer confirmed. I have you know, I am not a scammer. I am the most legitimate non-scammer person you'll ever see. You watch your mouth. Don't call me a scammer. But day enjoyer? No, unfortunately, I don't. I don't like it when it when it scooks me like that. Account divinity hover. Wait, what? Account divinity. <gasps> Yo, wait, what? Yo, dude. That's so unnecessary. That's so... Why is it like that? I don't know, I don't know how you feel about that, chat. I really, I really don't know how you feel about that, unfortunately. Just showing stream, I thought you could see him in chat as well. Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, you have to refresh. Yeah, you have, you have to refresh your browser if you download it on 7TV. If you... If, if you want to see it. Don't worry, Phoenix Wright. The words are literally right there. Hence the word literally. As we all know, 2 plus 2 is indeed 4, and that quantity minus 1 is indeed 3, and that is indeed quick mathematics so long as you know the answer. Some math problems are actually stored in your memory so that you don't need to calculate them. No Spider-Man for you. No Spider-Man for you. Yeah, I mean, I have some guys that are at 100, but I mean, that this is fucking expensive, bro. These are hella expensive. I'll get these maxed out when I finish gaming. And then, and then those will be maxed out. But you're, you're the point. No, dude, I'm the 99% just like everybody else, okay? We are all the same. Yo, what's up, River? All right, chat, I'm going to hop to the bathroom quickly, and then we'll get started on the tier list. Wait, did I just miss the tier list? No, we haven't started yet. Ugh. So, chat, we can bust this out. we got four hours to bust out this tier list. <sighs> Griffey keeps nine of his characters in lab like everyone else, free to play. Yeah, chat, does this, does this, look, like the, does this look like a one percenter player? Does this look like I play at a one a point one percent level? Everybody's in lab. The fuck are you talking about? Yapping a bit. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna run ahead. Quick chat, we can put whatever we want here and he won't skip it. Uh, what to say? Crap, I forgot.
I guess it's time. Why the fuck are we spamming Tukas? Yeah, sorry, Jedi, I had to poop. <sighs> Chappie and Wild? That's okay. <sighs> all right, let me get all set up here and we'll get started. Chet being super sus? That's uh, just Tukas. What did I just join to? We're starting the tier list. chat here's the deal here's the deal here's the deal i have the memory of i have the i have the memory i have a, i have a, i have the momory of a i oh, i trash the mommy of a doot fish what is that okay okay 
Okay, tier list easy. Pachinko ball, top of tier one. Not like, what the hell is happening? G will be super wrong in short time, dude. It's okay. It's okay. This is all based off of chat's and I's opinion. Not to be taken as fact. Okay. Just make sure. Is that 81 items? That's 86 items. Oh boy, we have 86 items. Yikes. That's a lot of items, chat. That's a lot of items. Could be potentially too many items, if you will. Can I just add that? Oh, I got to, I got to, uh, drag and drop and sort images. Ooh, ooh. All new images added to demos a hide section below to be sorted into the new correct placement. Oh, okay. I have to add the Dragonic Cauldron. One sec. Can you hurry? It's almost anime time. Bro, I have to set this shit up. My God, okay. are you still talking? Yeah, I am. Give me a second. God damn it, Hank. Propane. It's time to do, 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 Why is that not copying? <gasps> Sheesh. Bro, I can't put it in. Okay, well, I guess... My God, are you still talking? Chad, I'm getting there. Give me a second. It's not... I, I did have it, but now it's not working. That's what she said? True. If I add them all like this, does it duplicate them? Oh, maybe I need- wait, hold up, chat. Hold up, hold up. Sheesh. I hate the tier list, dude. Gee, I- If you're 99% them, I can super chow yift. Okay, does that work now? Oh yeah, we have it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now, chat. I got a question for you. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Nah, that's fine. These moose shrines level them up, dude. Okay. No. All right. Bet. Wait, why is that there? Get that shit out of there. What the fuck? We're definitely gonna delete alerts. Predictions are gone. Get rid of that. What are we using? We have uh, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Okay, just make sure we have everything. It looks like we have everything. All right. Next thing. Are you just going? No, I'm, I'm just, I'm basically just going. I'm basically, we have something and I'm just going with it. Oh, last year and I'm quitting Island, dude. Yeah, same. Same, dude. Oh, by the way, I'm muting alerts. Alerts are getting muted. Everything's getting muted. We're putting everything on mute for now. Well, he has five options, not six. Does it? Okay. Do, wait, is there six? Two, four. Oh, okay. Hold up. All right. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me fix that then here quickly. 
Let me take a. I'll take away a tier. There. How's that? Is whale tier on top or bottom though? It's on in the bottom. Wait, what is that? What is that right there? Is that my chair? Oh, there's my chair. Yo, welcome on in, Raiders. Welcome on in. We're about to start to do the gem shop tier list. Can you organize them all first? No. No, I'm not going to spend the time to organize everything. That's just going to take way too fucking long, bro. Way too long. It's fine just like this. We got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're just look at the top and just we're going we're going from left to right. Spicy streams were not it. Griffey, I'm sorry. I doubted your entertainment prowess. The spicy streams were not it. Yeah, true, dude. Welcome back. I'm glad you saw the light. Card packs all together or color code them all. No. Who asked? All right. Now, going forward, chat. Some of these are kind of put together. You know, like for instance, Plinko Balls. I'm not going to do each individual Plinko Ball. I kind of put them together. Same with when we do the keychains. We're going to kind of use it as a, as a different thing. And then as we're going on, we'll get that going. So we start off with S tier is a must get. A tier is the next best thing. B is middle of the pack. C is meh at best. And F is only if you whale. We're going to go off by a generalization. Not just end game, early game, mid game, whatever. It's going to be all around. We're going to take a look at what it does and also see around the prices. And that's how we kind of are going to get that going forward. Kind of like we did it last time, except this time it's going to be a little bit different because generalization is a little bit different now just because of there's more worlds. There's more worlds. So we're going to start from the very top and we're going to work our way down. We're going to start off with doing, seeing how you guys like it. We're going to be putting in a quick little poll, what you guys choose for each one. Pickle's going to be doing the poll, so make sure to do that so I can see it. And uh, and we can talk about it. And then and then if we feel that, then uh, we can move on to the next one. We have 86 items, chat. 86 items. I would like to be different. I would like to be decently fast. Should start by saying auto lose SSS before you buy anything else. That's that's another video. Okay. Let me uh good test here. All right, pickle, go ahead. Go ahead, a pickle. Some of these are not even if whale, dude. Okay, first first one's up, chat. We have the four star cardifier where you can take a three star card and it's a one time use and you can change a three star into a four star without having to farm more cards. Remember, I'm like 10 seconds behind you. That's fine. Really? Everybody's saying F tier? I disagree. Hard disagree. Hard disagree. I don't think it's F tier at all, actually. It, I would say, I would say easily a B. F tier grinded out. There's no, there's no, there's certain cards that you can't grind out. There's certain cards that you can't grind out, bro. It's very situational. It is very situational. I, I, it, it's probably, it, I would say maybe it's C then. C, low C, because there's certain cards that you actually want to farm with. So I could agree with C. I would say, I would say C. C's fair. It's not F. C's good. Even though chat voted F, I don't believe it's F. You can realistically farm more than 60%. You can grind most cards a 5-star easily. Uh, that's not necessarily true. Why is there no D tear? I, I would give it at C. I would say four star Cardifier is, you know, you can farm out mostly like world one, world two, world three, world four, no problem. 
But once you start getting to like world five, world six cards, and then you start getting into dungeon packs, and then you also start getting into uh, things like uh, bosses, that's when it really starts becoming huge. Like nightmare cards at four star is huge and event cards. So I will say C tier, it's, it's mid at best. It's, 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 it's good. Like if you, if, and it's cheap, it's there. They are super cheap as well. Next one, chat. Ruby, five star, five star card of fire, bro. So five star card of fire, also known as a Ruba fire. It changes your four star card into a five star card. And this can only be obtained as of right now from the limited to time shop. No one says Rubifire? That's nice. I didn't ask. I say it. Just like I say Dreadlio. Oh, and also to mention that, you can also five-star cards with this specific upgrade without needing to unlock it from the Rift. I think this is... I, I personally think this is easily S-tier. This is easily, easily S tier. You should pretty much buy this every time it's in the limited time shop. It is so god tier. World six. If you think you're gonna, if you think you're gonna five star world six cards, you're crazy. If you think you're a five star nightmare bosses, you're crazy. It, it's it's hard S tier, dude. It's an easy S. This is so, this is like some of the best. A hundred percent. I would, I would, I mean, it's, I, it's either S tier or top of the A tier because there's, there's, it's too important. It's like, it's, it's literally a must get. You guys think it's A? There are much better S's. Why are you doing polls? Just so you could tell us are wrong. It's 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 called discussion, dude. I want I I didn't I mean we have 86 items. I'm not gonna disagree on everything up. Sex is that tank? Shut the fuck up. Just get just get void fucking with it. What a low S tier. Only 1.9 million cards to go for world six crystal. Hard D, low S or high A. A too expensive. How much is it usually? Do we know? How much how much is it usually? Four hundred and seventy-five per, about four hundred and seventy-five gems. You know what? Okay, here, 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 here's, here's what I, here's what I'll say. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you guys. I will agree with you guys. I will call. I will say a tier, a tier, just because you have prerequisites such as you need a four-star card in order to upgrade it, and uh, not to mention you're only going to be using it on specific things. So it's it's way better, way better than four star card. But to be fair, there's just cards that are literally going to be impossible, literally impossible to five star without this. So I would say for, for the grand majority, it's S for majority of players, but as in a generalization, top of the pack A. I could agree with that. Top of the pack A. Yeah, yeah, the God Shard card for sure. All right, next one. We have the premium hat that's specifically the Elemental Sorcerer hat that gives 10% all stat. Or 5% all stat, sorry, 5%. This is the only premium hat that rewards all stat percent, I'm pretty sure, right? And this also comes from the limited time shop. Not needed too expensive, but damn, it's good. Yeah, it's pretty sick. And uh, is, isn't it usually when it costs, isn't it like usually like how many gems is it? Isn't it like in the like 700, 800 gems? Think of whale or aver average player. If you're looking to, if you're looking to purchase something, it's your average player. I think it's like eight. I thought it was 1K before, 720. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I think it's it's good for all stats, but in in choosing what you want to purchase, it's B tier. It's it's okay. It's it's the best in slot for like 3D prints or something, but it's it's not like it's a priority by any means. But it's 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 not bad. It's great if you're a whale. It's fantastic. It's a must buy if you're a whale. But if you're an average player, it, it's B at best. Just 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 wait for it. I mean, it's it's super expensive. We're looking at like 900 gems, 900 to 1,000 gems. It's 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 just. It's a B tier. Next one, chat. We have the what is what is this one called? Wait, do we what what is what is what is this gem shop purchase called again? I don't remember. Ancient of Fire. So, chat. This next one is the Ancient of Fire, which you can basically just buy ancient artifacts from the World Five sailing skill. It's, it's it's and you can buy like I believe it's two two a week or two a day. I, I don't I don't I don't know, dude. What's below F? Ancient fire tier. GE Garbo. How much is it? It's it's expensive. It's super yeah, it's two a week and it's expensive. It's super expensive. Tell us how many you bought, Griffy. I bought a lot. It's only ancient is the problem. Yeah, if it if it went up to sovereign, it would be a little bit better. But I think I think we don't need, I think we all agree. This used to be good back in like world five, but now in like world six, the amount of artifact find chance you get and everything, it's just it's just not worth it. It never really was worth it in the long run. This is easy F tier. Don't buy this. Just wait. Just just wait. You know, get golden hamters and just wait for the procs, honestly. You don't need to try to farm this whatsoever. And I believe the next one is. Yeah, it was yeah, it was good in the start of World Five. Now now it's garbage. It was yeah, the first two weeks of World Five it was great. Doesn't mean doesn't even useful for Eldritch, dude. Yeah, you gotta swat get the ancient fire. Okay, so chat, now we have inventory expansions. Inventory expansions. I think we all know. This, this increases your inventory. All right. I think we, we all know what this does. It's in the name. And what's the price? Do we remember what the price is? Here, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, I probably need to open up a. Let me, let me, let me quickly open up a. Uh, so I can actually see what all this shit is. Probably help. Probably, probably help a little bit, eh? It'd be great if you include price below icon. Yeah, I can't. And besides, it's different because some stuff has scaling prices. Okay, so yes, we have the item we have the item backpack space, which gives plus four extra item slots. And the base value is 20. And the final it does increments of 25, and it's the total. You can buy six of them. For the max purchase of 1,575 gems. I'm going to be honest with you. Inventory is always going to be helpful. It is always going to be great. You're going to always need this. No matter what. It just... This this helps anything from stamps to to auto loot. So you, so you can literally active overnight... Like anytime there's going to ever be carry capacity or anytime there's going to be uh, inventory or anytime there's going to be storage, you're always going to want this. And it's for every character. So this is this is S tier for sure. Easy. All right. Next one, chat. We have battle trophies. Battle trophies that battle trophies are the things that you get for the weekly battles that you could do once a week. And in the limited time shop, sometimes become available for purchase, and they are actually really expensive.
a lot of people are saying F. That's a lot of Fs, bro. That is a ton of Fs, dog. That is insane amounts of Fs. Never seen so many fucking L's in my life, bro. Crazy. Let me take out the statues from the trophy shop. No, it's just not in rotation. Is it ancient fire tier, dude? It, it is. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but when this comes into limited time shop, it's it's not worth it. Just honestly, just do your weekly battles. Uh, this is only if you want to progre push progression faster, but I mean, for the gems that you're spending, for the trophies that you get, it's just not worth it. It's not. There's nothing that's truly beneficial to actually buy the trophies out at, rather than just waiting personally. So easily F tier. Not even a question. All right, chat. Next one is a Bleach Cauldrons. Now, like last time, we were usually talking about like one. It's good if it's one. We're going to talk about the whole batch. Buying the whole batch out. And uh, so Bleach Cauldron means you can assign one extra player to the cauldron. Also has 1.5 times higher liquid cap and 1.5 times higher liquid regeneration. And the base is 500 and you can buy four of them. So the maximum 2000 gems for four bleach cauldrons and that's for each one of your liquids. It is alchemy. Okay, so going forward, seeing that Bleach Cauldron has always been in my previous tier list, has been S tier, but we only said one cauldron. Now I think since things have changed a little bit with Equinox and Liquid Investment and getting those up going more, I honestly think that all the cauldrons are S tier. Getting all of them are absolutely eventually going to 100% be a must buy. Anybody that's saying anything else are actually sleeping on them and that should definitely try to focus on getting all bleach cauldrons Especially with your free-to-play gems if you can this is a hundred percent an S tier but purchase This is something that you absolutely want Bottle wins chat Equinox makes this less important no because it gives you more liquid regen so it makes it even go faster So that means more grind time in general and that means that you can that means less cranium procs that you need to wait for So that makes cranium that much more potent Easy s tier not even a question But it's per color you don't need more bubble you're thinking of the wrong cauldron bud you're thinking of the wrong cauldron. Next, we, next one we have chat is Bottled Winds, which basically is time candy for sailing that gives you six hours of sailing progress. It's a, you buy all four of them, it's going to cost you 760 gems, and it's a daily reset. This kind of goes same with ancient fire. It's it bottle winds are garbage. You're buy them if you're a whale. Okay, that that's it. It's whale stuff. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. This is a daily purchase. Sure, this was good. This was okay in world five. It's useless now. Just it's F tier. Just don't even bother wasting your time with this. Next one, chat. Brimstone slots. Brimstone forge. Brimstone forge. We all know this one. We all know this one. Easy. Oops. We'll get more bars, more vials, no doubt. SSS tier. The one dude who answered F based. 
You know what? He's based. So chat with Brimstone Sport Slots does is it smelts bars 50% faster and you have a 50% multi-bar chance. And not to mention, you can buy 16 of them, which is the max amount of forge you can get for a grand total of 3,400 gems. This is S tier. This is easily, easily S tier for all of them. Obviously, when you first start the game, you only want to buy about four because four will carry you a long ways. But once you start getting into like mid to later game, you 100% are going to want to buy all of these out. The vials are a super huge pain, and this is what makes archers that much more potent in the long run. Not to mention the extra multi-bar chance is awesome. So this is easily, this is like Timmy's first purchase, dude. Four for sure, guaranteed S tier. After that, once you get mid to late game, it still stays at S tier for me personally. I could not live with Brimstone Forges without them. Do you want me to start ending the polls like 10 to 20 seconds earlier? So we have to wait less. Most votes are in by then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you could go ahead. I like the way this is going. And yeah, Brimstone Yamar, I have four of them, dude. Okay, next one, chat. We have build slots. We have a build slots. This one, this one I'm not too sure about. This one I'm not too sure about. Remember, when we're making these, think about the generalization. So build slots and lost plus one more slot to build in your construction tab. You can buy four of them for a grand total of 2,000 gems. So I think when it comes into a generalization, I think build slots are not going to really be something you prioritize until more of a later game because you're not really going to have the resources in, in order to farm in the first place. Not to mention in total, it's going to be 2,000 gems. These will be super good later game, but for at the start, I would say you're, you're looking at about B tier. It's a middle of the pack, but it's not something you want to prioritize right away. Once you start getting a layer game, you're going to want to want these 100%. But until you get to that point, it's B tier. If you if you have some extra gems, sure, maybe buy one or two. But other than that, you don't really need to worry about it because once you start getting salt locked, you're you're not going to need these till late game. It's not needed for progress. Next one, chat is burning books. Burning books. So if you guys don't know what Burning Books does, it raises the minimum level books from the Talent Book Library by plus five. You can buy four of these for a grand total of 1,450 gems. You know it, I know it, we all know it. This is going to be easily F tier. You have a construction from the automation arm that makes it so you could use 20 books to get the max upgrade anyways. This is only minimum book level. This is not maximum book level. This is absolute garbage. It's not worth the roll. Don't even bother wasting your time. I don't want to see anybody buying these. They're not that expensive, sure, but they're honestly not that worth it. They're, they're just above ancient fire but they're still easy f tier it's more of a flex card slots card slots we all know it you guys don't know what card slots are you currently start with a baseline of four cards and then you can buy four more So extra card slots lets you equip another card so you can have more card bonuses. You can buy four of them for a grand total of 840 gems.
It's only 840 gems too, chat. Only 840, 840 gems. That's fucking cheap. That's cheap as shit. Maybe buy one, but that's it? Bro, this guy's drunk. This guy's drunk off his ass. If you think you're out here thinking you only need one, bro. Yo, Jam, thank you for the primer, dude. <clears throat> we all know that card slots are one of the most important things in this game. These will give you insane amounts of upgrades, not to talk about anything from multi-kill per tier to drop rate to damage percent to money percent. Cards are literally one of the most important mechanics in the game, and it's only 840 gems. This is super, super, super cheap. Not to mention one of the chips does it. Well, I don't think that's true, actually. Does that work? I'm pretty sure that's not true. Do you have to have eight in order to get the bottom right? But regardless, definitely, definitely something you want to prioritize. It's nice and cheap. It doesn't take you that long. It's 100% you want to get it. Now, the real question is, do we put it, where do we put it? Do we put it at the top of the pack? Do we put it below Bleach Cauldron? Do we put it on just behind Brimstone? Top first. Not 840 gems for all of them. Yeah, it is. It's 840 gems for every single card slot for four of them. It's 840. Starts off with a base at 150, increments of 40, finals 270, 840 in total. This is literally the definition of bang your buck. We are going top of the top. They're, they're just too important, especially at this time when we have World 6. If you, if you have gems, I would go for this 100%. But you're not going to really go for this until you're more into, like, World 3 when you can actually start using those cards. All right. Next, we have carry capacity. Carry capacity, chat. Gee, if you didn't say total, so they thought it was 8... Oh, oh, sorry. It's so, it, so the thing is, is it doesn't really matter uh, because I'm going to be re-recording all the definitions that I say uh, for for the uh, for the stream. So so it'll basically be me in an edited version, be like, this is what this does, and then we'll go and then and then we'll see and then we'll be able to see what's going on. So this one is carry capacity. Each purchase boosts carry capacity by 25% for all your characters. You can buy 10 of them for a grand total of 2,625. It's expensive, chat. It's over 2,625 gems. Fucking expensive. I think it's A. I personally think it's A tier. Yeah, it's more it's more carry capacity. I I, I don't I don't think I don't think I yeah, it's S tier late game. It's S tier late game, but it's 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 A tier for every other section. I would say I would say for carry capacity, it's not it's more of a it becomes S tier more late game, and when it's an absolute necessity. But what as you're pushing or as you're probably like world four, world five, world three, it's going to be more of the lines of A tier. I want to put on S tier, but also it's to buy all ten of them at two thousand six hundred twenty five gems. So I would think that in total, it's very, very good once you start hitting late game, but it's top of the pack A tier. I don't think it quite just makes it an S tier, unfortunately. All right, next one, chat. Chat rings. We're just doing chat rings for this one. No, it's not Bezos ring. End pull, end pull. It's just chat rings, just chat rings. We're merging them all together.
pose another argument if they don't have auto storage early mid game a tier yeah i'll don't worry i'll mention this this is this is without taking pet companions into consideration i should have probably mentioned that we're not we're not taking pet companions into consideration here so this is just for chat rings in general yeah anything that i've suggested i do not suggest it i have i have not been suggesting i have not been suggesting the uh uh, companions. Do they give stats? No. So we have next up is chat rings, which give you only base stats. They don't give anything else. They're mostly just a cosmetic for you to chat. And let's be honest, when do we ever chat other than if you love me, let me go? I will do a companion tier list. I'll do I'll do a companion tier list when the next rotation of pa when companions come out. Then I'll do then I'll do a companion so we have more to work with. Oh yeah, give me hat too, I guess. So obviously Chat rings completely cosmetic. It's more of a flex. The only thing that would make this any difference is if we're including the Equinox chat ring that gives you all stat percent. But you can only get that through a paid package, not from gen farming itself. So chat rings, literally only a whale thing. Sure, you get a couple of extra stats, but you also have to buy premium stones with it as well. Not to mention some chat rings cost way more than others. So in general, it's 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 F tier. I would suggest it at least over bottled wins, to be honest. Chest slugs, chat. Chest slugs. So chest slugs increase the number of chests of your sailing loot pile can hold by plus one. Also adds a little cute chest slug roaming on the ground. That you could purchase them 12 times for a grand total of 5,640 gems. This is very expensive. I don't, I, I think this is, I think this is B, honestly. I think it's B. Yeah, for the grand total of 5,640 gems, that's expensive. Yeah, it's 5k. I think the price I think the price brings it down quite a bit. I think we could all be in agreements. So although just although chest slugs are potent for getting extra capacity, there's also things that you could consider, uh, such as the siege breaker talent, or even things like, you know, you get more chests from like stuff like Dreamcatcher. I would say a couple of them are pretty good, but you know, getting the first cost because they do have an incremental scaling of 40, but because to buy all of them is so damn expensive, like we're talking 5,640 gems, I would put that at like just above, just above build slots, but just because of the price, it drops it right down. Okay, chat. We have lab ships. No way it's above build slots. Leave it in the chat section below. They don't even work. You cap at 29, even buy more than that. Yeah, leave a comment if you don't like it. This is a bit, wow. Wow, this is a very, this is a very split decision. This is a crazy split decision. So this one is called console chips, which gives you console chips and have 22 different chips. So it's basically a gamble to get one. You can buy seven a week. And a base starts at 385 and by all a week, it will cost you 2,695 for seven of them. 
This one's a little bit split. I feel like this one will be a little bit controversial because honestly, I really like it until you get Choco Chip because Choco Chip's rotation is so dog water. But I feel like after you get Choco Chip, it's kind of like you could just wait for that time to get them. But I mean, like there's only real specific chips that you get, but there's some chips that you get that are absolutely terrible. Like those are the chips that you do not want. So I would say, sure, it's not quite F tier, but I would say like S tier until you get Choco Chip and if you can get good on your rolls, but I would just like, I wouldn't even really just, I don't know, it's a hard one for me. I'm thinking it's C tier. It's 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 C tier, it's above, I it, it's above four star Cardifier. I, I think I think it's C tier. This is it's not quite whale status. It is expensive, but in the end, it, it's the choco chip. It's the choco chip that matters. So that's why I give it C tier instead of F tier. Because some chips you need chips. Chips are huge. Chips are chips are love. Chips are life. Yo, thank you for the T one Idilia, dude. Thank appreciate the thirteen months. All right, we got cog inventory chat. Way too RNG. I think C tier is perfectly fine. C tier is perfectly fine with it. It's meh. It's not something you really need to worry about. Cog inventory space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't think I've ever maxed out on COG inventory, I'm gonna be honest. COG inventory space, each purchase gives you plus four COG inventory spaces, and you can buy 20 of them for a grand total of 9,600 gems for all of them. All of them. That's crazy. 9,600 gems, bro. I don't know about you, but I, I've never, never capped out on COGS. This has not been a thing. Not to mention you're spending 9,600. There's also a vial to get more COG inventory. Nobody ever needs this. Don't even bother. There's over $50 that you need in order to get max out COG inventory. Bro, minus 9.6K, that could be going to farm and chips for Choco Chip. Get out of here with your F tier. All right, you only do this as if you're a whale. And I'm in late game and I still don't need this. You don't need this. Don't even bother about this. Just scrap your cogs like a normal human being. F tier. Moving on. We have colored cauldrons, chat. Colored cauldrons. Wait, does lava spell colored with a fucking U? How do you know how to spell colored with a U? How do you spell colored cauldrons with a U, chat? Oh, oh, it's, it's called Ivory Bubble Cauldrons. So we have Ivory Bubble Cauldrons where you can sign two extra players to this cauldron and have 1.5 times faster brewing and 1.5 times higher new bubble chance. You can buy four of them for a grand total of 1,500 gems. <laughs> Calm down, Kyan, dude. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Flirt, for, for Equinox. Yeah, true. I don't think I I'm I don't think it I I I don't think it's S tier. But I mean, there's never gonna be a point where you don't need them. And it's cheap. It's cheap. It's it's 1500 for all of them. Yeah, I can I can agree with I will agree with low as low as. So this one's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This definitely helps with uh, Bubo for cranium cooking. Getting to just go with these bubbles, getting them as fast as possible. Not to mention you're gonna get to a point where literally bubbles cost like 0.06 percent chance in order to get a new bubble. It's pretty bad. 
So even getting just that little bit of extra is always going to be huge, not to mention the extra brewing. So your cranium cooking is even more that potent, and it's going to be useful for literally every single world. So for all of them, I would give it a bottom of the pack S tier. It's still really good. It's not as good as Bleach Cauldrons, but it's definitely something you want to look for. And it's only 1,500 gems, which is really, really cheap if you think about it. Moving on. Crescent Moon Pendant chat. Crescent Moon Pendant, uh, do we have the stats? The fuck Garbo, I've never got this and I have every bubble. Isn't it like, what's the stats? 42% XP, 5% mob respawn. Oh yeah, Crescent Moon Pendant, yeah, I can. Uh, Crescent Moon Pendant Island. So we have the next up, we have the Crescent Moon Pendant, which it gives us 10 to all stat, not percentage, just base stat, three weapon power, 42% XP for monsters, 5% mob respawn, and 10 defense. Chat, what about slab gaming? What about slab gaming? How many gems is it worth? Um, isn't it usually like... Isn't it usually like 800? That's like seven to 800 gems, right? Like 750, 960? So, I mean, if you're in early game and you see a moon pendant, it's still super expensive. It's like 750 or somewhere around there. Um, It's got good stats. I mean, it's not like it's terrible stats, but this gets really easily replaced. So, like, if you're doing it like early game and maybe if you're doing a speed run, yeah, maybe, maybe if you get your free gems and get the moon pendant for the one character, not multiple, and for plus one slab. The only thing that I could see it being C tier is for plus one slab, but I mean, in reality here, you're, it's going to be easily replaced by your cheese or scarf and also your divine scarf at a very easy place. So, I mean, I want to put it at C tier, but that's coming from a privileged whale perspective. I think I think it's gonna be have to be top of the pack F tier. You can buy it, but it but it's it's for slab. You're basically only doing it. So yeah. I I I hurt a little bit on that one, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. That one hurt me a little bit. That one hurt me a little bit. So next one, chat, we have plot of land, which perfectly gives you plus one plant plots to grow crops in. You can buy a total of 12 of them which gives you a grand total of 7,680 gems. Holy moly. This one's so the world six ones are pretty finicky. It's it's pretty expensive. Okay, so that so since it's world six stuff, this is the stuff that we have to talk about. This is the stuff we have to talk about because it's 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 pricey. It's plus one garden plot. Like you're gonna need this because I can I can guarantee you, night market is going to be brutal, and we can't really take we we have to take world six players into account. We can't really just say, oh hey, this is not that good for early mid game. Like we have to like dictate it based off where you get it. You get it at the last world. So knowing that you get it at the last world, there's things that to accumulate like boss farming, yada yada yada. Um, so it's, I would say, I want to say it's A tier for all of it. It's 7,680 gems. I want to say it's A tier. I think, I think it's, I would be S tier if it wasn't so expensive. A is fair because it costs. Yeah, it's too expensive to be S tier. I don't think it's good as Cardifiers. I think it's I think it's I think it's behind Rubifiers. 
because you can it, it's a huge boost it's 12 extra land plots but you can also buy those land plots in the 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 day day market you obviously can't max it out but i mean getting it just started maybe maybe s tier for like the one to two plots just to get your farming started but like without it it takes a lot longer i would think i would think for the land plots the garden plots specifically is it's it's hard to do farming without them but it's all it is is a time gate it doesn't make it impossible to do it without it so i would say i would say right behind rubifiers just because of the cost if it was cheaper it would be heavy s tier but just because it's so expensive it's 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 a tier Next one we got here, chat, is the Crystal 3D Printer. Crystal tier. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's fucking Crystal tier, baby. It's Crystal tier. Okay, well, we already know. Now, where do we put it? So Crystal 3D Printer unlocks the second printer chamber to print stuff in for all characters, and you only have to buy this once for 875 gems. Now the question is, is it below cards, or, or is it on top of cards, or behind cards? I think it's, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think, I think it's above, I think it's above card slots. I think I think every world, every new world, Crystal 3D printer comes that much more potent. It's never not useful after unlocking 3D prints. Literally best buy in the game. Best boy, number one. Now, would you guys be upset with me is if I would put it at the top, the very, very top. It's one of the best purchases in the game. Without a doubt, it belongs there. It is the best. Imagine having half your prints. Yeah, imagine only having half the amount of prints. Feels criminal. Put color cauldrons the same. Yeah, but you gotta realize putting putting the putting them so so the tiers are so bottom of the pack tier is different from top of the pack S tier, right? I think without a doubt, it should unironically be in its own tier it should be crystal tier if we're going to be completely honest it's it, it's i think i think it's top of the pack i don't think i could ever live my life without taking half the amount of prints that i have now not to mention things like atom collider not to mention things like even just trying to get prints for your resources for green stacking not to mention monster prints to keep your refinery going but you got to realize without crystal printer in the mid to early game keeping a refinery going so you get out of salt lock is like almost just astronomically harder to do without it not to mention getting level 13 vials not to mention even just getting vials in general i'm gonna put it i i i might get some slack for it i might get some hate for it but i'm i'm gonna put it top of the pack s tier it is what it is you can you can leave in the comments of how much you disagree with this but i'm i'm saying this is top of the pack it's good for free to play. It's good for whaling. It's good for literally everything. And it's only 875 gems. Next one, chat, is we have daily teleports. Daily teleports. Each purchase gives you plus 13 daily teleports every day. And you can go up to six days without claiming these. You can buy them 10 times for a grand total of 3,000 gems. This is completely quality of life. How much do you start baseline? Temper day, 100 cap. 100? Or the game is insane for mental stability. You got like six from bribes. I'm going to be honest with you. 
They're pretty good early game if you buy like one, one or two. But if you buy them out completely, you're never going to run out of teleports. But at the same time, this is really good for like V-Man speed runs. That's definitely something that's huge. Or early game. Oh man, movement speed in the early game is absolutely abysmal. It's just a huge quality of life. It speeds things up. Is it insane? Yeah, it's pretty good, but I wouldn't put it anywhere other than B tier. It's it's not going any higher than B tier, but where in B tier would we say? I mean, if if you if you needed all of them to be good, it would be higher. But I mean, since you only realistically need like one or two, and and one or two, it's like three hundred gems. So that's an extra 26 teleports per day. I mean, it's worth it. That's true. That's cheap. Low B. Like bottom B. Are we talking about bottom B? Bottom for sure. Above the hat. I think above the hat. Yeah, I can agree with that. We're going to put this B tier just above the E sort cat because this works for everybody not just one person. I would like to say it would be higher if you bought one or two, but we're going off the calculation that you're buying the full investment. So keep that in mind. It still is 3,000 gems. Divinity Sparkles chat, the next one. So what Divinity Sparky does is boost the amount of Divinity points and Divinity XP gained by 25% for all players. Also adds Divinity Sparkle that wanders around. You can buy six of them, for a grand total of 2,250 gems. These are pretty insane. These are nasty. Now, keep in mind, chat. Think dootless. Think dootless. Imagine being dootless in 2024. Definitely B of dootless. I think it's A. I think it's I think it's I think it's A, dude. It cuts off one of the biggest time gates in the game. It is split decision between A and B. I think A overall. So I, I think it's A overall because your biggest grind in this game is your divinity and lab grind. Anything that could make this any bit less would be ideal. And it is 2,250 gems. It's like, obviously alchemy is more important. But where in... And, in, and we also have a tie between A and B as well. Whale-brained L streamer Def B. Now, remember when we said we're going to try to avoid the toxicity for this gem shop tier list? That's getting there. That's getting there. I think it's above sprouts. You think it's above garden plots? I could agree with top B. I, I, I could see top B. It's, I would say it's almost on its. I'm so wise that when people disagree, I throw a fit. Are you talking about me, Gordon? Put it low A tier. I, I think I think it's I think it's high B. No chance. Plan for you pass Divinity, but it's basically the same. I could agree with I could agree with top B. I would say it's almost an A tier. It's almost an A tier, but I feel like it just falls kind of short. It's kind of the same thing as like chess slugs. It makes it the grind a little bit easier, but it's not like it's gonna really change things. It makes it a little bit better. It makes it a little bit faster to gain those things. Get gods a little bit faster. So you can go into goat god and then you can start putting into labs. So you can start farming that. But other than that, I mean, it is still 2,225 gems. So, I mean, it's it's beef the middle pack. It's not a bad purchase, but I mean, it's not 
it's not a great purchase either. I would say it's it's the same deals. It's same deals chest logs. So just above chest logs, not quite at A tier. I think it's good. Uh, the reason why Ruby cards are better is because of the cost overall. The, co the garden plots are way too expensive. Now, this is the specific limited time shop keychain. The drop rate keychain that sometimes comes in limited to shop that you can buy that gives 25% drop rate in both miscellaneous slots. Or wait, yeah, right? Is it 25% each? Wait, wait, is it? Wait, what's the stats on it? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, these are the limited shop drop rate keychains that gives 15% in the first miscellaneous slot and 10% in the second miscellaneous slot for a 25% drop rate. You can buy two of these when they usually come in a limited time shop. And then you can double it for a grand total of 75% in your keychain slots for a drop rate. They're kind of expensive though. I, I, think I, I think I paid a little bit. These are literally these are literally the best drop rate keychains you can get in the game. How much are they? I don't remember the price. I don't remember the price. Yeah, they were like eight hundred. Yeah, I think they were they were relatively around eight hundred. And it's additive drop rate. Kind of expensive. So I would say that these are like, in my personal opinion, hella worth it. Because you're always going to be, this is mostly for your active character. And your active character is always going to be running these basically no matter what, unless you're like running Bubo for money percent. But if you're running Elemental Sorcerer or you're running DK, you are going to be running these 100%. These are literally the best in slot keychains. You really want DR. And they're, I think, mixing to mortal. Last time we checked, they're about 760 gems. They might be cheaper when they come out. So, and they're from the limited time shop. So sometimes if you get it, I mean, it, they're just best. Personally, I would put them just because they're drop rate. I would say bottom of the S. If you, if you find them in limited time shop, I would pick them up. I honestly would pick them up. Above Cardifier is crazy, dude. Cardifier is way more expensive, man. Cardifier is way more expensive. We have the balling name tag chat. The name tag. Is it worth to get him the second time? I don't think so. I think you only need one set. Now, chat, the balling name tag gives you 40% drop rate. But it cost for one name tag. 2,400 gems. It's either 2,400 gems or 2,500 gems. Best name tag in the game for a drop rate. I would say B for price. I would say top the pack, B. Top of the pack, B for price. It's it's just for your drop rate build. That's it. It's 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 the drop rate keychains with the with the luckier lad build and the the forty percent. But I don't think any new players buying this. It's as to your late game, but I mean, it, it could be a huge waste for beginners. I would agree with, with C, top C. I wouldn't say it's quite whale. I, I could see top of the C. It's above the hat? No, I disagree.
If hats be, it's 100% be. You buy hat before drop rate name tag? Yeah. Boobo. Boobo bis. Yeah, I realize, chat, this is three times, three times the amount. You gotta take the price into consideration. So, yeah, the, the hat's a third of the price. I would say, okay, so here's what I'd say. I would say as a generalization, if you're if you're end game, yeah, or like late game, if you if you really want to whale on the if you really want to whale on the gems, sure. But I mean, I can't justify suggesting people to buy a twenty five hundred gem name tag. I I'm I'm a huge fan. I love drop rate. I think drop rate is freaking fantastic, and I'm down bad, especially with the siege breaker, and not to mention the uh, the premium pack to to multiply this even more. But just because of the price, and you're literally not going to be using this other than late game, I'm going to have a lot of controversy for this. But I would still suggest this over rolling. It's top of the pack C tier. Yeah, I know Griffey's going to say, but Griffey, you put the key change up up top. Yeah, and it's like, oh Griffey, what about elemental sorcerer hat? The name tag is three times the cost of the elemental sorcerer hat. I can't justify the price. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It's unfortunate. Maybe I'll take one L in this tier list, but I can't justify this being any higher than C tier. Next one is dungeon dice chat. We have the dungeon loot dice that each purchase gives you two dungeon dice to roll. And this also gives you a chance of getting keychains, and they cost 225 gems apiece. And sometimes they show up in the limited time shop. I believe they used to be available just in the normal shop. I believe. And they also drop from, yeah, they also drop for free as well. But I'm pretty sure Lava took him out. Bro, we all know this. You we all know this. You can get dice free to play. Just go do just go do your 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 bosses. Like the like the 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 bosses that drop from the Isle of Expeditions as well drop dice. You can get dice from quests. You can this these are actually a bait. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not it's not worth it. Just go to your party dungeons. If you if you clear fourth frog, you're guaranteed six dice. All right, this is just not this is just not worth it. Not worth it at all. Don't even bother. Just get out of here. Get a go. Next one. Dungeon boosters. G is uh uh yes hat better for Prince than Snoozy? No. No, it's not. No, no, no. It's not. It's meant for it's meant specifically for boobo farming. And damage. It's good for damage. It's a it's a great damage hat. I would so if you guys here, let's. I just, or sorry, I didn't say what dungeon boosters were. So weekly dungeon boosters, you get a three additional dungeons runs per every week forever. You already get twelve runs for free, so you can buy eleven of them for a grand total of five thousand two hundred and twenty-five. Okay, so when it comes to the dungeon boot, wait. Before we continue here, I gotta I gotta hide this chat. It's for it's for the tuber, so the tuber doesn't look bad. There it goes. See now 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 it's all nice and nice and covered there. 
So when I went when I'd say it comes to the dungeon boosters, I would say I can argue maybe buying three of them until you can cover your times 20 per week. But other than that, you get to a point where you just stop doing party dungeons and they just start accumulating. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I have like 2,000 dungeon boosters that I never use and I never plan on using. I would say early game, it's quite nice. But once you start getting to that point, it doesn't really become that useful. So I would say, honestly, bottom of the pack C tier. If they're if we're only discussing like one or two or maybe three of them buying, sure. I would put it more of like top of B tier. But since nobody really loves dungeons anymore, and it just it keeps on accumulating over time, you have enough to do your daily dungeon boosters to do your weekly. Other than that, it's it's basically useless. So I mean it's it's meh at best C tier. Next one, chat. Eggs. We have eggs. So chat, we have cartons of eggs, which gives you anywhere from three to 12 eggs in your item inventory. You can buy four a day for a grand total of 1,080 gems. I don't know about you chat, but this is like heavy S tier. Heavy S tier. Easy S tier. And that's not because I have uh, over a thousand eggs sitting in my inventory. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not real. Easy S tier. You want to buy these every day? I would know. I would know. I'm an egg enthusiast. All jokes aside. Bro, go do your world for a Coliseum. <laughs> like, honestly, with your DK. You can farm these out easy. This is a waste. Not to mention the RNG is Garbo. I've spent thousands upon thousands of gems on getting these eggs, and the amounts of times that I get three eggs are absolutely so high, bro. It's not worth it for 1,080 gems, dude. My world five was was terrible. Do not do not spend money on these. Just go do your world four Coliseum. It's still better than dungeon dice, but don't go do it. It's not worth it. You have a three to 12 chance. You can either get anywhere from three to 12 eggs per purchase. It's not worth it. It's random. It's crazy. Elite class swap tokens. Elite class swap tokens. Now this is this is this is crazy situational. These are these are crazy situational. Now, if you guys don't know what elite class swap to, uh, tokens are, it means you can swap from an elemental sorcerer to a bubonic conjurer. It's not like the other the subclass where you do from like a barbarian to 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 squire. Okay, so these are these are the one ups. These are the elite ones. Now, considering these are super, super, super situational. So I am going to be putting this in a specific thing just for the sole fact that is if you mess up, okay? Because if you haven't messed up, you don't need these. These, these are not a requirement. You, you do not need these. Also, you can get these free from events as well sometimes. there's I think there's only been a one event where that's actually possible. When it comes to other situations, if you screwed up, it's S tier. If you have not screwed up, it's F tier. So what I would say is I wish I would have, I would put this more in a situational tier, okay? This is not necessarily something that you're going to want, but it's something that's a good backup if, if you mess up. Like I personally would like have like one or two in my inventory, just in case the meta has changed with how characters work maybe the new elite classes, but we don't even know if it's going to even work for the new, new elite classes. This might just be for Elemental Sorcerer and Bubonic Contra. This, and, and uh, same with uh, Divine Knight and Blood Berserker. We don't know if this is going to work for like Deathbringer. 
or or royal guard or even arcane cultist we don't know if those are going to be be able to change with this it is plus one slab so it's probably gonna be new so i would say i'm gonna i would like to put this in a situational tier okay so i'm putting bottom of the pack c tier but keep in mind that this is a situational tier this is this is for that specific thing as if you mess up specifically so i'm just putting it c for situational so just take that with a grain of salt because if you need it it's s tier if you don't need it it's f tier so with that reason it's c tier and it usually costs i think about about a thousand gems somewhere around a thousand so situational tier if we had one moving on we have fence yard space so fence yard space unlocks two fence yard slots which is good for breedability pets and shiny pets you can buy six for a grand total of 2325 y'all are fucking crazy if you think it's s Y'all are fucking crazy if you think this is S. This is this is not a requirement. This is a this is purely quality of life. This is purely quality of life. Is if you want level ten pence, just active BM. Bro, dude, with the world, have we? Hello, have we? Have we just decided that pet rate hasn't just got buffed in World Six? Hello? Like, bro, I'm sitting, I'm sitting at like 900% pet rate right now. In, 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 in World 6. What are you talking about? Bro, have you, are we, are we just, are we just not putting Crop Depot into consideration here? You need it for breeding to get spices? You need pet slots though? Not really. This is Fence Yard. Yeah, Panda, we're a little bit we're a little bit busy right now. You're thinking it's something else? No, this is this is this is fence yard. This is for breedability pets and for shiny pets. I'm not I'm I'm looking at the wiki. I'm not thinking of anything wrong about this. Are you guys thinking of pet storage? Because pet storage is at the bottom. No, this is fence. Wow, congratulations. It's easy. Yeah, I know. I know it's a fucking fence. It's 12 slots, though. For, for 23, 25? This is A, because you can get 700 spice claims per day. That has nothing... It has nothing to do with spices. Fence yard has nothing to do with spices. It does? How? Wait, 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 how? Wait, 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 stop the cap. How? There's a genetic? How does, how does Trasher help with pets, pet fence yard? What? Wait, hold on, hold on a second here. Because we're talking about this, chat. We're talking about this, by the way. Plus five daily spice claims only works in Pensar before the start of the day? Who the fuck uses that? Who... Who uses that rather than pushing shiny or breedability? Zelb doesn't Zelb isn't a consideration in this tier list. Imagine taking the time to swap them out every day. Yeah, let's 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 take into consideration these are not the sweaties. Okay. Faster egg from eggshell. Randomly lays eggs pick up and will appear. You have to pick these up? Who the fuck checks their who the fuck waits around in their breeding to fucking check that out? Egg laying takes many hours. 
Hello? Hag, stop saying macros and auto clickers, man. You did that all time yesterday. I'm just gonna start fucking timing you out for shit like that now. Okay. Okay, so let's let's bring it into consideration here. Okay, let's bring it back a little bit, all right? Let, let's let's bring this back a tad here, okay? For the general public, how good is Fence Yard gonna be? I could I could agree with B. I could agree with B. I I just don't agree with the people saying S and A tier. But I mean, I think the only time that you're actually going to buy this is when you have shinies. And maybe and maybe to increase a little bit of the speed from Infinity Stars from pets. But I would say I would say it's middle of the pack. I think we can all agree now where on B though. Yeah, having fence yard is similar to land plots and farming. Yeah. But you gotta realize that the that the boosts that you get from shiny pets are not as not as strong as you get from the garden plots. Below construction. Right after teleports. I could agree with that. I could I could agree with I could agree with just below build slots. That's yeah. I could hundred percent agree with that, yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't start being useful right away. Because, because, bro, like, you have the breed abilities to use it right away. Because here's the thing. Sparkies and chest slugs are effective as soon as you get it. Getting fence yard space only becomes effective until you actually have enough breed ability pets or enough shiny pets. Can we not agree to that? I would say that, I would say that's perfectly a valid point. So I yeah okay I agree. So when it comes to fence yard, I would say yeah they're really strong to help push shinies and breedability pets. But in reality, if you're at that part of the game where you just enter world four, or you're getting into world five, you don't have the breedability you don't have the breed yet to really get good breedability pets, or let alone get breedability pets in the first place. And not only that, get shiny pets. So if they don't give you the potency when you buy right away. So I will give it B tier, middle of the pack, just below build slots. Because the difference with Divinity Sparks and Chest Slugs is they're potent as soon as you buy them. But then they, but then they, but then before, then yeah. So yeah, B tier. B tier makes sense. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yep. I'm agreeing with that. Once, once you get later game though, they, they become S tier. Because, because you're going to be, you're going to be activating BM. Because also, you know, take into consideration as well is B man doesn't get, uh, uh, Beastmaster isn't good until you have B man for the enhancement. We have gaming fertilizer chat. So gaming fertilizer gives you a, the ability to skip eight hours of gaming progress. And this restocks each day. You can buy four of them for a grand total of 920 gems. I don't know about you, chat. Gaming first F tier. It's another daily buy that you don't really want to use in reality. I mean, yeah, I guess if you use like one or two, maybe just to help push something. But in reality, this doesn't help you very much for gaming, especially in late game gaming or in even in early game gaming. It's the price and it's not to mention it's the daily purchase and a one time use. It's like the same buying time candy. It's the same thing as carton of eggs, not to mention this quest that can give you it to help you push. I mean, in reality, you would either do it for the nuggets or to push uh, the rarity of the plant. But other than that, you can get gaming bonus. So it's like, eh, it's kind of meh at best. So I would, I would put that, you know, right beside eggs. It's not, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. 
All right. Pickle said he would be right back. So we're going to take a quick breather here, chap. Getting to go. Thoughts about the tier list so far? How are we feeling about it? Are we liking it? Are we disagreeing with it? Obviously, we're not going to be able to agree with everybody here. Obviously, there's going to be some disagreements. But I think most of the, for the most part, looks nice. Rate tier list of B, W tier list. 9, 10, the tag hurt me. I would like to put the tag higher, but I, I, I can't, even, even, even though I'm wailing, it just is, yo, you want to, yo, uh, Pickle, just give a second on that poll. Definitely a tier list. I personally think it's better than our last tier list, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because I'm going to do, I'm going to do a comparison. Thanks for saying to buy the chips only if you need a chocolate chip. Got mine on the fourth buy. Huge nightmare. One of the tier lists of all time, dude. I mean, the thing is, is like, here's the thing, okay? Here, here's what it comes down to. As much as, you know, we want stuff in other placements, it's just, it's hard to make a gem shop tier list when it's talking about people's money. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's not like you're going to be able to farm all of this free to play. It's, it's more of a less, you know, it's, some people are going to be spending money for this. Some people are not. Some people are going to try to free to play with it. So as long as we can get like, I would say, I don't know, maybe like 70% agreeance, then I think that's okay. How come I can't re subscribe with Prime? I press resub and only shows payments because you haven't connected your, uh, your Amazon, uh, your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah. Tier list out of 10. I have though. I don't know then. Why not a tier for buy only if free, like the arcade balls? Because we can, because in, in the end, we can only have um, uh, five choices. So it's just, it's just easier to just keep it that way. Yo, Cage, thank you for the 200 biddies, dude. They will buy a gem chef perma upgrades by buying all the packs, not much else. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's also another thing is a lot of stuff is situational. Like, like chat, if I was, if I was doing a whale tier list, the fucking, the bailing name tag would be S tier. Divinity Sparks that won't age well? I mean, it's top of the pack. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's, I mean, the only time it's actually gonna, okay, so here's the thing. The only time where Divinity Sparks start reaching into A tier, S tier, is, uh, it was when we start getting the, the Jade Emporium upgrade for God Ranks. But that's so late game that that doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna be at that. Because we're, we're at a point right now where it's not necessary. You know what I mean? Because we're trying to go for a generalization to give new players and mid-game players and late-game players an understanding of what is a good purchase and what isn't a good purchase. You know what I mean? Yeah, so there's a Jade Emporium bonus for God Ranks that makes it so if you, so if you buy it, uh, every Divinity Rank you have increases the potency of each God. So... And let's be honest, if you're out of, if you're out of five, if you're, if you're at this point where it's like, you're pretty much in world six near end game, you're not going to need this tier list. Uh, five star, not a tier when basically only, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Vega dark. There is a multitude of different five star cards that you can get that would skyrocket you absolutely skyrocket you through. Yeah. A lot of people have almost everything in the gem shop. What would you run with goat or Harry? I would run I would run goat because you want divinity. Yeah, five star crystal chance is a, is the goat. Boss cards is insane. Damage cards, like even weapon power, like honestly. But but like the damage percent cards are insane. Because you gotta realize that some quests give you card packs. So once if you once if you roll that three star, once you roll that three star chaotic troll, that means you purchase and you have a rubifier that means you purchase one four star card and you got that bitch to five star skill efficiency are you not going to tell me that's not going to be super potent in the early game that's going to be fucking insane because like you what like it or not world four is early game sorry to say world four is pretty early game because you can you can literally get to world four in less than a week nowadays it's not like at the old tier list where things were like so much different you know what I mean? Anything before Samurai is early game, dude. World 4 is a month normal player. World 3 is early game. World 4 is mid game. I would say World 5 is mid game. World 5 is for sure mid game. Because that's when you get super locked. World 5 is when you get heavy fucking locked. And that's when you start doing your divinity and lab grind, which is the mid game grind. 
situational absolutely and don't worry i'm gonna be doing like a like a like a now warning to everybody this is a situational gem shop tier list for the generalization this is between twitch chats and i's opinion as a collective community of what we've decided to be a tier list plus x for levels not work for unending loot service because it feels like it doesn't i don't know we'd have to do some testing Average player don't have anything to five until later. That's not necessarily true. And also, it's also considering Vega, you also have to consider as well is this is not, a Rubifier is not something you can buy whenever you want, right? It's a limited time shop purchase. This is a, this is the, this is a big thing. It's, this is not, this is not an upgrade that you can just walk into the shop and be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that. This is a, this is a, holy shit. I need to buy this before it goes out of, before FOMO kicks in. Limited time shop makes it a whole different ranking. Color Cauldron in S still feels criminal with the state of CC. Yeah, but this is for the generalized public. You know, you know how nice it would be to have a colored cauldron to push Shackercy and FMJ in the early game. You know, do you know how do you know how important that will be? You should have a pet companions on this boat. Tell you what, chat. Okay, if we really, really like this, if we're a truly huge fan of this, I will do the exact same tier list, but with complete end game whaling. If you're a fucking whale, I will I will I will do the same thing. If we get if we if we get enough views on this video. I'll do I'll do I'll do for the whales. And just see and just see how people just Leviathan tier list. Yeah, the Leviathan tier list. Wales buys everything. Because the because the tier list will change. The tier list will change. Why is Lamplot A tier? It's because it pushes it a lot faster. But it but it's it, it would be S tier, but the price. It's the pricing. It's the pricing that turns it down because we're taking price into consideration. Can you prioritize a list of 10k gems what to buy? Yeah, you just you just look at S tier. And you're like, if I can buy all of those and still have gems left over, then you make your way down the tier. All right. I think break time's over. Are you ready? Are you ready to go again here, bud? Go ahead with the next one. Pickle. Not bubble gated. Well, I mean, you still need to unlock the bubbles. I don't know about you. I feel like I feel like I feel like no matter what, colored cauldrons is going to be a base take because no one gives a fuck about alchemy anyways until they're in World Five. But for the people that have actually like decide that they want to care about game mechanics, colored cauldrons much higher than it should be. I like it at S tier. It should be. S tier is important. It will oh, because the thing is, is it, it will always be important. There will never be a time where it's not important. All right, chat. Uh, the next one we have is fluorescent flaggies makes your flaggies unlock places faster in the construction so each purchase gives flaggy rate plus 50 percent and you can buy six of them for a grand total of 2625 I think it's F tier. It's either it's either F tier or bottom of the pack C tier. I mean, to be fair, I kind of want your guys' opinion on it because I wailed really hard. I I I I wailed on it, so I always had these. It's probably gonna be C tier. It's better. F tier. C bottom. One or two upgrades is fine. The rest is not worth. So this is one of the few items I didn't buy. I'm well, haven't gotten. Z tier, never purchased. It felt fine. The only reason why I buy is for the cosmetics. Not F. Unlocking the whole board is not tough grind at all. I agree. I would I would say this is the top of the pack F tier. It does increase flag rate by a little bit, but you can totally be fine to just not even neglect this completely and just 
totally get your full cog board not to mention you can get cogs and increase flag rate it's just it's just not as strong as you think it is it, it, it's okay but it's not that great so i mean it's 300 percent, but i mean once you get to that point are you telling me that you're going to spend 2625 gems for 300 percent flaggy rate i mean maybe buy one just for 250 but either than that i would say it's it's not it's not good it's really not and it becomes redundant after a while so i would say i would say this is f tier it it just gets to a point where you have a full cog board it's top of the pack f tier it's it's only buy if you're a whale next one The only reason why it's higher than Crescent, by the way, only reason why it's higher than Crescent is because it's for technically every character. It's not just one character. Keep that in mind. That's why I put it above Crescent. Boots Lutz. When you buy a food slot, it gives you an extra food slot, Jeff. You get four doing quests and just natively have two. So this gives you an extra two. You can buy both of them for a grand total of 1,200 gems. Food slots can be things such as speed pots or such as damage pots or even health food or even golden food for that matter. Oh, this is easy S tier, chat. Oh, this is easy S tier. You can't even fill all your... Good. Mining samples aren't possible without, or you can't maximize your mining samples without it. A tier isn't must have for the beginning. Tell that to people that didn't level up FMJ. I mean, if anything, Wolf, I would say you would perform a lot better if you did have fucking food slots. All right. All right, bro. Okay, big dog. You really need six slots, though? You do. You absolutely need six slots. You do. Absolutely. Now, where do we put it? We know it's S tier. I never said I didn't buy it. So you, you know exactly. I think this is, ab I, I think this is above Brimstone. But I, I think it's below I think it's below cards. Because you gotta remember, this is only two food slots. Two food slots. It's not and we get it we natively get six or four. We get four normally. So six is max. So it's just an extra two. So I would say this is this is and it's twelve hundred in total. But I, I feel I feel like we're I feel like we're doing it. I feel like we're doing a disservice to Bleach Cauldron though. It is tough. This is a tough call. We all know, we all know. We all know it's S tier. It's just where an S tier. I, Thatos, I would agree with Brimstone, but later game, how long it takes to cook bars? I disagree. Do you mean Calder and Bag? I could agree with that. I, I could I could agree with above above uh above uh above the bag below Bleach Cauldron. I love it. Like, don't get me wrong, I love food slots. It's a necessity, but it's like I I can't I can't put it a, a past cauldron. I can't. Liquid Cauldron is too good. This this is what makes alchemy possible. I would say above bag. I would say we all know this is S tier. Food slots are fantastic. They're absolutely a must have for stuff like foods, for golden foods, for consumables, all of that. But I can't justify putting it past Bleach Cauldron. It's definitely above bag though. It is still a high priority in S tier. But this is exactly where it's going to be. I'm happy with that. The, 
the price is good too. The price is nice. Before touching Forge, you feel comfortably with three boosted Forge slots up to World 5? Yeah. Yeah, I, like like I said before, three to four is fine. No more after that. We have Instagrow Generator. Instagrow Generator. Each purchase gives you plus two daily Instagrows every day once you log in forever. And each purchase gives a plus 20% additional chance for plus one crop when fully grown. You can buy eight of these for a max total of 6,280 gems. The price, man. The price is brutal. The price is brutal, but it's the plus 20%. The 20% is what's more important. Nah, dude. Nah, bro. It's the, the price is crazy. The price is absolutely crazy. Does it stack with overgrowth? It does. So for the first purchase, it's 610. I would say, I would personally say this is a, just above garden plots, but man, it is pricey with 6,280. But is it, but the thing is, is it garden plots gives you more, more, more plants. But what generator does is helps you push to get more crops unlocked. So arguably, it's the difference between do you want to push more crops for more stats or do you want to get more crops for night market? That's the big question that we need to know. Both of them are both of them are super pricey, but it's also the 20% per each additional crop. So that makes it that much more stronger. So it's like we get extra crops. But I, I now the question is, is we know, I think because it always stacks higher and higher and higher, you can disappear for two months, come back, and it stockpiles. I think that's what makes it a little bit better. I'm going to put it just above garden plots. They're both, I'm going to be honest with you, they're both like neck and neck here. For, for terms of cost, if it, if, they, if it was way cheaper, it would be S tier, but the terms of cost and the boost to the, I think it just wins just because of the plus one crop. I think just because of the plus one crop, it makes it a little bit better. And obviously, you have to log in in order to claim these, obviously. But I think it's perfectly fine right here. It's not a big deal. Definitely something. And even if you buy one, it's something to get you going. But this will definitely help you for pushing, you know, crops for crop evolution. But these are, I would say these are so close together that it's a hard one. All right. We have the golden pocket watch. Now, the golden pocket watch... Uh, what is it? Now, chat, the golden pocket watch allows you to skip a full day and reset all of your daily timers, which is huge, which is pretty massive. This is like alchemy upgrades for Boron. This is your shops. This is, this is, you know, like your, like your no bubble left behind. This is your no meal left behind, but this can only, this realistically only be purchased in a limited time shop setting. You cannot buy this anywhere else. How much lava pay you for us to tell you buy as must get? I wish, bro. I wish I was getting paid. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I. The reason why this is the reason why I'm doing a gem shop tier list again is one because it was asked so much of me, and two, use code Griffy at gem checkout, and three, because it's my highest viewed YouTube video. You gotta, you gotta update your highest viewed YouTube video, bro. Bro, it it stands at like a hundred eight thousand views. All right, this is this is like my highest performing video. So obviously we gotta do another one. So it's just a cash grab? Well, Rika, if you didn't think of things like a dipshit, you would think, wow, maybe since Griffy gets the highest views, that means people actually want to watch this to know what to actually spend their gems on. Instead of being like, this is just a cash grab. 
Like, bro, like, imagine not thinking about the content first rather than you just thinking everything's okay. Why are you so cynical? You're so cynical. Imagine a content creator making content. Now, I'm here to throw hands with you, not to praise you. Yeah, but Rico, there's a difference between throwing hands and being banter and then just being a toxic piece of shit. So which one do we want to be here? You want to have fun bantering or you want to be a toxic piece of shit? Real talk, I think it's a very useful inf video. There you go. Turns out money follows what people want. Every time it's cash grab, just default mode, bro. <sighs> Yo, D-Ron, thank you for the primer, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, chat. If you guys want to watch this gem shop tier list, it'll be locked behind Patreon. And the only way to watch it is if you sign up for Patreon at $35 a month. That would be a cash grab. Isn't every job a cash grab? Yeah, imagine imagine walking up to a person at McDonald's and be like, what, are you just flipping burgers? What is that, a cash grab, bro? Bro, that guy's gonna beat the shit out of you with a fucking spatula. <laughs> He's gonna beat your fucking ass, bro. Um, I'm gonna be honest here, chat. I'm gonna be honest here. It's an, it's, this is another situational one. But I'm gonna say it's F tier. Now, the reason why, the reason why I'm saying it's F tier, okay? Before you get crazy, before you get mad at me, just hear me out. The only reason why I say this is top of the F tier is because you can get these in the weekly battle shops. If you couldn't get these anywhere else other than the limited time shop, I would say don't even worry about it. But other than that, I would, I would keep this to the top of the F tier. You're only going to realistically buy this if you're a whale. Unless it's for one. Unless it's for one. Then we're golden, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Did we just... Wait, we got a golden Kappa train? Bro, that's our second golden Kappa train. Holy shit. But for that reason, I'm going to put it top of the F tier. For most people, it's S tier. But those are the, those are the late game whales that like buying their daily purchases. So, so for most people, it's pretty irrelevant. But chat... We have, chat, this is the equivalent of a shiny chance in Pokemon, okay? If you guys don't know what a golden Kappa train, hold up, put it, put the poll for a second. If you guys don't know what a golden Kappa train is, this happens once a day to a streamer. You have to be super lucky to get this. We have the golden Kappa, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So if you, if you give some biddies or give a sub or something, you will get to represent a golden Kappa and be a Giga Chad. Thank you for the gifted tier one, Nick. Thank you, Rippy, for the gifted, the T1 as well, and also Cage Ronin for the gifted as well, dude. Golden cap check, dude. Dead emo, bro. Lol, not with the gifted community, dude. Moog's Priest with the primer. Thank you, guys. Hey, chat, remember, use code Griffy at checkout. We got Hex Razor coming in with the one gifted community. We got your Soul Reaper with the five gifted. Thank you so much, dude. We got Nightmare Games coming in with the primer as well, dude. Panda Fish with the follow. Thank you, brother. I it, Panda, come in another day and we can help you out with your dupe, brother. We got Lemondal coming in with the five gifted. Reno confirm with the two gifted. Chat, we've hit Kappa Golden Train level four. Now we also have, we just hit level five with high speed hit with the primer. Also got Abe coming out with the one community gifted. We got uh, Kato with the two bits. We got Camus guy coming with the 10 gifted community subs. Thank you so much, chat. What is, what is the golden Kappa? Some, try to, some kind of cash grab? What is this, chat? We are currently at golden Kappa train level six. We are ramping, dude. Proto man with the five bitties. Thank you. We fucking ramping, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Wait, chat, how long have we been going? How long have we been doing this tier list for? Defcon, bro. 100 biddies coming in from Ox. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. 207 wheels. Bro's making back money you lost from yesterday, dude. I think it's almost an hour. I mean, that's pretty good. Grimace with the two biddies, dude. Thank you, thank you, bro. I mean, so far, we're doing pretty good. Thank you for the support, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, fuck. Kappa, dude. Yo, Nick. Coming out with a gifted a 12 month sub. <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, Mateen got a full year of T1. The myth, the man, the legend, the nicest street, the nicest chatter on Twitch. Just got a full year to the old Griffy bit, dude. Thanks so much, bro. 
We got a train level seven. We got Itty coming in with a month of tier one for four months, bro. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, dude. Now, chat. Gold Kappa. Got to collect the shinies, bro. True and real. True and real. Dodger subs at this point. And remember, chat, if you received a gifted sub, make sure to say thank you in chat for the things that you received because here in the IBA, we always say thank you. GG Killer coming in with the T1 for the five months. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Cage Ronin coming in with a thousand biddies. Yo, thank you so much, dude, with a thousand bitter Renos. Absolutely mad, Shad. We got Burka coming in with the resub of T1 for five months. Thank you so much, dude. Jera with the 71. We also got Summer... Summer Du Noir coming in with a hundred biddies as well. Thank you guys. God damn. Talk about the Golden Kappa train coming in hot, bro. The Golden Kappa does not come out ever so often. We're one of the lucky ones, chat. We are one of the lucky ones. That's what you love to see, dude. That's what you love to see. Think about giving us some bits. I'm on a budget. Nah, bro. It's all good, dude. It's all good, man. Appreciate all the support, guys. And I hope, and I, I honestly hope that you guys are enjoying this, uh, this tier list. You know, I really, I really honestly do. Demos coming out with the one community sub. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Big pogs chat. We hit level eight. We are on a level eight golden Kappa train. Idiot coming in with the five more community subs. I can lie. Everything's going soon. Holy shit. Holy Jesus. Nick, the myth, the man, the legend just came out with the 10,001 fucking biddies, baby. Holy Jesus. Absolute. We have Dr. Disrespect at home. Thank you so much, dude. Boop. That's a level nine. That's a level nine. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Yeah, true. Sorry. Sorry. I don't, I don't have alerts on. Sorry. 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 We have a, we have a lot going on. I, 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 that's a big train. Bop. We hit level 10. Bing bong, beezle. We ramping, chat. Baby. We ramping. Bing bong, beezle. Yo, thank you so much. Come on, baby. That's a, that's Bop. a lot, dude. That's a lot. Bing bong, beezle. Come on, baby. We, Bop. we, we are, we are at level nine Bing part bong, percentage. Beezle. Can we Come hit on, level baby. 10 though? Can we, Bop. can we hit level 10? Is that a Bing possibility? Bong, Cause we're, we're only at level nine. Bop. We're level 10 percentage. We have to hit hundred percent for level 10. Come on, baby. Bop. We are 10? No, we're not. Bing we have to hit 100% for 10. Come we're on, on tier 10. Bop. Let's go, Bizzle. dude. Come on, baby. Thank you so much, guys. There it is. Nick with the... Holy shit, Nick. Coming in with that 20 Gifterinos. There it is, baby. We are fucking level Bop. 10. Bing bong, Bizzle. Just Come on, Nick baby. coming in with Bop. the W, dude. Nick's always Bing been bong, a heavy Bizzle. supporter of the Come IBA, baby. dude. Level 10. Level 10, baby. There it is. There it fucking is. Thank you so much, guys. Absolute legend. I'm dodging, boys. All these funds for whaling. They're Bop. all going back into the content, baby. Bing bong, it's all going back on, into baby. the content. Bop. Proto coming in with a hundred biddies. We also beezle. got Sad Panda. On, boop, boop. Coming in with a T1, baby. Yo, thank you, dude. Thank you for the T1, bro. Thanks to the legends, dude. Bop. Bing bong, beezle. And then we have on, Ox baby. coming in, gifted a community Bop. sub as well. Thank Bing you, dude. Beezle. Arab Bits got Come that on, W, bro. Easy Bop. W. Wheel Fun Time, Screw Bing G's bong, account, beezle. dude. Come on, baby. Yeah, true, dude. True. Bop. True. Bing bong, beezle. Come on, baby. True and real. Bop. And remember, chat, when Bing you support bong, the stream, Come you're on, also baby. helping me pay the Bop. editors. All right? Bing bong, so it's not, don't worry, Come it's on, not baby. all going to me, okay? It also goes to it also goes to the to the W man that runs the YouTube. Yo, thank you for the gifted sub there, Noah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, pay me, suckers, dude. Yo, easy. Bop. There it is, Nora. There it is. Bing, bong, Yo, nine hundred and forty subs gifted to the channel. Bing, bong, Absolute fucking on, mad lad, bro. Bop. Bing, Didn't bong, dodge, bro. On, Can't baby. be no matrix for you, bro. Bop. Can't be no matrix for Bing you. Bong, Come on, baby. Bop. Yo, thank Bing you so bong, much, beezle. guys. Come on, baby. That, shit, that shit's Bop. crazy, dude. Goes Bing back bong, to egg beezle. carton gem purchases, on, dude. Yeah, chat, remember, buying eggs is S tier. Buying eggs is S tier. 
Bing bong beezle. It's Jover, on, dude. Baby. Absolutely Jover. Oh. Bing bong beezle. How much longer do we have uh, on, the, of, the, of the hype train? And thank you once again to the big dono of Nick with the fucking 10k bitties, bro. That shit was crazy. Come on, baby. Two minutes and 50 seconds, bro. I'm happy, bro. I'm, I'm more than happy, dude. We fucking hit. We're fucking level level 11. Level 11 golden kappa train, bro. Hey, yo. That shit's wild. Rupee coming in with another 10 gifterinos. And there it is. Nick with the 10,000 bitties, bro. Thank you, Rupee, for another 10 arenos. We got Bishy Mash Bop. coming in with the resub with the primer. Thanks so much. Beezle. We got Oakley with the 101 on, bitties. Bop. That's what I'm talking about, big dog. Bing bong, Beezle. Come on, baby. Super mega dodge. We are officially done at level 11. Bing bong, My Beezle. God, are you still Come on, baby. Talking? We are on level 12 now, chat. The beautiful Bing level Beezle. 12, bro. Come on, baby. Y'all going crazy, Bop. bro? They do go crazy. Bing bong, Come on, baby. Bop. Level 12. Bing bong, Beezle. Cooked. Come on, baby. We cooked. Bop. Bing bong, Beezle. Come on, baby. Yo, a Gerber Bop. coming in with the primer. Gamer. Bing bong, Beezle. Thank you, guys. Come on, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Bop. Thank you so Bing much, bro. Beezle. Come on, baby. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad also that you guys, Bing you know, Beezle. big on, fan. Baby. Big fan of the tier list. And like Bing I said, if you Beezle. guys disagree with Come any on, of baby. it, Bop. that's plus one comment in Bing the YouTube. Bong, you know what I'm saying? Come on, baby. You're welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Disrespect bong, at home. All right. Come on, baby. Bop. Bing bong, beezle. Too much bop, bing, bing, bozzle. Here, I'll bop, skip it a little bop, bit. Bop, Is that better? Bop, bop. Is that enough? Is that good? Bing bong, beezle. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, dude. There we go. Now we're all scat, man, bro. What a bop. That was a fucking huge bop, dude. That was hilarious, dude. I like, I like that, dude. Yo, somebody remix that shit, bro. Somebody remix that shit, dude. Your desk is filthy. What's wrong with my desk, bro? I'm wrong. Nothing wrong out here. That's a banger, dude. Who would have known? Who would have known that a bop was such a bop, bro? All right, chat. Thank you so much for all the gifteds. Are you guys ready to get back into the tier list? Thank you, thank you so much. A beautiful, beautiful a golden hype train. How many L is that water bottle? I don't know, at least one. At least one. Sixty-four ounces. How much is sixty-four ounces, chat? We got two and a half minutes chat, and then we'll head back into the tier list. Fucking do it. Half gallon, one gallon. How much is one gallon, chat? Sorry, I'm Canadian. Liters. We don't do gallons here. 2.5 liters? 1.9? That should be 1.5 liters. 1.8 liters? Remember those units? One gallon is 3.8 liters. A gallon is like 3.7 liters. Bro, I don't... What is a liter? Well, I mean, when we pump gas, we don't we don't have prices by the gallon. We have prices by the liter. One liter is thirty three ounces, nineteen feet in water. <laughs> One centimeter cube of water, bro. I don't, bro. You guys are just confusing the shit out of me now, dude. Metric system, bro. So do, does that mean? So does that mean I get the cool gold kappa emote, or is or is it or is it just? Bop. Bing oh. bong, beezle. Come on, baby. Bop. Bing bong, Beezle. Come on, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rupee just came in with a big, dusty 50. Big, filthy 50, bro. God damn, dude. Golden Kappa train level 12 coming on in. Yo, Rupee. Thank you so much for the 50 gift to Reno, bro. He is officially, ladies and gentlemen, Stop the music for a sec. Our boy, Rupee, the myth, the man, the legend, has officially hit 1,000 gifted subs. Can I get a W in chat for our boy, Rupee? This man has gotten 1,000 gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Huge fucking W for him, dude. God damn.
What an absolute fucking legend, bro. Thank you so much, brother, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. What is Golden Kappa? Golden Kappa, if you did not know, is a special thing that only happens to a streamer once a day. In the whole entire 24 hours, only one person can get the Golden Kappa train, and we were them. We're that guy, all right? When we watch Spy Kids and we we're looking for the guy, that's us. Or the guy. W, man. Huge W. Thank you. He's probably skinnier by now, dude. Bro, um, uh, Rupi, Rupi realized his, his weakness from World of Warcraft and he came back to, he became one of us again. We are him. We are the 1%. Now y'all can say I am him, dude. Spy Kids watch party before they get rid of it? Yeah, I don't know about that one, dude. Wait, one person per day or per day per person? No, one person per day, bro. Like, this shit is hella rare. Like, crazy rare, dude. How do you find the Golden Kappa? It's a specific hype train that has a percent chance to happen. And we managed to hit it. So nobody else for the rest of the day will not get this hype train. And we hit level 14, chat. A level 14 hype train. Thank you so much. Rupee single hand only gonna make the bro. Thank you for all the gifted subs. Thank you for the biddies, guys. Thank you for the thank you for the primers as well. Thank you for the T ones, guys. Keep the dream reality. Is there anywhere so you have golden kappa train going on? Oh well well this emote with this hype train, you can use it anywhere you want for 24 hours. 24 hours you can go ahead and flex your gold kappa. Do we have sub goal? No, we're pretty far away from it actually. Funny the whale tier list, dude. Yeah, we are we're actually we're like we're like a hundred and hundred and eighty eight hundred and eighty three? No, hundred and seventy three. Emo is only twenty four hours, to my knowledge, yeah. You think it'd be nice to get a gold cap train put out on the front page? Yeah. Well let me get that's okay, dude. Good lord, it's still is it's still going? Yeah, yeah, it's still going. We got a minute and a half left, dude. Golden Cap is a regular, but it's golden cool. Yeah, it is, dude. What's the sub goal? The sub goal is to bring the wheel back so people can destroy my account once again. That's 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 what that that's what that's about. So we can figure out punishments. So I have to I I go back to playing Idol on Hardcore. Yeah, the hype trains are uncapped now. Yeah, they are. It's over, dude. It is over, bro. Big time. Big over, big dog. Bop. Eradicating, coming bing in with the primer beezle. for the two months. Yo, Come thank on, you, baby. brother, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Bing bong, beezle. Come on, baby. Can't wait. Yes, and that will be one of them, chat. Will there be on the mega wheel punishment? There will be reset all crops. So I'll have to destroy all crops or waste summoning hearts. Something like that, dude. There's plenty of ways to bork my fucking account, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't know if I'm going to allow trashing sneaking equips, bro. I don't know if that's going to be allowed. Delete a Lotus. Delete these nuts. All right. 35 seconds left on the golden cap train. Once again, chat. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. Remove all plants and farming, dude. And I'm here to see this, dude. How about sampling something without samples equipped, bro? Bro, you got to be... Bro, you fucking shit me, dude. Delete the highest golden glove you have. Okay, let's talk about this for a second, all right? All right, we'll talk about it when we hit the goal, okay? We'll talk about when we hit the goal. Yeah, let's pump out that quest XP stamp. Yeah, true, dude, true. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit a golden kappa train and completed at level 14 with 12%. Your community has contributed 139 gifted subs and 11,507 biddies. Chat, if you're one of those people that did contribute to the Golden Kappa train, I want to see you guys see it in chat. I want to see those Golden Kappas, dude. Let's see that shit. Look at that shit. Does that mean I get mine too? Does that mean I get mine? There it is, bro. Look at, look at that smooth shit right there, bro. Look at that. Look at that good shit right there. Mm. Flex that shit, chat. Let everybody know. Let everybody know. But thank you again, once again, guys. Thank you so much for the hype train. We're going to go back to muting the alerts and we're going to get this tier list done because uh, we're four hours in and we need to pump this out. But once again, thank you so much for everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
All right. <clears throat> Find it kind of ironic, chat. Is it just me, or is it, or or is that sheer irony? Irony that we're doing a gem shop tier list and then we get the golden capitrain. Is that just me, or is that kind of that kind of sussy? It's kind of sussy, Baka, then. Speaking of gems, use code Griffy at gem checkout, chat. It's not a real thing, but still. And chat, we're also on the golden sprinkler. That's not irony, that's coincidence. Or serendipity. You know what, dude? True. You're right, I'm wrong. I will accept, I will accept, Pickle, that I'm wrong. All right, chat, new poll is up and ready to go. Let's get back to it. So we have the golden sprinkler. It's the sprinkler in the garden, which instantly regrows sprouts, has a 30% chance to not use up its charge. And each additional purchase boosts this chance by 1.5 times. And also instantly unlocks the sprinkler if not unlocked yet. You can buy this four times for a grand total of 2,050 gems. Golden Sprinkler is fucking cray cray, dude. Golden Sprinkler is wild. I'm pretty sure everybody buys this. But you only need to buy one. But we gotta keep in... You only need to buy one. But we gotta keep into consideration that we're, we're taking it all, all the gem purchases in total for 2050. I don't think it's S tier. I do not think it's S tier. I do not think it's S tier. I think it's good. I think it's good, but I don't think it's S tier. A at most. I would say it used to be it's trash. You're thinking of an end game perspective. Let's think of it a normal game perspective, okay? A normal game perspective. I could see this being top of B. An over farming stuff, in my opinion. B still till world six, sure. I would say. I would say. That it's top of the pack B tier. I would say it's better than Divinity Sparks. I would say it's top of the pack B tier. I wouldn't say quite makes it into A tier, but it's but it's it's definitely it's it, you you only buy one. You don't you shouldn't buy one more than one. So I mean, if 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 you wanted to buy all of them, yeah, sure they would reach up the land. They'll they'll go up higher in tier. But since you only buy one, I would say top. I say it's better than Sparky's chest slugs. Middle of the pack, B tier, top top B tier. What does the rate go to with four purchases? It's 1.5 times per purchase. So it'd be, so it'd be, uh, re is there a whole upgrade? I agree. Yes. Whole upgrade. Now, chat, the next one, we got to go a little bit faster because we're starting to run out of time. Next one, chat, we have Summoning Heart. Summoning Heart is our next pull. This is, if you guys don't know what Summoning Heart is, Summoning Heart is a refills one life in summoning, so you can get that battle you're stuck on. You can buy 12 for a grand total of 1,692. This refills daily. I thought I stepped on a cat for a second. It's not a cat. It is a light. Stepped on a cat? No, I didn't. You have cats? I do have cats. We all know this. We don't even need to finish this poll. This is this is this is this is clearly a whale purchase. This is absolutely a whale purchase. You're not gonna have this any other. This is a hundred percent whale. This is just above dice. You're barely ever gonna use this. You just wait for daily reset. You try again. Moving on. Hyperobals. Hyperobals. Now, Hyperobals have a chance 
to be the best in slot circle drop rate oval has a chance to be a multi-kill per tier circle oval has a chance to be a all stat percent circle oval or has a chance to give you damage percent oval and you can only get this in the limited time shop and it's rng and it's usually about you get one oval per stack and it's about 700 600 700 Or base damage oval, yeah. They are expensive. They are hella expensive. Like, you gotta realize you're paying upwards of 700 gems for one hyper oval. I personally think that this is going to be the top of the F. Here's why. Here's why. Because you only get one oval per purchase. The best one that you can realistically get is a all stat one, which is going to be quite frankly, it's pretty good, but the chance of you getting it is really low. I have bought every single hyper oval I possibly could get, and I've only gotten one of the all stat. Most of them, the multi-kill one is fantastic. I will put that in. It's great for multi-kill. But other than that, this is another whale purchase. Hey, you can just, you can make do with what you got. You can make do with your normal free-to-play farming obols. So I'm going to put this at top of the F tier. It might move into C tier, but nah. Unfortunately, it's just not that worth it. The drop rate one is only an extra percent. It's a whale purchase. Infinity Hammer. Infinity Hammer. It lets you produce two anvils items at once. And chat, it gives you plus one anvil hammer. Not only that, it costs 300 gems. I'm based. I am super, super based. If we're considering everything, if we're considering price, if we're considering what it does, if we're considering in the stage of the game, sure, later on, it gets a little bit more redundant. But for all stages of the game and for the price, I'm going to put it above Crystal 3D Printer. Now, I know you guys are going to go wild with it, but you got to remember that production items are the reason why you can get more armor is the reason why you can make your Amarok armor to push. It's the reason why you can get your Void armor. It's the reason why you can get any of that. And it's because it's 300 gems. You literally, this is your first purchase within literally an hour to two hours of playing. You already buy this. This is your first purchase regardless. Sure, Crystal 3D Printer's good, but it's not, it's not, you don't get it till World 3. You literally get this right as you start the game because you get thrown with so many gems that this is your first purchase no matter what this is the top of the line s tier this is your first purchase no matter what change my mind in the comment section below on youtube and it falls off whereas crystal printer gets better with the time yeah but it's your first purchase it's your first purchase we have mainframe jewels Mainframe jewels gives you a random jewel that you already own. No need to worry about duplicate jewels because these just restock every week. You can purchase two of them and, get, and every week, and the total for two of them costs 900 gems. It's not even gamble, though. It's not, it's not even really, it's not even gambling. You, you can't get a jewel you already own. It's like, it's like semi-gamble. It's, yeah, it's a knockout system. I personally think it's A tier. A tier right behind carry capacity, right above uh, Rubifiers. 
personally. Jewels are pretty, pretty strong, dude. Jewels are insane. Jewels are insane. You cannot get every new gem with the mainframe jewel? Yeah, there's three that you can't get. This is like one of your biggest time gates. You can get them all for free. It's a huge time gate to get them all for free. And they're not that expensive. They're four fifty a piece. The rotation's brutal. You save a lot of time. I would say, I could say top of the pack A. Top of the pack A. I don't know if it I don't know if it quite sneaks into S. No, it doesn't it no, it does no no no, it doesn't deserve to be B tier. Does not deserve to be B tier. Bottom A, because you get them for free, it takes a year to get them for free. I wouldn't put that's a good point. Yo. Yo, Nanamo Shire and I, whatever the fuck. Wouldn't put S because it's Gamba and may not be usable to start. I don't agree with the don't agree with the Gamba, but this but he does have a point with the jewels at the start. He does have a point. But they're not usable at the start because if you get a black one with your first purchase, that makes it so you take that that that's the difference between like level 10 lab to like level 80 lab. Takes four years to get dude. Doesn't mean that green gems are S tier. This 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 no, this is this this, this this is a straw man. That that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. You level labs with Divinity, so it's same time purchase. Yo, Fatal, thank you for the 12 months, bro. I think bottom or top B, buy some easy gems. You think, you really think it's, you think it's top B, eh? This is a hard one, because it depends. It really depends, because jewels are super good. Jewels are super good. Dang, to sub TTS for my one year. Sorry, dude. I don't have any. I don't have any shit going on right now. Sorry, Fatal. Dang, it's been a year of subbing. Did Chat know they can link their Amazon Prime account to their Twitch account to sub free to Griffy Bit? Yo, thank you, dude. There, I was your TTS. You are using the same reason of Divinity Sparky here and placing it high shouldn't be next to Divinity Sparks. You know what? I think C Pigs. I think I think C Pigs based. I think I think I think I think. But you buy right away and get crappier jewels. So if you're talking about fresh account conspiracy, nah, it's it's a generalization. So it's like middle of the pack. So it's Crystal Sprinter, but it's still not rank one. Complete black S tier, but full upgrade not worth. But that is true. There's some chips that are just, or there are some jewels that are just fucking dog shit. There, there is some jewels that are absolute dog water. I'd say just less than Divinity Spark. To be fair, there's also some of them. There is some of them that are fucking absolutely insane. Some are super fast to unlock, which is a waste of gems. They could list legit, legit save you over a year of time. So you can get the rest. Yeah, the black juice in particular don't come around again until 2025. No bottle left behind one. I'll compromise a tier. I, 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 I would compromise at B tier. Top of the pack B tier. Just because, just because you're calculating the RNG chance and you get, and, and you can get some shitty gems, but you could also get some really good gems. I, I would say, I would say, I would say some gems are S tier, but there's also some gems that are C tier. So I would say top of the pack, B tier. It's worth the gamble. But at the same time, if you do gamble, you can get fucked. Sometimes. Really bad. No, no, we're buying two per week. We're calculating buying buying the two per week. Nope, nope. That's not the same, Titan. Nope, same thing. You can only buy two a week. That's what we're going off. That's the basis. The grand total is 900 gems per week. You You can get some of them free to play. That's not how we've been doing the tier list. Don't change it now. You gamble first. 
How much for all gems? 900 a week. So if there's... How many jewels are there, chat? You can get some for free and only... Yeah, I would think... No, if you buy all. Um, I think it's like... Something like, I don't know, like... 5,000 gems or something around there. It's ex if you do buy all, 21, so 21, so 21 times 450, that's it's over. That's almost 10,000 gems. It's almost 10,000 gems. So if we go from that level, uh, yeah, I think, I think agreements is... Is there a unique 10k gems roll labos? is pretty good. How can you get free gems? Should watch my video of how to get free gems. I can agree with B. I think I think considering everything, I I think I think I think considering the price, the chances of getting burnt, but the chances of getting really good ones, the RNG is still there. The price isn't too bad, and it's a weekly reset. I would give it top of the pack B tier, top of the pack because it, because they're permanent. They are permanent. You got to remember that. But even sometimes you could you could roll one that you can't even connect to the lab yet. Because because you're you're also sometimes you can get some of them for free. Some of the easy ones are from free. Some of the more expensive ones you're gonna buy. So I would say I would say middle of the pack. Like these are these, these are these are situational. I would say this is another situational, but not situational like the least uh, the elite uh, subclass tokens. End game obvious S tier, but general B tier is fine. Exactly. This is a generalization, right? We're not talking about S tier, right? We're not talking about like end game where where yes you're gonna want all of these. We're talking about like a generalization, like yeah, buying some of them won't be like a bad purchase. You know what I mean? So I think I'm fine with that. I think I think top I think the top of the pack there on that one's good. All right, next one. We gotta keep on going. Next one, chat. We have Richelin Kitchen. Richelin Kitchen upgrades one kitchen order from first to last. A Richelin Kitchen has three times meal cooking speed, two times recipe speed, and 40% cheaper upgrade costs. You can buy 10 of these for a grand total of 4,300 gems. If we're averaging buying all of them for the price, A tier. A tier generalization. A tier. If we're buying all of them. Like, I agree. Like, you only need, like, the first two to three to be S tier. But, like, from a generalization, you're going to eventually want to buy all of these. And we, we are using this as a, a package deal. We, we can't keep on basing off of one to four is S, the rest is A. That's not how we've been doing this generalization basis, okay? That's not how we've been doing this. But if we're assuming all, I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say it's an A, even still. Even still, if we're doing a generalization, I would say A. Cooking speed, bro. Cooking is by far one of the strongest things in the game. Not to mention three times cooking speed, two times new recipe speed, 40% upgrade costs, it's 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 forty three hundred. That's cheap. That's cheap ass gems, bro. For for what you get from it, that that's huge. That's like, dude. After alchemy, it's cooking. So this is like this is so going forward. Obviously, I'm gonna add this in the video. You only need when you're doing like a generalization. You're only gonna need realistically like three kitchens, and those would be like high high S tier. But since we're doing a generalization for the price, I would put it right here. Just above the generator, just about the plots to buy them all. It's decently high A tier. You're going to eventually need these all, and the price just justifies that cost. I think it's better than Divinity Spark. Cooking is there. It literally goes alchemy, cooking. Alchemy, cooking. Those are some of your two biggest upgrades in the game. And then it goes, and then it goes Divinity. All right, let's move on. We have... Yeah, it's also recipe chance as well, so it's for new plates. Miracle chest, chat. 
Miracle Chats give you one Miracle Chats from a random island. These have 20 times percent more treasure and 30, 30 times higher artifact chance, including ancient artifacts. This item restocks daily. You buy three of them a day, it costs you 1,035. This is a, bro, this is a fucking big F. This is a big F. We all know it. Big F. They're expensive. Big F. We'll put this right next to the ancients. It's a little bit, it's a, it's, 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 it's behind ancients. It's a, it's F. Don't, don't buy these. These are garbage. These are garbage. Don't buy it. Too expensive. Don't do it. Because you know what feels really bad? You'll spend 345 gems to not get an artifact. Not get an artifact. Just get l jabated, bro. So minus 345. Don't buy these. It's whale shit. All right, next one. Mini game replays. Each purchase gives you additional four daily mini games to play across your account. Doesn't stack day from day. So you buy four of them and a grand total of 900. So that gives you 21 mini games. I think this goes right beside teleports. It's either bottom, it's either lower C or right beside teleports. It's good for early game. Now the, now the real question is, how many of you guys use mini games per day? I don't remember the last time I've done a mini game. I mean, yeah, we use them for GP. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we use them for GP. Yeah, true, true. I don't think they're F tier. Nah, I don't think they're F tier. Nah, 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 nah. I don't think they're F tier. I think they go right beside dungeon boosters. I feel like they're cool, but they be they 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 ha they're useful early, but then they start be having a redundancy to them. I, I would say I would say right beside dungeon boosters. I think that's fair, because uh, I mean they're just they're just meh. I mean, you're going to eventually use them. They help a little bit, but then but then they, they don't use afterwards. So, I mean, it's eh. All right, next one. We have a keychain, a mob respawn keychain that gives you 20% mob respawn per purchase that come with the limited time shop. Twenty percent mob respawn that you can double. Keep in mind, these are giga OP. These are about eight hundred gems a pop. About eight hundred gems a pop. I think these rests. I think S did. This makes Gmush insane. This makes Gmush farming crazy mode. And not to mention super chows. Like these these mob respawn keychains blow these out of the water. When these last of the shop. I don't know, this is like world four, but imagine the new players. Well, you gotta realize you gotta take into consideration, right? You gotta take into consideration as well. Limited to time shop, right? Limited time shop. Unless you farm Bubo, these are crazy. Yeah, these are crazy. These are absolutely nuts. I use these constantly. On I use these on Blood Berserker. I use these on Siege Breaker. I use these on I use these on Beastmaster. Like these are like requirements. If you want to have decent. Now we're not now now we're not going to take into consideration here. Okay. Do not take into consideration that. World 6 doesn't really work with mob respawn, okay? Okay, don't don't take that into consideration. Just just pretend it works. Okay? So that'd be So I would say same thing. It's in the limited time shop. They'll be S tier when they come out. They're right beside they're right beside the drop rate keychains. They're so potent. They're so incredibly potent. Wait, mob respawn is broken? Apparently mob respawn is broken in uh, World 6. All right, moving on. More storage space. I believe this is called the Cosmic Storage. Wow. 
Why is the name tag next to it? Because the name takes 2,500 gems. More storage. These give you plus nine extra storage chests. And you can buy 10 of them for 90 spaces for 5,040 gems. This is easy, yes. Easy, yes, dude. Easy, yes. This goes right beside the bag. This goes right beside the bag. Now, now the question is, do we want to have it after the bag or before the bag? After bag, before bag. Before, it doesn't matter. Okay. So these ones are pretty huge. I would give it S tier. So food slots, bag, and storage are kind of all the same. They're all really good together because it's just more, more space. So it goes there, but I say they're pretty equal in S tier. All right, moving on. We got to speed run this shit, chat. We got to speed run. I don't want to spend more than a day on this. Oh, and, and, and while we're here as well, we'll go ahead and throw the other storage chests in there as well, just because it is the same. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is slightly, slightly cheaper than the other ones as well. So that's also a good one to have. So they go in basically the same spot. Uh... This one is the Shroom Familiar. Okay, so the Shroom Familiar adds a Shroom Familiar to your Summoning Sanctuary, which gives you a permanent 1.40 times bonus to all Essence gain. You buy three of them for a maximum of 2,610 gems. I think it's S because it's summoning. It's summoning. Summoning isn't that good yet, so B, are you kidding me? Have you seen the fucking winning shit that you've gotten? Do you, do you, do you know what you get for winning? Summoning's fucking nuts. If it's guarding bonuses are A, this should be S. Went from 500 construction to 50 billion. It's a multi, so S. Strong A tier. I think it should be, personally... Personally, I think it should be just above, just above colored cauldrons. I think it should be above colored cauldrons. In my personal opinion. My personal opinion. But we're all thinking A. It's like Divinity, once you unlock everything, it's diminished returns. I mean, that's a good point. That is a good point. That's a good point. I would say, I, I could agree with that then. Top A. Shmixi does have a good point. I would say top A. Top A. I could agree with that. I, I could agree with that. Top A. Yeah. So I would say Shroom Familiar is very, very strong because the Essence gain, it is a multiplier. It's fantastic. But over time, you are going to be getting to a point where you're going to be pretty much done with uh, with summoning. And uh, I would overall think that the multipliers that you'll get from summoning anyways will just be so astronomical. Uh, it's almost an S tier. I would almost say S tier, but it's a it's high A tier. Like this is definitely something that you would suggest getting when you could pick it up. But overall, if we're taking it from more of a whale standpoint, it's S. It's overall S. It's going to be huge. And the only thing that it keeps on going is the star signs, but unfortunately it's only a 0 0.10 multiplier, and this only affects essence gain. This doesn't affect XP. So keep that in mind.
So I'm I'm okay with top A. Top A is fine. Am I wrong? No, not really. Thought XP was affected? No, XP was not affected. I'm pretty sure XP is not affected. Next we have is Obel Storage Space chat. Obel Storage Space. CN's Obel's... Yeah, we're not there yet, though. We don't even have that unlocked, so how can we base it off of... Tome is literally Obel, so S. What? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Lavi, you just come here out of nowhere and just like, Tome is literally Obel, so S? What, what does Obel storage have anything to do with... Wait, what? Wait, no, it's it's not Obel's. Never mind, F. What? What? The, what? Lava, why are you so based? Why do you gotta live your li why do you gotta live your life so fucking based? Lava cast confusion is super effective, bro. Okay, I would say I would say C tier. I'd say C tier. It's it, this is okay, so this is an this oval storage is gives you plus four circle slots, plus four uh second purchase, plus four uh for square. Third is plus four for hexagon and, and plus four for sparkle. Uh, you can buy this 12 times and it gives you a grand total of 6,300 gems. So you get 16 circles, eight squares and four hexagons and sparkles. That's what you will get for these purchases. Uh, you get a lot of ovals for free, but I mean, until once you're like really late game and you have like multiple, multiple, multiple sets, you're gonna need them. But if you don't need multiple sets, then it's not really a priority. So for a generalization, I would put it there. It's another super situational, super, super, super situational decision. So it's not a whale thing. You will eventually need this whale or free to play. But at the moment in time, you probably won't need it for a while. So in a generalized consensus, it's meh at best. Most players don't obel daily. It's a solid C. It's fine at C, chat. I'm not I'm not saying it's B or A, but it's not a whale purchase. It's really not. It's really not a whale purchase. It's it's fine there. I'm happy there. Okay. So we have obels. It's the same deal. Obels, obels are 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 whale purchases, to be completely honest. I'm gonna put both obels F whale purchase down here. You can farm all of these free. You, you really don't need to farm obols other than free, like any obols you need, alchemy shop, or obols from bosses, or mini bosses, or you or you farm out gigafrogs. Like, you actually don't need to use these. These only times you'll ever purchase these is if you want to skip the alchemy grind uh, for, for the chopping obols or the mining obols, or like maybe like the worships or whatever. But other than that, I mean, you don't really need these. These are easy F tier. Pet storage. Pet storage, chat. They're having higher than hearts. No, because that's a whale. That I rather whale on hearts than whale on obels. Disagree. That's that's I'm allowed I'm allowed to be based on my tier. Okay? That's that's that F tier is my tier. Now pet storage unlocks 12 pet storage spaces, which is an entire row. And you can buy 12 of them. For a grand total of 7,530 gems. It's, 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 it's really, I mean, to buy all of them, this is another situational C tier. Or just not hoard pets. Or 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 just not or just not hoard pets. F tier? Okay, I can agree with that. 
if we're going off by like buying like one or two pet storage, that's fine. If we're going off about late game, I would put it in C tier. But if you don't hoard pets and you just specifically only have shinies to swap out for your Beastmaster, yeah, maybe one or two is fine. But other than that, I mean, it's a whale purchase, but it's the top of the pack of the whale purchase, to be fair. So, I mean, buy, buy it at your own discretion. All right, next one, chat. We have compost bag. It's almost quality of life. Yeah. You can survive without them easily. Compost bag. Now, compost bag instantly gets four hours of farming growth for all your crops, and this item restocks daily. You can buy nine of them for a grand total of 1,395. I don't suggest these. I personally think they're F tier. I think they go right beside Bottle Wins. I would say they are just below Bottle Wins. They are... It's it's only four hours. Okay? It, you use it because you're a whale and you want to push farming as quickly as possible. But other than that, you're you're not going to buy these daily. Go buy go buy something else. Okay? Go 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 buy card slots. Or go, go buy freaking... Bleach Cauldron or Shroom Familiar. Don't, don't waste your time and, and buy those. But go buy something else. Yeah, yeah, I'm fixing it. Thank you. Lava Sprouts. Now, what do Lava Sprouts do? Lava Sprouts increases the maximum sprouts you can have in the garden by plus one. Also adds a small Lava Sprout to underground gaming lair, which completion completely the dark of the ground. Okay, so basically, Lava Sprouts increases the number amount of sprouts you can have in your garden plus one. And you can get six of them for a maximum of 2,910. These are fucking insane, actually. These are, these, these are, these are, these are insane. Wait, wait, is it, wait, are they required for the Equinox? <gasps> wait. Holy shit, they're required for the Equinox. That's true, you need 15 chemicals. You can't get it without at least purchasing one. Hey, you need one. No, it's 15 chemicals. Now where? Okay, I can agree, I can agree with A tier. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if you, if you ever think, okay, if you ever think you're going to complete gaming without lava sprouts, you're fucking kid. You're 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 crazy. You're absolutely crazy. A above Sparky. I would say it's right next to Shroom Familiar. I personally, I would personally put it right be, right next to Shroom Familiar. And I say from gaming makes a mess here. Yeah, I could agree with that. Now, do we say it's above Shroom Familiar or below Shroom Familiar? Before or after? Better than cooking, though? <laughs> above Shroom because required. It is I would say it's better than cooking. I, I, it is required. I, that's a good point. I would say it's above just because it's required. Now, I would I would say it's above just because it's required because you at least need one in order to finish off Equinox. And honestly, just getting 20 in total, it's it's the price is super useful and it's super worth it. And it's 2,910 gems. I would 100% put this top of the pack A tier. You're going to want this. Gaming is a huge thing. I'm okay with that. I accept that. I 100% accept that. That is a good choice just because it's necessary. This is based on buying all, not just one. Everybody buys them all. Everybody has 20. I have not seen a single account that has not bought 20. Playco balls. This is for all balls. This is including your 100, your 500, and your 1,000.
I like how there's a no red hat tier. Red hat does not exist. Never bought lava sprouts and have chemicals. Imagine being not having ball shot max, dude. Chat. Let's be honest here. If we had a G tier, this is where we would be. All right. More like no red hat, you plebeian. Don't buy Plinko balls unless you are down bad. Okay. I was down bad. You know why I bought so many Plinko balls? Content. Honestly, it's a Gamba tier. This is, this is, this is the heaviest Gamba ever, dude. You run out of content, you're in maintenance mode, buy some balls. This, use this, this is situational. Use this at your own discretion, okay? I would, I would put that below Pet Storage. Use this in your own discretion, okay? If you want to buy balls, go ahead, buy balls. You want to go for the red hats, you want to go for the stamps, whatever, you do you. But let me just tell you, it, in reality, it's, it's, it's 100% a whale tier. 110%, dude. Don't even do this, dude. Oh! So, yeah. So, so F tier, whale tier. Moving on. Post office reset. We don't even need to do a poll for this. This is F tier. Post office reset is F tier. You can get this at events. You do an event. The chance is one of these dropping is usually one in a thousand. You don't need this at all. Wait for an event. I'll put it below here. You really don't need this. And now that Divine Knight has been fixed, you also don't need to do this. Maybe if they come up in the limited time shop and they're, and they're more, you know, they're a little bit better, maybe, yeah. But I mean, just, 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 just don't, just don't, just don't buy them. You don't need them. Just, just you don't, don't even think about thinking, making that as a purchase. Okay, moving on. So that, so it's, so post office, Reset, resets all the post office boxes. Easy F tier. Don't buy it. Next going on chat is... Whew, there's a lot of them, chat. Holy moly. We've been going at this forever. We're almost there, chat. We're almost there. We're getting through... We're getting to the easy ones. Like, you see, there's keychain ones. There's candy ones. There's card packs. Kill rings. We're almost done, actually. It's a lot faster than you think it is. The next one, chat, we have prayer slots, which allows you to equip plus one more prayer at the same time on all characters. There's four of them, and with a total grand, with a grand total of 1,450. How many do you get natively? Enough? Because what, what, what are the ones that we run? We, we, the ones that you run, uh, say if you're doing mobbing, you run Zerg Rushagen, uh, one that I guess eight, plenty. Yeah, you don't need these. Yeah, you do, you, you don't need this. Yeah, sure, for early, so for prayer slots, sure, for quality of life later game, uh, but in reality, it's kind of the same as pet storage. Uh, you're not going to get to a point where you're actually going to need this. Uh, it's another whale purchase. You never really run more than like five because you're only missing like four prayer slots. I'm sure you have 1,450, but nobody ever runs full maxed out prayers across the board. So it's just, it's early on. You're not even gonna get to a point where you're gonna really be running prayers anyway. So it's just not necessary. You just, you just need to get your, you just need to get your wizard up. Maybe if new prayers come out, I would change my opinion. But as it sits right now, no, the prayers don't matter. All right, chat, next one, card presets. Card presets are like crazy quality of life. You don't need them, chat. You don't need presets. You could just take the one preset, reset all your cards every single time. You can survive literally without them. Do you want to? God, no. Card presets lets you swap between card loadouts with ease. No more manly swapping cards or doing different things. Each gives plus one preset for all characters. You can buy a total of five of them with a grand total of 2,850. Now that card cross-platform is fixed, it's a little bit stronger. I would say, I would say this is situational. If you want them, get them. If not, it's kind of the same as uh, Oval Storage. It's a little bit better. It's, it's basically the same as Oval Storage. It's, it's a pure quality of life. If, if if you want to get it and you want to swap cards, if you're too lazy to swap not cards, that's fine. But 
honestly, you could totally live without buying any of these and just manually swapping cards. Pure quality of life. It's up to your own discretion whether you want them or not. But is it, I mean, I would say maybe it's better than Oval Storage because you have a lot of cards. But yeah, you, you can live completely without these. I, I, it's, it's C tier. I'm overruling you guys on this one. Teleports are a little bit different because 100% movement speed is a thing, Pickle. If 100% movement speed wasn't a thing, I would have a lot different opinion on daily teleports. A lot. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, I would say, actually, you know what? I would put presets actually higher than dungeon boosters and minigame plays for the sole reason that these fall into redundancy while the, while the presets don't. So I think they're slightly better. I think I think you just like I think you saved uh, timer. Save more time with car presets than you do TPs. No, you no you don't. That's that is so false. That is that is so incredibly false. But we're moving on. If you don't like it, leave it in the comment section. Pristine charms. Pristine Charms gives you a random Pristine Charms in your sneaky inventory, which gives you a permanent bonus to your account. You cannot get duplicates of this. An item restocks every day. You can buy two of them per week. And base is 920. And you get a total of 1,840. I would say this is literally the same thing as Jewels. This is literally right beside Jewels. It's the same thing as Jewels. There's there's literally no difference than jewels. It is it is completely it's a, it's this it's the exact same thing as jewels. Except you don't need to reach them, so they above jewels. They're a little weaker bonuses than jewels. That's not true, actually. No, pristine charms are stronger than jewels. Because 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 jewels only increase the power of a node. They don't increase, they don't, they're just not their own bonus. I would say, I would say pristine charms are the exact same jewels, except you don't need to reach them. And they're their own entity rather than needing a node in order to make the jewel potent. So I would say be middle of the pack. They make it a little bit better. Sure, you need like summoning bonuses to make it better or you need like gold food, but overall it's still its own entity. So I would I would say it's the exact same thing as jewels, same sort of requirement, and it's just it they're potent. So I would say B middle of the pack, right next to jewels. How did ancients get F tier with jewels and charms getting B? Well, I don't know. Maybe because they're sovereign. Do you do you see an do you see an eldritch mainframe jewel anywhere? So now we have random wings which come from the limited time shop where you have a chance to roll one of the wings that are currently available. That also means some of them that come from the card or that some of them that come from the actual paid pack. So that's like the Phoenix wings, or you have a potential chance to get your best in slot golden rose wing. And this it usually comes around about 1150 gems. You guys are cracked if you think us too. It's a fine, bro, it's... It, Bro, this is, this is, bro. <laughs> how many times, I've gotten cheese or wings like three fucking times, bro. How many, how many, how many times have you guys gotten Amrock wings? This is, this is a hundred percent whale shit. Nah, 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 I, I'm, I'm vetoing everybody. This is a hundred percent whale. You're going to spend 1150 gems on a potential chance to get Amrock wings. The people that have a potential chance to get golden rose, it's it's still gamba. It's it, bro. It's it's expensive and it's not worth, in my personal opinion. Sure, you see a couple of people that get phoenix wings or a couple of people that get gold roses. Sure, that's a very very small in between. That's like saying people that get dupe free to play. Okay, it's a very very small percentage. The gamble is not worth it. Strong disagree. F tier, top of the pack. F tier. All right, whale at your own discretion. I got Phoenix wings. I've gotten cheese or wings and e font wings for all three of my purchases. Almost $40 down the hole. I don't want to fucking hear about your guys' potential chance of getting a good one. Next one, chat. Sample slots. 
Think about it. Is as a free to play the only chance to gain wings? That's so fucking wrong. Go fight nightmare bosses. Stop being dumb. What are you talking about? One of the best wings in the game came from an event. Like, bro, what are you fucking cooking? You can't get wings any other way other than fucking paying. What are we? What are we dumb here? With a low ass chance, bro. We get like fucking twenty drop rate. I got angel wings, literally just bought it. Oh yeah, if you're buying the angel wings, that's fine. Yeah, I know that's different. I got Craig Cape, dude. You need more of them, dude. And then buy those slots to Ender World 6, so I'm distributing the samples, quality of life. Technically quality of life, hard disagree. Hard disagree. Sample slots give you plus one slot for your 3D printer. So, unlocks plus one space to sample in. These are blue squares. Juggle between different samples without having to retake them all the time. You can buy six of them for a grand total of 3,150. You also have to take into consideration with the new sailing artifact, the gold artifact, which allows you to increase your multiplier even more without having to retake samples. And let's be honest here, chat. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Nobody wants to spend hours doing 3D prints, so you might as well just have more sample space to do it once and wait two months rather than doing it once and having to do it two weeks later. The amount of quality of life that this saves makes it worth it. This is how you exactly, this is how you avoid resetting your skull, which in turn gives you more prints. Yeah, peace out, Soul Root. How the fuck are you getting 20 DR? Bro, I'm at like 32 DR. What are you talking about? And say taking them often would be beneficial early though. If we're taking a generalization, sample slots are fucking huge. Uh, yeah, I mean us. Well, you should be watching my guides. Quality of life, it won't change your game at all. It will. Because you lose out on sample gains. Because gold relic. How many times do you change samples? If I had no sample spots, Botten, a lot. A lot. But since I have all these sample slots, I don't need to change. Not great early before you get S tier relic, S tier. Yeah, I would say early game. Just distributing samples. You don't need to have all resources with everyone. And this quality of life says literally days of time. Imagine not being able to change your samples on a whim because you accidentally lost a green stack. Yeah, I would say I would say people sleep on this hard. I feel like people. I think I think I think a lot of people come from a privileged standpoint and don't I don't under, because they already have their sample slots and they're like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. It fucking is. It's a huge deal. Sample slots are massive. They are so important. How many? Yeah. How how many people in chat don't have ten sample slots? By the way. I have seven, I have nine, I only use five. I'm at seven, six, four, seven is agony, seven, I have seven. So most of you guys have bought at least a few. Four sucks ass. It's expensive for free to play. So if we're going from a generalization, Going from a generalization, chat. Would we say, just for the sole fact of the golden artifact, that is B tier. Top of the pack, B tier. I think we can grow with that. I think we agree with that. I would say considering how much time it saves you and not to mention you are not having 
to go super crazy on with the gold relic because the gold relic is a really important thing when it comes to when it comes to sampling because you don't want to change your samples because you want to build that up because it goes so high but if we're taking this from more of an end game standpoint i would 100 percent say s tier anything different than s tier is not but the quality of life saves you literal d days so i would say top of the pack b tier it would it's almost an a tier almost an a tier but it just falls short just because it is quality of life but it does help a lot with with this with the gold artifact all right sands of time sands of time next one yeah, we keep we can't keep on wishy washy changing our decisions though. We have eight, we have eighty six items we have to go through. We gotta we gotta fucking we gotta make this quicker. We got we gotta we gotta do this in the fucking forty five minutes. Which I'm gonna be honest. I, I this is tier list public. Tell you what, I'll share it with you, Llama, and you have to wait until I put my video out first. How about that? And then I'll share it with you. All right. Sands of time. This is easy. It may be one of the best of the hours to push. But let's be honest here. If you have not purchased everything in the gem shop by this point in time, there should be no reason why you should be ever buying Sands of Time. They're freaking expensive. They give you six hours of sneaking progress, but it's not like they're cheap. They're 190 a piece. You can buy six of them for 1,140 and restocks daily. And not to mention, RNG is super heavy, especially in early game, mid game, and only gets better late game. Uh, the chance of you getting a drop is really bad. You're only going to use this to push Jade Emporium. Other than that, you're not going to use these. Don't even bother. Use this whale tier. Next one. The Siege Breaker Cap. Siege Breaker Cap. That, it's the premium hat that specifically gives you 10% 10 10 drop rate. This is the 10% drop rate premium hat. And it's one of the cheaper ones, I believe. I believe it's one of the cheaper ones, chat, and I believe this one usually runs about 700 gems. 700 gems around there. And it's only available in the limited time shop. Only limited time shop. Oh, so it makes you look like a pirate. I think you you know it, I know it, we all know it. It goes right beside the Elemental Sorcerer. It's the same thing. It may be Biss drop rate, but it's only 10%. It goes right beside the Elemental Sorcerer hat. It's the same deal. Absolutely same deal. It's 10% for one character. So, I would say right, be, right beside the Elemental Sorcerer hat at BPAC. Where's the DK hat? What is? The, what do you mean the DK hat? What does the DK hat give you? Does all stack give DR? Technically with luck? Da. Nah, there isn't one yet. So then why, why is this relevant? Come on, Thatos. Get it together here. There should be one? True. There should be one. You're not wrong. But how, but, but how, is, how is this relevant? All right. We're moving on. Okay. All right. We're moving on. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, watch watch this be completely irrelevant tomorrow. We have Sigil Supercharge, which each purchase gives you a permanent bonus of 20% Sigil XP, and you must reach World 4 before you can level up Sigil. So you can buy 10 of these for a grand total of 3,850. To be fair, this changed a lot, chat. You gotta remember that this is, this is, this is a lot different. Once you're done and done, it's same as Flaggies. Yeah, until you get iodized Sigils and then get fucked, you're gonna be spending 600 years. Imagine. It used to not work. Yeah, true. It does work now.
third new tier it's not f tier yeah it's not f tier with the third new tier i think i think it's fucking i think it's c tier high c is fine high c is fine Yeah, I went from low F to, yeah, I can agree with that. So, sigils are still one of those things that it's like a late game thing. It's it's definitely a late game thing. It's not something that you're necessarily 100% paying attention to until you have everything else done in alchemy, and then you start focusing on it. But until then, it's not bad, with, especially with the new World 6 bonuses that make it a little bit faster. It does help with the ticks. So, I would put it at, it, it was originally at low F tier, I would probably put it right above the bailing name tag, and I'll give Sigil Speed's top of C tier. Wait, yeah, I had another tier? No, I didn't. I didn't add another tier. Okay, next one. Silver Pocket Watch. It's kind of the same as the Golden Pocket Watch, except the difference is, is it pushes your time by 15 minutes. It doesn't do a full day. It's 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 F tier. It's the same thing. You can you can also buy this in the weekly time shop. It's 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 not it's not worth it's it's meh at bad. It's it's F. We all know it. It is what it is. We just let it be. Let it be. Let it die. Let it die. Sometimes if it goes for one gem, sure, buy it. If not, don't worth it. Next one. Souped up lab dudes. Souped up lab tubes. Souped up lab tubes. Each purchase soups up two lab tubes. Players get two times lab XP and 30% line width. And you can get five of them for a grand total of 3,050. No, I'm not doing premium stones. B tier? I agree with B tier. No, I agree with B tier. 2100, we're talking about late game mechanics here. We're not talking about generalization. If you're talking about late game mechanic, then sure, S tier. But that's only 2100 lab level. Lab Divinity Grind? Sure. I can agree with Top of B. I'd accept Top of B. I think Top of B is fine. I think Top of B, it's better than what it used to be. Way better than what it used to be. 100%. I think because of the new update is a little bit better, you're going to eventually need to get 2,100 beautiful, beautiful uh, lab levels across all characters for that skill mastery. But until later game, this also helps you get out of Divinity and Lab Grind a little bit faster. So I would say this is the same deal as the Divinity Sparks. I would put Divinity Sparks and Lab side by side with each other. They are literally the same Z's. They are just just like that because they both kind of coexist with each other and they help just make progression a little bit faster. So it's definitely not a bad thing to get, but it's realistically, you're kind of just there. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but uh, we all know what this is. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is literally F tier. Like, like this, like, bro, this is, this is the bottom of the pack F tier. Not only is this F tier, you can literally just craft these you can you can literally just craft thousands of these without a problem it's not don't it's a trap it's a trap don't don't even the skill point resets the star talent point resets shouldn't even be on the list but there is because they're part of the gem shop 
Next one. Subclass swap token. Same deal. Same deal. F tier. Don't even buy these. If you really mess up, if you mess up that badly, it's going to be really, really hard for people to mess up. Okay? You got to be, you got to be so crazy to mess up that bad because you can make up to four warriors and still not mess this up. And even when you get to that point, and say if you make too many Divine Knights, oh, you can just elite class swap token. Like these literally become redundant within literally less than 100 hours of gameplay. You should, this, this should not even be, a, this should not even be a question. These are useless. Don't even bother with these. Not to mention, you can also get these in events chat. There's also events. You can get it slab, you can get an event. If you have 10 archers, you should have deleted your account already. And this does not work for elite classes. You cannot use that to swap elite classes. And that's just, that's just the way it is. Next one is Summoner Stone. Summoner Stone gives you a summoning stone usable item that you can use it once to instantly get four hours of summoning essence instantly. It restocks each day. You can buy nine of them for a grand total of 1,395. Without a question, these go all the way down where compost is. It's only four hours. It's not even that lot. It's not even a lot. It's 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 literally four hours. It's F tier. They don't even bother wasting your time buying these. It's just it's just a waste. Just don't just don't. Just I don't even need to explain myself. Just 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 don't. Just that's all. That's it. Just, just don't. Easy. Moving on. Just wait four hours, five head. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Next one we have is Royal Egg Cap, which boosts the max number of eggs in your breeding nest by plus one. Also, as an added bonus, you get 1.10 times new pet breeding chance to each time you buy this. You can buy five of them for a grand total of 2,250. This is huge. This is huge. Royal Eggs is amazing. Early game. Sorry. Sorry. I meant to say early game. Royal, Royal Egg Caps. Royal Egg Caps good early game. And it's also plus one egg breeding. I think this is kind of like. It's kind of like the same deal as Chess Slug. It's it's kind of the same deal as chess slug, but I would put I would put it below fence yard. Personally. I would put it below fence yard. Because nowadays it used to be it used to be a lot harder to get a uh to get a, a lot more new breeding chance, but now it's much easier than what it was before. So I think in, in total, I mean it's good. But it's not like crazy. Like if you want to, it's great. It cuts a ton of DNA out. But I mean, and, and you also get more egg capacity, which is great for late game players. It's 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 not really that good. I'm gonna be completely honest. But for but for like more early game, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit better. I will I will give that a a, a solid just below middle of the pack, just below uh, fence yard. For when you get it, it's great. It does require it for the. I believe it does require for the achievement. Not 100 percent sure certain. Uh, if that's truly the case, then it'd probably be above fence yard. But I mean, if it's if it's just for the achievement, then eh, it's alright. It's not. It's not like the potency of like uh, of gaming. It doesn't have the gaming potency. I feel like World Six is a bias in this tier list. Um, no, we've actually shredded a lot of World 6. World, a lot of World 6 stuff is in the F tier, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, majority of it is in the F tier, actually. Not a single World 6 has hit S tier. So how is it biased? H how, how, how is it biased if not a single World 6 item has hit S tier? Bias works both ways. Yeah, but that's not how he used it. Uh, 
a single world five or world world four or five not saying i agree the three a tier world six stuff is because it's like three times your star for world skills they are too expensive yeah i mean if they were not so expensive they'd be s tier all right moving on chat we have tier one keychain tier two keychain and tier three keychain these kind of the same deal as his plinko balls i'm gonna be honest with you uh, i mean i would say the only thing that i'd argue is the tier three keychain the other ones are are down here even dungeon dice have more useful but the rng chance is a gamble tier the, the, the you're 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 a massive whale if you're going for that all three of those are f tier all three of them are f tier absolutely 100 percent. don't even bother with these this is for whales only now the next one is purchasing time candy daily so time so these these can go anywhere from ranging from 24 hour time candies to but all of this is rng so one hour i would say again obviously this is whale don't ever buy daily time candy okay don't just don't do it just, just don't do it it just it just is what it is just, just don't even bother man it's too expensive it's way 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 too expensive it's just 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 farm them just go do your coliseums you know go do your mini bosses go farm your giants you're gonna have tons of candy in the end anyways We have World 1 card pack. F tier. Don't buy this card pack. It's a waste. World 2 card pack. F tier. Don't even bother buying the World 3 card pack. Or World 2 card pack. World 3 card pack. F tier. Actually, I'll put them like this because they're they're just as useless, but one's better than the other. World 4 card pack is also not worth it. Just leave it where it belongs. Death. Sure, it's for plus one slab, but that's only what it's used for. Now let's talk about World 5, World 6 card packs. And not to mention, you can also get card packs from quests, by the way. By the way, just putting that out there. World 3 also has re hard resources, so not off. You know what also does? World 5 and World 6. World 4 card pack from Troll, you can get that from World 6. World 5 card pack, I would say just a little bit better than everything else, but still not better. Would not suggest these are still easily farmable. You should check out my card farming guide. Sure, it might help you accelerate a little bit, but in, in reality, if you're thinking of using these card packs to buy your way to 4 star or 5 star, you are absolutely delusional. And finally, we have World 6 card packs which is a different scenario world spirit card packs cost 720 gems per purchase but they have the ability to drop literally everything in the game I'm going to be honest. World 6 card packs are really, really good. It is honestly at that point where it's going to take years of farming World 6 to get all of them to 5 star. Literal years. Not months, not weeks, like everything else, like all the other cards we're talking about, even in the end game. Even in the end game, it will take you years to farm out. It, they're too high. The scaling is way too high for World 6. You just need to get them to 3 star and then you cardify them. That's how you make it cheap. You're not going to get these to 4 star by buying card packs. You're not going to get these to 5 star by buying card packs. You're literally going to buy to get 3 stars and then you're going to then you're going to take your cardifier for 4 star and then your rubifier for 5 star. That is how you're going to do that. There's really, unfortunately, no other ways to do it. But, although it's one of the best cards in the game, I'm not going to put it at S tier. I'm not going to put it in S tier. 
because I don't want people to think that they need to buy this. You can get a you can get a you can get away without buying it. Because it is Gamba chat. It's not only is it 720 gems per card pack, it is also RNG. It is a Gamba. It's Gamba. If it wasn't so Gamba, I would put it at S tier. And I'm taking my whale out of this consideration. I know I bought 92 card packs, okay? I bought 92 card packs, but I've been hearing time and time again that people are so high up and so medium in World 6 that they struggle, struggle so hard and you have to use thousands upon thousands of time candy just to get any of these cards higher than three star. They're usually, ju they're usually just four starring or five starring. So with that reason, I put World 6 card packs, A tier, middle of the pack A tier. Easy. Hopefully later it'll be fixed and we can put it later down the line, but unfortunately I'm not going to put it on S tier to tell people that they need to buy World 6 card packs. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Nope. No, 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 no. Because they're expensive. You can get three cards pretty easy. Can you though? Can you? How easy is it for you guys to get three stars in World 6? How easy? So it's impossible to get three-star trapping cards. Not as easy, impossible. Farm guard shard or the three card myself wasn't the worst. Too hard. The later ones get eat hard as fuck. Few weeks, brutal. You can't three-star samurai's chiefs, which is the best cards. One day per mob for four-star. What? For bossing skilling ones, crazy hard. I got two stars and some. One in 10 hours. Half of them are really easy to get to three star and then half of them aren't really hard to get to three star. Free world six card pack and only got 25% of the three star Bubo and DK. Three bosses, five start in 30 minutes, but I bought packs. That's not fucking helpful now, is it? All the good ones are hard to get. So, so you're saying, so... Could we agree with this? Because I, I bet you, I bet you anything, when bosses come out, it's going to be like 90 keys. It's going to be like 90 keys, chat. Per, per attempt. I think it's below Ruby. I'm okay with that. Yeah, World 6. That's gonna... So this is... So, let's be honest here. The World 6 card packs are gonna be super controversial. Um, I would say as it's as of right now, World 6 card packs are pretty, pretty important. Realistically, they're, they're pretty... They're pretty nice. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, some cards are just not able to be getting to 3-star just because they take literal months. Uh, so this is just a huge time save. And obviously the boss cards when it comes into like Nightmare or Chaotic, that's going to take hundreds of keys to be able to get done. Obviously with the with the skilling cards as well, they're also incredibly hard to get on top of that. So for right now, I'm going to keep them at A tier. Hopefully down the line, they'll be a little bit easier to get. But until that point, I'm happy with that placement. All right, next one. Kill rings. Kill rings. I think all of these are fucking dog shit, to be honest. I think the only one that you could justify is World 5. It's good. It's, yeah, Alien, it's good.
Yeah, I mean, World 4 works for Rift. These are for Slap and B-Man run, just F-tier reasons. By the time you get them, probably done with the push. Now remember, chat, these only come from the limited time shop. And they are kill-per-kill kill rings. They are not multi-kill rings. And they are, they are not mob respawn rings. They are specifically kill per kill. So the things that they only have, the things they only affect is portal kills, death note kills, and V-man pushing for their, for the V-man speed run. So by the time you actually get these for a catch-up mechanic, this is how I'd place them. That's all they are. You never have to use these. Realistically, you'll never need to use these. They're just something that you don't even want to use. Because you're just going to look past them. The only thing you use them is for plus slab as well. It's kill per kill. If it was multi-kill, totally different opinion. But it's not multi-kill. It's only kill per kill. The Actually, that's a good point. I will change, I will change the World 4 ring better than the world five ring just because of rift just because of rift so that's what i'd say they're still an f tier now zen cogs zen cogs have been buffed since the last time we have done a tier list they are much stronger than what they were before and to buy all of them to buy all eight costs seven thousand and five hundred gems and you also, that means you get eight Zen Cogs and two sets of Excogia ex cards. Or Cogs. They're very expensive. They're much better than they used to be. They are way better than they used to be. Zen Cogs, you just not even use them now. They're like, require basically everything. Well, they're not required, but I mean, most of them would suggest you to use them. They're good for XP. They're good for pushing your Divine Knight's construction level. Buffed how? They got changed. Their stats changed. Bottom of B would be higher. I would say it's, I would say it's just above teleports. That's where I'd put them. Put them just above teleports. They're good, but they're too expensive. They'd be, they'd be, if they weren't so pricey, they'd be A tier. But since they're so fucking pricey, like they're, like you gotta realize Zen Cogs are more expensive than World 5, than World 6 stuff. Okay? If those rings are better than kill per kill and multi kill, they're straight multi tier kill per hour. Yeah, they're, they're, they're literally, they're, they're literally meant for Death Note and portal pushing and V-Man. They don't help with your 3D prints. It, sure, it's a multiplicative bonus, but that doesn't mean jack shit. If it... Tell you what. If you had a World 1 kill ring, I would put that bitch in fucking A tier. Okay? But, no. It, anywhere else, what do you need that much kills for in World 4 and World 5? Where? Where and what scenario are you ever gonna need to spend gems on fucking kill rings? Other than Rift and V-Man for extra, what, plus two portals, maybe? It's a fucking new, it's a catch-up mechanic. It's literally a catch-up mechanic. Clip Skulls? Nah, you're not gonna, bro, if you're, okay, if you're working on Clip Skulls, you don't need the kill rings if you're working on Clip Skulls already. You don't need those. Fuck, I'd pay good money for a good... I, I, if we could buy two sets of World 1 kill rings, I'd fucking pay good money for that. So, no, they stay in F tier, bro. That's a whale shit, bro. That's bait. That's fucking heavy bait. You know what? You know what? I have kill rings sitting in my inventory. You know why? Because plus one slab. That is the only reason why I've ever used them for. It's, not, it's just not worth it, dude. It's not worth it. You think Zen Cogs are A tier? Mm. I would say Zen Cogs, although they got a buff and they're a lot better, I still can't justify the price. 
I would put them right below fence yard. They're still nice to have. They're still super nice to have. But I still, even with the buff, I cannot justify the price. They need to be cranked down. The price needs to be turned down. It's just for a world three purchase is just too expensive. Way too expensive. Sure, it gives you a lot of boost, but it's just it's just it's just not worth it. it. I mean, I mean it is worth it if you have nothing else to do. It's the middle of the pack, but other than that, it's just it is what it is. And then finally, chat, our last one. Drygonic Dryconic Cauldron. I don't even know what this does. Chad, do we know what this does? I know it's like four times liquid cap if you already have Bleach Cauldron. Makes alchemy better. If you don't buy Bleach Cauldrons, this gives you effectively Bleach Cauldron. Do we really think it's S tier though? We really need to buy it. Alchemy, that's all. True. It is alchemy. Isn't it multi speed? No, it doesn't stack on Bleach Cauldron. It only gives you more cap if you already have Bleach Cauldron. For the last one, Shrat. This is a bit of a base take, but I mean, if you're really mad about it, you can leave in the comment section below. We're slapping it here. It's it's better than Bleach Cauldrons, but it's so infrequent in the in the a uh, limited time shop, you can't get this whenever you can. It increases your speed and uh liquid cap. I'm pretty sure if you already have one in Bleach Cauldrons for that specific one that you bought it for, I'm pretty sure it only gives you more liquid cap, but I'm not sure. Leave it in the comment section if you think you know what it actually how it works pretty sure if you don't have bleach cauldron it gives you more speed as well if you do have bleach cauldron it doesn't give you more speed but regardless i think it's great at s tier it's alchemy alchemy is bay alchemy is abyss absolutely you want to have this it's super 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 good but this is the tier list i will have the image on the screen about the first tier list that I did back in a year ago, and then this new one. And tell me what you guys think. If you guys disagree, if you guys agree, like I said, do not take this as fact. This is completely based off opinion, off of Twitch chat, and uh, off of myself deciding. I don't think we have any final changes. I think for the most part, if you guys are wondering what is going to be the best gems repurchase, this is relatively what we're going to go with. Obviously, take it with a grain of salt. It is what it is. I know it's some of it's accurate. Obviously, some people are going to disagree, which is totally fine with me. But I think as long as we're about 70%, I think everything's fine. But with that being said, my dudes, I got to get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Island video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out. Good job, chat. Good job. We did it. Yeah, I will do it in the beginning of the video. We did a fucking Jesus, dude. Oh, 80, 86. 86 items we did today, chat. Holy shit. Give me a rating out of 10, though, for the tier list. Rating out of 10, chat. I mean, it was it was a lot more, it was a lot more civil than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I thought there was gonna be a lot more toxicity. 8.88. As long as we're like at a seven, I'm happy. I would say, I would say a seven, I would be happy. Nine, ten, eight, six, spike minigame time, S tier, nine, nine, yeah, I, I think, I think everyone was happy for the most part. <coughs> yeah, ten streamers crap. Yeah, is that why you suffered me for so long? Should've been faster with less distractions. I'm sorry, we hit a golden kappa train. I'm gonna fucking stop for that, bro. Are you kidding me? Star tier, so 11 out of 10. A what? What the fuck is a golden kappa train? So we got hit with a golden hype train. It's called the golden kappa train, which basically once a day, one person in all of Twitch gets a golden kappa train. 
So it's basically, think of it like a shiny from Pokemon. It is very, very rare. Incredibly rare. So there we go. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Looking at all this stuff in F tier. All this stuff in F tier, bro. I spent way too many gems. How many people are streaming? Like, like a couple tens of thousands, probably. You need a D tier? No, I think this is fine. Because this gives a people definitive of what to get, you know? Most of them are bait tier. But I mean, all around, I think, I think it's pretty good, man. Like, I don't disagree with a lot of this stuff. I really don't. It's needed a bad don't buy tier. Well, I mean, I'm not going to tell, like, in the end, it's like, you guys do with your own gems, right? This is just kind of giving you an idea of, like, going forward. It's like, this is the stuff that doesn't really hurt. Yeah, maybe 200 of those streams get a hype train per day, though. Uh, I think it's a little bit more than that. Now release free-to-play gem shop. Now, here's the thing. If we, if we get... It, you know what would be really funny? If we get enough likes on this video and, and enough uh, enough uh, views, uh, I, should do, I should do a whale tier list where it's just like, if you're fucking whaling, bro, this is the shit that you buy. This is the big fucking... If you're spending thousands of dollars, bro, this is the shit that you pump out. Video does well considering doing a free-to-play tier list. Yeah, it's a generalization tier list of, like, with the gems you have. Everything's S tier then. Do an end game tier list. End game tier list would be good. I'll make, I'll make sure to be, like, sitting on a throne when I do it. And then just be like, hmm, peons, you don't understand what it truly means to be, to be a whale. You are that, thou is a guppy, not a leviathan. Hmm. Hmm. Probably back to Trevor once. Boobo, try to farm us more grilled, grilled cheese and hamsters, dude. Do a Gamba only tier list, bro. Deckard Kane, boys. Hello, my friend. Stay a while in the listen. I think all around, we did good. Oh, now I can sit down, bro. I need to sit the fuck down. Oh. I've been wondering this for a long time. Yeah, Wally, shoot. Certified Hood Classic. Oh! What did it break? Oh. I just broke something. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Shit. It's about Among Us level stuff, though. So, like, how sus are we talking? So, it might be completely wrong. Oh, so you're trying to figure out if it's an imposter type shit? Dude, I'm actually completely... My, my table completely tilted from that. Probably go back to it, dude. How sus? Uh, what level of sus is it? Here's the question. I'm scared, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm dead ass scared. So all S. No, it's no, Wally. Bet you showered naked, you ho. Shower naked, bro. Nah. Ain't no fucking way, dog. Trying to finish up Crystal Chance cards? True. All right. Here we go, chat. How's your coins looking for Tome tomorrow? I got about I got about four. Four 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 pink guys. Four pinky boys. Yeah, chat, honestly, it's lava. You guys caught me. My my GF is actually lava. Sorry to say. You you guys all thought it was it was actually me, but it was actually lava's lava's not me, unless I'm dating myself. <laughs> You're your own GF now. That's lovely. Yeah, lava be cooking. Yeah, let lava cook. It means he's cooking me dinner. Your damage doesn't even have Qs. Horrible. Wait, is it not? My damage not in Qs? Bro, that's 28 Q. What the fuck are you talking about? Now, the real question is, chat, is the GF real or is it actually my mum? Is it actually my mum? Aren't you dating the DoorDash guy? Yeah, true. CT, not a Q? Bro, it's definitely Q, bro. Or is it both? Who knows, dude? 
Who knows? AI generated? Yeah, let me pull up my phone. I'll show you it. Considering there's lube on the desk, is she real? Nah, chat, that was a, that was a, I was farming, I was farming content. That was a, that was a content farmable moment. I actually, like, bought lube specifically for that one moment because I could bait a perfect farming, farmable clip. You caught me. You caught me. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes, dude. It's the way, it's the way. But dude, my throat hurts. That was, a, that was a lot. That was fucking, that was, that was, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to do a world seven. I don't think I'm going to do a world seven, bro. I can't be fucked to do a world seven. That was way too much. Why, why do people do an 86 item tier list? Yeah, sounds good, Schmixie. Have a good one, bro. Oh yeah, I could also turn uh, back on alerts. It's going to be a 45 minute video. No, I'll be super fast with it. I'll put I put on like I'll put on like speed run music and I'll be like we have 86 items. It's time to speed run this shit. And then and then I'll just be like it'll just be like super fucking quick. When's the video going to be posted? When I edit it. Save the tier list. Just do an adjustment tier list. I can't do gas. I'll get demonetized. You can filter out the bad stuff and throw in the tier, focus on the 50 good things. Should do again, just throw everything in F unless they're like cogs, dude. I have seven star cards are in the tome, dude. You hear seven star cards are in the tome, bro. It's fucked. That's, that's, that would be, that'd be crazy talk, dude. Do Gamba? I'm already partway through, unfortunately. Fortunately, I'm already so down deep, it's no point now. You know what I really love? Get the fucking new lantern, bro. There's no way he's gonna add another card level. Well, if the way World 6 is, I sure fucking hope not. Apparently, chat, apparently Tome is just obels. Apparently Tome is just obels, Jet. Don't have a bonus per total gem spent on the count, bro. If he does, if he does like this new thing with like limited time shot, like TTS might still be off. Shouldn't. Okay, let me quickly reset it. That was trolling you, dude. Totally threw me through a, through a ringer on that one. Absolute ringer, 110%, bro. He gal. I'm back. My monitor just blinked. Don't worry, it was not you, it was me. Man, this lab grind's gonna suck. I'm just gonna be- all I'm gonna be doing is just farming Bubo for like two weeks. At least my alchemy's gonna be juiced. Hopefully you got like, rank or two out of it. Yeah, that'd be nice. What did I miss? Bro, we did a full fucking tier list. Are you gr lab grinding for- Griffin, Yeah, I am. I'm your mother. <laughs> Actually, I I don't think so, pal. All right, you caught me. I'm actually Bald Joe Pickle. Bro, why do we why do we why do we gotta use Bald Joe Pickle? Why is that a joke, though? We didn't play marbles yesterday. Yeah, we did three marbles this morning. We actually caught up with marbles. We played three, bro. I hate sailing. Sailing sucks. God, I hate sailing. Why is sailing so fucking bad, bro? Oh, shit. I didn't lock any of these bottom ones. Oh, no. Oh, no. How much more broccoli do I need? I only have 108 broccoli. Shouldn't take too long, actually. So what lab should we be now? So we need 2100 lab level in total. 
So we need, so right now I'm at 1830. Okay. We need 2100. And then that means we get all the lab jewels. Because if you take a look at the Jade Emporium, adds three new jewels to unlock the jewels better in World 4 Town, or get one for free. Every 700 total lab levels is shown in the Rift Skill Mastery. So once we get to 2100, we're good. Once we get to the 2100, we are peachy. Damn, everybody died. My highest lab is 33 right now. Yeah, good luck. Can't you just buy them? Nope. Can't buy the gems. The gems are unpurchasable. Woo! That's a lot of, that's a lot of belts. Reminds me of dad. Sorry, chat. That was a little dark, eh? That was slightly fucking dark. My bad. My bad. Wait, no rosaries? Not on those characters. Uh, then we want to go boop. Then we got scoop. And then we go shabba boop. Then we go over here. Boop. Boop. So we're going to take a little bit of jade deficit, but that's okay. Support level 110 says what I'm leveling. That's the meta for this floor. Uh, at the moment, yeah. So right now I'm trying to level up all my characters so they reduce the sneak. Uh, once we, I think, I think 140 is the sweet spot, and then I can run four. Uh, four lotus flowers. DK pushing through world five right now. One blood berserkers is pushing Zhao and Zhao and other eight and tubes mantra goat god right now. Pretty good. It should be the the meta should change up a little bit when Tome is available. Uh, just because of the, the new upgrade here. Uh, this one. This uh, stealth chapter. This is going to probably be super, super clutch uh, to get. So definitely, definitely something uh, you need to be aware of. So just for the time being, I'm just getting all my levels. I'm not even in World 6 yet. You'll get there, dude. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, but I would say, chat, at least, did you guys, did you guys at least have fun today? Yeah, it's, yeah, Tome tomorrow. You guys have at least have you guys have at least have fun today. Did you guys enjoy the tier list? I'm glad it wasn't too toxic. I was actually worrying it was going to be a little bit, but I'm glad it wasn't. I want more chaos. No, I think I think the no chaos is fine. Playing for a boot three months. Are you Canadian, bro? Excited for tomorrow. Yeah, the, and then we have a new update tomorrow. Yo, chat's eating good. You know what I'm saying? Who is it? So yeah, so definitely, definitely going to be here. And we have the Tome release tomorrow, so we get to check that out. That's going to be super pog. Are we sure it's tomorrow? I don't know, unless Lava fucking spat and lied to me straight in my face, bro. More or less, I've lived only two hours south of the Canadian border. Well, that's, that's probably where the Aboot comes from. Don't be late, Griffy. I will promise to, to not make that promise. Because I have to go to the gym today, so I don't know how sore I'm going to be tomorrow. It's gym day. Will iOS get update tomorrow? Ha! Ha! Imagine iOS getting an update. LOL! Ha! Imagine, bro. Funny joke. You should be a comedian. You're on the next level, Mogo. Go to the gym today? Yeah, I go at 1 in the morning. Do squats for an hour in the gym. Your gaming arms will be fine, dude. Okay, fine, because gym, you can be 20 minutes late. I'm, well, I, I, try, I try won't be 20 minutes late, but I'll be, I'll be a little late. I'll be, a, I'll be dying a bit late. I'm usually, chat, I'm never usually that late. I already bench more than Lava. I do not. I do not. Chat, I was lifting 20 pound dumbbells, all right? That's how weak I've gotten. Bro, I used, I used to be able to curl 40 pounds. Now I can only do 20. Bro, I'm weak as fuck. Is you an hour late yesterday? Yeah, but that, that wasn't my fault. Easily get those bench numbers up. We will. It takes time. 20 not bad. Eh, it's still, it's still fucking weak, bro. Still fucking weak. I think I'm doing, I think I might do some chest today. It's either, I, I think I, I think I'm going to do some, I'll do legs on Saturday. In real life grind when? Every day, brother. Every day. But chat, with that being said, 20 for how many reps? I do like, 
uh, uh, I usually do uh, 12, 12, 10, 8, 8 is usually the reps that I do. With that being said, chat, that has been the end of stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. That was the beautiful chat. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gem shop tier list. Thank you guys so much for your help. Honest, real talk. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm glad we could sit together, come collectively as a group. By the way, can we get a quick W in chat for Pickle? Pickle did fantastic today, busting out those uh, those those beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, the polls cons consistently for 86 times, bro. Like, absolutely big Ws for him, man. Like, he's super huge help. Also, huge Ws for everybody in chat that supported the stream today with, like, the big gifted subs, the biddies, the, the, the fucking, the primers, the resubs. Like, guys, thank you so much for all your support today. Holy shit. And, you know, maybe a little w, w for Wally always coming in and keeping the TTS nice and fresh, dude. You gotta love to see that. And everybody just in chat coming in day in, day out. Thank you so much, guys. We'll be back at it tomorrow for some beautiful 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 updates i know you're excited i know i'm excited tome today tomorrow tome tomorrow chat tome is tomorrow so we get to see all the big juice i can't wait to show how much gems we have to spend on tome in order to upgrade it even more i don't know about you but i'm excited so i'm excited for that thank you for all the follows today hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys had fun hope to see you guys again back at 2 p.m pacific standard time ish but like I said, once again, thank you for all the primers, resubs, the gifted subs, the biddies, and the donos, guys. Keeps the dream reality. Keeps your brother off the streets. It keeps the IBAs fresh. It's nice and high. Chat, if you have not checked out, make sure to head on over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. If you have not checked out the Discord, you want to join something sick, go ahead. And if you had take a look at you want to rep some IBA, take a look at the merch section right there below. With that being said, I've been your guild master for today. My name is Griffy Bet, proud owner and leader of this beautiful, dedicated hard working giga chad gem shop loving kind of based itty bitty army and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m pacific standard time hope you guys stay safe happy grinding and peace out good night chat and i'll see you guys tomorrow <gasps> bye see you later bye chat bye bye chat and remember that tier list was not fact take it with a grain